Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street and Yarn Lane gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or www.yarnlane.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Are you a fan of Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans and Yarn Lane TV Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. It's that simple. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your makes, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing and yarn community. See you there. Hello everyone, I'm Delphine Brooks. I've been part of the Sewing Street family now for over a year and it's been the most incredible journey so far. Some of you may already know that I like all things sewing, anything from quilting to toy making, needle felting, and of course applique, which is my favorite. The best thing about being part of the show is being able to share with you my imagination and bringing you new ideas and new designs and patterns and seeing how you interpret those designs and make your own work and then sharing your images of those is the most rewarding part for me. I'm currently working on lots of new ideas and exciting projects that I cannot wait to bring to the show and share with you all. But in the meantime, take care everyone and happy sewing. Welcome to Sewing Street, my name's Vicky. Oh, we've got a lovely show for you today. I feel like me and Hannah and Elliot and Alison, we've all been just talking all morning. We've had so much to catch up on, haven't we, Hannah? I haven't seen Hannah for so long. I'm so excited for today's show. Uh, I see Elliot's face all the time, but it was, it was nice to include you in the catch up as well. We've got the most lovely show as well for you a really really great show with Alison so please do if you can stay with us all day today we've got loads going on um by the way did you just watch the few little adverts that were were there in the break I'm so pleased Delphine's got a new advert I love it in her garden as well it's lovely right anyway let's start with the early bird let's start with the early bird and then I'll talk you through exactly what's coming out today because it's such an amazing show now those of you that want to open your orders nice and early, remember it's one post in packaging all day. We've got a discount on, uh, well, whenever we have any Helen Newton patterns, they're always very popular. It's the first time I've ever seen Helen Newton patterns as an early bird special. It's the first time it's ever been discounted on air. Uh, so at £9.99, it's always very, very popular. These uh, are always incredibly thorough. You get lovely um, text as well as your templates, anything that you need. Now, £9.99 was always a great price. It always is for Helen Newton patterns. 30% off today and today only remember only while stocks last so if you do want to have a go and a lovely tight cushion i like that the fact that you can use um one of your favorite fabrics maybe a william morris fabric would look lovely in this you could use one of your favorite fabrics that you don't want to cut up how expensive would that look if you were using william morris fabric or liberty fabric um you know, like on a window seat, you could have them as chairs uh, on dining chairs, conservatory. I've got a new conservatory now. These would look nice in my conservatory. And um, I do love the detail of the tie as well. So your tie cushion covers, just £6.99. Everything that you need to know. It has been on air before. Um, it was back on the 27th of March, if you do want to watch it back uh, on YouTube. We will have a look and see uh, and see if we can find it. Morning, Debbie Harris. How are you, Deb? She just put good morning, Vix, Hannah, Elliot, and Alison. Can't wait to watch this morning with you all. Oh, I'm so pleased you're with us, Deb. She says so excited. It's going to be a great show. Um, morning, lovely Tom. Hope you're all good. Good morning, Sue. Morning, Vicky, Alison, and team. Love Alison's demos, and we don't get to see her enough. I haven't seen Alison since. 
Well, I can't even think if I've had a show with her since I've been back on maternity. Um, I've seen Alison because I came in to see her, but I don't actually think I've had a show with her yet. Oh, little Paul. Are you talking about the little piggy in the background? <laughs> John Scott was calling the piggy in the background, little Paul. It's not very nice, is it, really? Um, oh, so those of you that have got uh, YouTube, if you type into YouTube the 27th of March on Sewing Street, it will link you to this day. Now, it's Cara Ackerman. This is a, a live little shot. There's one of the cushions that we're discounting the instructions for today. Oh, I like the fact that you've got that contrast colour. That looks really nice, doesn't it? Now, you can watch the full hour demo live on YouTube. It's an hour and a half in. Um, you know, instead of redecorating a whole house, just having accent new cushions really makes a difference, doesn't it? These would be lovely for a bedroom as well, wouldn't they? So you can skip through, you can stop, you can pause, you can rewind, you can watch again. Oh, look at this, we're on the fire today, aren't we? We're on the ball, we're all in sync. Morning, Kate, good morning, Vixen team. It's going to be a great day. Um, oh, I've had a note to say my Juki overlocker is on its way. I tell you what, Kate, that's a good bit of post, isn't it? Let us know when it arrives, what are you going to sew first? What are you going to do first? I'd love to have an overlocker. Um, what I like about these as well, these would be good temporary cushion covers actually. So you could, they could be seasonal. You could take them off, you could wash them easily. Um, I'm thinking of things for, if you want to make Christmas, Halloween, spring, winter, autumn cushion covers, change them seasonally. There are some beautiful fabrics that we've had. You know, like some of the CAIF fabrics that I always say, oh, I don't want to cut these up because they're quite large scale prints. This is a really good pattern to, to be able to display some of your favorite fabrics um, perfectly. Oh, also the memory quilt that we're doing today at nine o'clock, um, we are going to be selling the photograph paper the transfer paper basically, separately. So you could do cushions, like memory cushions as well with photographs, it'd be so lovely. For special birthdays, it's such a good idea. Wait till you see the memory quill. We've actually had tears this morning. Like, oh, it just got all very sentimental. Not in like, a, no, not we haven't been nasty to Alison. <laughs> it sounds like, <laughs> Hannah said it sounds like we've made her cry with tears. No, it was with lovely happy tears. Um, it was, it's just very emotional, isn't it? And we've been talking about lots of different occasions that we want to make these quilts for. In fact, Alison actually said it's her favourite ever patchwork project that she's done. So we'll talk through it later. But it would be nice if you could include some photographs on this one, actually, as well. Who else has said hello? Laurie. Hi, Laurie, did you have a lovely birthday? Hope you had a nice birthday, Laurie. I did hear it was your birthday the other day. Morning, Vicky and team. Looking lovely in pink. Thank you. These sizes and these uh, styles that you can take the, uh, the inner out, these would be great pyjama cases as well, wouldn't they? Kids sleepovers. I think it's one of those patterns that would, would be perfect to go into your pattern stash and actually it'd be used a lot more than you think. It would be used again and again and again, wouldn't it? £6.99 for the first time on air, we've discounted the uh, Helen Newton patterns. They're always so popular, always very thorough. If you've opened your order with us already this morning, then that's it, 1 PMP all day. So you can continue to shop online on the whole of the web shop and also on the show today, and you'll only pay 1 PMP. And that's covered across your online's website as well. Um, right, so uh, if you do want to get involved in today's show, should we have a look at what's coming up? Oh, we can't right now, we can't right now. Uh, morning, Amanda. Amanda says, morning, just off to work. We'll try and catch them on YouTube later. Oh, Amanda, whatever you do, definitely catch up on the nine o'clock show. Well, every show today, it's going to be fu really fun. We've got loads coming up. But nine o'clock uh, in particular, I, I've, I absolutely love it. I've not seen a quilt like this before and I've got to make one. I, I mean, I've got to make quite a few of these. The memory quilts are just beautiful. Nine o'clock today. Have a look at what we've got coming up in today's show, this first hour. If everybody, anybody has got any quilt tops that they are yet to quilt and back, don't worry. We've got extra wide backing fabrics and a huge selection, something for everybody coming up in this first hour. Nine o'clock, just take a look at what we've got. Alison Marion has designed the most, look at it from there as well. Can you see that shadow effect on the, 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 uh, the frames? 
How well does that work? Now, Alison has got some really, really special photographs on this. You obviously can have your family. <laughs> you don't have to have Alison's family on there. Um, you'll be able to use your photographs. We'll hear all about these. We've really enjoyed this morning. That's Alison's parents on their wedding day. That was on Alison's christening day. That's how gorgeous, by the way. How handsome. That's, I think, her great grandfather. If you go back to Alison's parents' picture, the Alison's parents, there you go. So, Alison's dad, isn't he a bit of a dish? Looks like Sean Connery, doesn't he? And um, they're a beautiful, beautiful family. Um, so, that's coming up. We've got a whole quilt kit. We've got the transfer paper. And those of you that are a bit of a technophobe like me, don't worry. Alison is going to completely demystify and talk us through exactly how we can transfer our photographs onto a memory quilt like this. So that's coming up at 9 o'clock. 10 o'clock. We've got gifts. Of course, we are now. How many days till Christmas? About 90, less than 90 days till Christmas. It's coming around, isn't it? We've got some lovely sewing related gifts at 10 o'clock. 11 o'clock, we're recapping the origami bag, which is now back. It's on the shelf behind me. Really, really popular bag. It's not on pre order yet. We will announce when it does go on to pre order. Also, I moved into my house last week. Woohoo! And I received a lovely fabric postcard in the post from our Alice and Marion as their welcome home. And it is my favourite. It's pride of place on the mantelpiece. And um, yeah, we're going to teach everybody how to make those fabric postcards and personalise them um, as you wish. That's at 11 o'clock. She's got the lovely, lovely kits coming up. And then 12 o'clock, we've got some brand new sewing room tools in the show. Ooh, brand new tools. Stay with us. Uh, morning, Gaina. She said, good morning. Come and say hello on Facebook. If you do want to get in touch with us, you can either do it via Facebook Live, which is Sewing Street TV, or on the email, uh, which is studio at sewingstreet.com. Studio at sewingstreet.com. If you want to jump to um, pre-order and get ahead on the memory quilt, go to the website, sewingstreet.com. Click on Watch Live, where the cursor is right now. If you click there, on the right-hand side, you can message in the studio. You can add to your basket here. You can see what's coming up. Um, you can shop the catalogues. Scroll down. These are all of the uh, extra wide backings. Um, you then got the memory quilt bundles. You've got the pattern on its own look. I mean, they're gorgeous. Absolutely, I love them. So that's, I think that's great for traditional, you know, a memory quilt. Whereas this, I think would be brilliant for, well, that's all Becky's photos. But that'd be really nice for a new baby, uh, you know, for someone who, who's one or two, or a special birthday. Special, you know, a 40th, 50th, 60th birthday gift. How lovely would that be? Also got a, pur a purple bundle, if you want to do it in purple. Um, and then you also get the instructions and paper separately. All the bits and bobs are there. You've got some lovely gift ideas. Um, we've got some William Morris goodies in there. Oh, in fact, actually, these would be really good for your postcards. Postcards are going to be put on pre-order after Alison's first hour. So we'll do the memory quilt first and then we'll release her second hour on pre-order. Alison's Marion's shows are always notoriously so, so busy. So I'll do a big announcement when we're going to put the, um, the, her second show on pre-order. Oh, important. There is one of those. There will not be enough for the show. Uh, we probably won't get a chance to, to showcase it in the 11 o'clock show, in the 10 o'clock show. If you missed out the other day, for whatever reason, one has become available, whether it had been somebody didn't check out or transaction didn't complete change their mind it's fine it means there's one left if you want that quilt it was so popular the other day you can buy the last one um, if you want it now very nice right brilliant show postcards will go on pre-order after after nine o'clock at the ten o'clock show this is what they look like by the way this is what they look like the sewing related ones as well they're the lovely vintagey ones the sewing ones and you literally can just write write with a normal pen how cool are these? And, and Alison has included in the kit so many beautiful, beautiful detail. Uh, she's even put like lovely little handkerchiefs and everything in the uh, in the, the vintage ones and lace, buttons. It's beautiful, really beautiful. Oh, right, Paula, I'll tell our technical team. Elliot, the app's not working. I've notified the technical team, Paula. They'll be on it. Yeah, 
You, that's Elliot. Elliot is technical team. Oh my word, did anybody else feel like the world was ending last night? No Facebook, Instagram or WhatsApp. I, did, I had to send a text. <laughs> oh, Hannah thought that she would be blocked by a boyfriend. It hadn't been the first time that had happened, to be fair. So she was a bit worried. <laughs> she said, I don't want to be, you know, a bit, um, you know, over the top. You've just left mine an Uber, but have you just blocked me? <laughs> because either that or, you know, the whole world is down. Um, yeah, my messages to Hannah didn't get received till what midnight last night. She's asleep solely. Hi, Judith. How are you? Judith is watching as well. Right, should we start with some extra wire backing fabrics? Do you want to start with more traditional? Do you want to go quite modern? Would you like to go summery? Can we go paisley prints? Paisley's always popular, isn't it? Um, right, now I've got four, five paisley prints here. So we've got the blues. We've got almost like three different blues. So you can see them all. Um, we'll go with the, the darker blue first. But if you are, if you've done a quilt top and you're thinking, right, I don't want to raid my stash to piece the back or haven't quite got the right fabric to piece the back. I want it to look as beautiful as the front. Extra wide backing fabric is brilliant. And there are a lot of shops out there that, that, um, that, that stock extra wide backing fabrics. But as you can imagine, they come on huge, huge bolts. So lots of places can't stock them. We've got a really great size warehouse that we're lucky to be able to stock lots of different styles. Now, it, it's no lesser quality, even though it says backing fabric, it's not because it's any lesser quality, it's simply because it's extra wide. So it's perfect to be able to, uh, to do larger, large pieces, uh, larger projects. This is where I'm thinking men's shirts. I'm thinking multiple cushions, um, big laundry baskets, bedding, curtains. Now, I've got to show you how wide this is because generally your quilting weight fabric is 44 inches wide. This is 108, so it's more than double. Is our Hannah. She doesn't want to be on the telly this morning. <laughs> Come on over a little bit more though so we can see where the end is. Come on over. There she is. <laughs> Just do your little, your little reindeer. There you go. We were talking about the postcards earlier and Hannah said, you know, you could make Christmas ones. I said, what's this pose? <laughs> she says, well, this is Father Christmas or reindeer. So yeah, we're very excited about that. Now, that's what half a metre looks like. Obviously, it's your chance to buy off the bolt so you can have it cut into two units, metre piece or as much as you want. Goodbye, Hannah. <laughs> But it is beautiful quality still. Please don't think it's any lesser quality. All of the fabrics that we show you this morning will be that width. Um, so think about lots of projects. We'll open up a few more, but just so you're aware. Come on in, Elliot. The water's warm. It's brand new. It's never been on air before. And I want you to see the detail in this fabric. For dressmakers or home furnishing, it speaks for itself, doesn't it? It's not just a plain background. If you spend all the time on piecing the front of your quilt, quite often quilt kits don't come with backing. If you want it to, uh, to look as beautiful on the back as it does the front, this is great. Um, if you've got your cushion pattern from the early bird today, think about how many cushions, cushion fronts, cushion backs, you're gonna be able to make with this. This would be lovely just to have in your stash for linings of bags or linings of jackets. Imagine this is the back of a waistcoat and the lining of a jacket, a really smart men's um, jacket, all age jacket. £12.99. The value for money is amazing when you think that this is over double the width of your regular um, your regular width. Exactly, that's what I mean. It's the backs of waistcoats for weddings, linings for jackets for weddings. It's absolutely gorgeous. Elliot, why are you not wearing these hot pants? Alison Marion is here. She spent so much time. We've been talking about it for about a year. It was Elliot's 30th birthday last, last uh, week and his favourite present was Alison Marion's gold hot pants. She, he says they're a little bit tight after lockdown, but she, she actually made him gold hot pants. What fabric is it? Is it stretchy? Not stretchy enough. Doesn't stretch enough. 
Oh, and then at full stretch, it goes quite see-through. So it's not suitable for on air, I don't think, but we, we loved hearing about the gold heart pants this morning. He said, it's not suitable for on air. It's not suitable anywhere. <laughs> oh dear. I like that you, you know, you, try, you tried them on, you put them on. <laughs> Claire, thank you. She's just put, Hannah loved your reindeer impression. It was just so funny how she like gallops like this. This was just in the prep room. Hannah's, uh, Hannah is doing some strange things this morning. <laughs> she had a strange mood, but it's slightly infectious. We're all a bit giddy this morning. So I apologize if you're waking up, like what on earth is going on here this morning? Gaynor said, my hubby would love, him, would love me to make him a shirt in that paisley. Gaynor, this is a lovely one for, for dressmaking as well. It's really beautifully soft. It's 100% cotton, it's quilting weight. Perfect for dressmaking. And because you've got that width, oh, it is, it is absolutely brilliant. It'd be nice to have a dress as well with that. Now we've also got the paisley in a few of the colors. Let's do the lighter blue, but this is lovely, isn't it? And remember, it's no lesser quality. It's just the fact that it's extra wide. So don't just think, oh, quilt backs. Considering paisley flies out anyway, the prices are brilliant, aren't they? Um, right, this one is really cool. It's quite a vintagey feel to it, actually. Do you know what I mean? As a dress, this would be beautiful. So there was a dress on at the weekend with Adele. Um, the dress is lovely. I'm looking at it now. It's in the studio still. And this would be perfect for that dress. Perfect. It's a quilting weight cotton that she used. It was a William Morris one, actually. But this is lovely, isn't it? And again, Elliot, come on in closer so you can see. It's almost got pinks and yellows in there. I think you just use the zoom button, Hannah. Just zoom in. Uh, Elliot's just gone to turn uh, Alison's television on in the gallery for her, in the uh, office for her. So Hannah is in charge of the buttons. She can't find the zoom. Have a go. Press the big red button. Go on. I dare you. Apparently there's handlebars in the gallery. Um, is there not like, I feel like there's like one of those, those buttons. I think that zooms in. Like a, a lever that you pull down. Yeah, like a gear stick, that's it. If you pull that towards you, I think that zooms. <laughs> She's all too scared, I think I'll get into trouble. Oh, there you go. Well done, Hannah. She says, I could only do those shots. Right, how do you zoom in? Are you doing the, the gear knob stick? Oh no. He's got a zoom in button. I love that. I love that. And think about how much you get. You can get a whole set of cushion fronts for $12.99 just with one half meter, just with one unit. <laughs> £12.99. So it's 108 inches wide or 280 centimetres. It is over double the width of your regular quilting weight fabric. And let's think about it. How much does it cost for your, your you know, designer, your printed um, fabrics? Half a metre can be £7.99. £12.99 for how much fabric you're getting. That is brilliant. What about for your origami um your origami bag as the detail. You only need half a metre of your regular width. Um, that's a metre and a half of fabric for the whole bag. But this is also going on pre-order for the uh, at the end of nine o'clock, along with the postcards. But we do love this bag. I'm so pleased this is back. And it's a simple folding technique. You'll all be able to do it. You will all be able to do it. It's just a big square that's folded into the shape. Um, it's so cool, isn't it? So I'm just thinking the paisley print going across or as your main body, that'd be perfect. You're going to be able to do loads of bag linings, cushion fronts. Get a couple of units and that will last you for so long. Now we've also got it in the greyer blue. Can you see like that steely blue? Good morning, Baffa. She says, good morning, Vixen team. Excited to get my boiler fixed today. I live the high life. That is an exciting day. Um, our, we, where we used to live, it was uh, a very old building, single glazed windows. It was um, a really, really cold flat, really. And now I've got such an efficient boiler that it's too hot. I have to keep going, 
oh my word, it's really hot in here. <laughs> really, is it me or is it really warm? So no, I feel you, I understand the, the thrills of having a new boiler. You haven't put the heating on yet in your house? Oh, it's, it's, it, is ne it is needing a bit of heat now. Right, code end is in 13. Let me unfold the whole thing so you can see. I think it's too big for the desk. I actually think it will fill the whole desk. These are brand new. All the Paisley prints are brand new. Always incredibly popular. Look, this hangs over the desk. It's so big. It's 108 inches wide. That is what you're getting for £12.99. I know, you can't get any wider, can you? Thinking of lovely little tops. What I'll do is I'll concertina it. Um, what an amazing price point as well. If you're using it as lining, if you're using it as lining in bags or lining uh, in clothes or if you're using it as lining uh, cushion backs or, uh, or backing quilts, there is a lot for your money. Your alternative, the reason that we call it backing fabric, um, is because it is perfect to do your big uh, big quilts without having to piece them. Your alternative would be having to piece them. All the kits, by the way, don't come with backing fabric. So if you want to go for the grey, how lovely would the paisley go with the grey? What do you think? I think this would look really, really nice. There are lots of dressmaking patterns on the websites as well. Here's an example. Just check with your pattern that it's okay to use a cotton fabric. This one would be. This would look lovely, really nice in the paisley, especially in the cotton as well. The Sicily dress, that one is, the So Girl. Um, what was the pattern that we used, that we did on the weekend with Adele? Oh, I think it's sold out, but if you did manage to get it, if you got it over the weekend, they would look lovely in these new fabrics as well. This is another one, the Sussex Seamstress. That would look really nice, a little top. You can lengthen the sleeves on that top if you wish. Oh, and the body, you can make it longer. Elliot says, I was producer on that, uh, that show. On that show, or the one before, on the Adele Rowland, the one with the Adele Rowland, it completely sold out, pattern sold out. Um, so this one is the uh, the lovely sort of, I'm going to say steely blue. It's beautiful, isn't it? It'll go with all your greys. It'll go with your white. Um, if you are looking, who was it who messaged me earlier? Gaynor. Gaynor said my, um, my husband would love a shirt in the Paisley. This one's a really good shirt pattern, actually, Gaynor. Look, it's Mark's shirt pattern. $14.99. When have I missed this? I didn't know that he had a shirt pattern. Congratulations, Mark. I'm Mark Francis. Oh, absolutely make the most of it. And it's already got five star reviews. It doesn't surprise me with our amazing Mark. Morning, Anne. Oh, thank you. Who said it's fabulous? Is this Judd Scott again? Um, morning, Vix. Congratulations on the new home. Love to see some pictures. I hear it's fabulous. Oh, it's Kieran has worked so hard on it the last three months and he's absolutely oh created the most beautiful home for us it's so gorgeous i keep pinching myself i can't believe i live there it's just so nice um the the, the just the luxuries of having a driveway i said it's just so nice <laughs> um right so this is your paisley print with those lovely blues now we also have a couple of other paisley they're all brand new Light blue is the most popular of the paisleys at the moment. I think this one could be very, very popular. Look at this. So this is, um, Hannah, your item code ends in 04. Yeah, this is another new one. This would look stunning. I'm thinking like backing a Tim Holtz quilt. It's not quite masculine, actually. All this with, you know, less traditional Christmas, but with dark reds and, oh, that would look beautiful, blacks and emerald greens or using your metallic threads in there. Oh, nice. That would look beautiful, wouldn't it? Um, I mean, it's just so much for your money. I think that's the thing, isn't it? It's value for money. It's so classic having a paisley print. I know that it's little Paul's favourite um, print is having the, the paisley. 
always popular for dressmaking, always popular for, for home furnishing. This would be great for bedding. This would be really, really lovely for, for blinds or curtains as well. Very contemporary. Your Shelby Paisley black extra wide. It is again 280 centimetres wide. It, are you watching Strictly Come Dancing by the way? It's so good, isn't it? Oh, this would look really nice for the, the, the quilt behind me. You, you will need backing for the quilt um, behind. Alison's done it in a solid. Um, it doesn't obviously need extra wide backing, but if you did want to, to, uh, to have some left over, this would go perfectly. The reason they produce extra wide backing is to reduce the piecing of the back of a quilt. So if you're doing a, a big king size quilt, um, the normal width 44 wide, you would have to piece it, whereas this would be, the, the of course, the, the full width. You wouldn't need to, to piece it. Um, lots of people don't just buy it for that, though. A majority of people say it's just great value for money for the quality of fabric and how much you get. Cushion fronts, cushion backs for a home furnishing, homeware. If you want a matching set of cushions, if you want laundry baskets, if you want uh, different things all to match in all together, then this is perfect. Table runners. Hannah always likes the idea of doing, you know, big teepees and, um, you know, reading corners for children with bunk beds to do big curtains across. But there's so much that you can do with half a metre, even just half a metre. Imagine how many toys you're going to be able to make. Paisley bears. If you make to sell, this is where you are looking at a seriously good value for money. 280 centimetres wide. It is a lot of fabric for just 12 99 So finally, we've got one other Paisley print to show you. And I think it's my favourite. Mm -hmm. They've called it cream. I wouldn't call it cream. I would call it, oh, like autumnal dreams. That's what I'd call it. <laughs> Look at this. Um, 94. Look at that. Um, the picture on the web, I don't think does it justice. It looks a lot cooler colours on the website, but actually this is quite warm, rich, autumnal shades. It's got like a lovely chartreuse or um, ochre running through. That's my favourite. Incorporate this into your blocks on the front of your quilt. We're talking about using it as quilt backs. How about having this as your quilt front? Borders on your quilt as well, without having to piece together uh, all the way along. To have these as big blocks, to have this as your, your tied cushion front, this would be really, really lovely. What I would do, in fact, is I'd have maybe half a metre of one of... Oh, you could pick out loads of colours in this, to be fair. A cream or... <laughs> any uh, of your, your solid colours and use it for the, uh, the tie cushion covers that we had as the early bird. They'd be beautiful. Good morning, Paul. £12.99. How is everybody today? Hope you've all had a lovely weekend. Is it Tuesday? Are we Tuesday today? Is it Bake Off Day? I never watch it on the day. I never, I'm always, by about Friday, I'm like, oh, I haven't watched Bake Off yet this week. <gasps> oh, you watched it yesterday. Who's your fave? I love the young girl who does it all vegan. It's amazing how she manages to do it vegan. I also really like the German guy. I think he's so good. I think he'll win. That's my prediction. Two weeks in a row, Star Baker, I think he's, uh, yeah. Maybe the pressure will get to him. You never know, he's peaked too early. Sorry to talk about um, the fabric, but this would make a really nice infinity scarf as well, wouldn't it? And, I mean, you could make loads of infinity scarves with just one half metre. I think um, Susie Duncan has done some really lovely um, infinity scarves before using fat quarters. So imagine, oh, how much you're going to be able to make with, with one or two units. What about a dress with a contrast? So if you're doing, say, a denim dress or a cord dress and just having these as patch pockets or pockets that are inside, you know, pocket linings. 
steps it up to that next notch, doesn't it, to boutique. Speaking of which, Alison Marion, she's got a trip down to London tomorrow. She's off to Liberty. She's going to have a bit of a mooch, spending some lovely birthday money. Um, yeah, she's off to Liberty. Oh, my word. But this would be absolutely amazing. That's what, where I say it's just that next, next step up, isn't it, when you're using fabric as detailed as this. The detail in this, I tell you what, for £12.99, your detail in this is amazing. Don't forget, your normal width is 44 centimetres. Hannah, can you come and hold this one? Come and hold the size. You don't need to be on the telly. Hannah is just going to hold this side so you can see how wide it is. It is 108 inches. It's 280 centimetres wide. Just put your arm, stretch your arm out so then your arm shows the end of it. There you go. No, not that arm, the arm that you're holding the fabric with. There you go. And now we won't see you. <laughs> that makes sense, doesn't it? £12.99. And oh, you can see how much fabric you're getting. Well, you could before Hannah dropped it <laughs> by accident. But that is beautiful. It's so soft as well. Please, I remind you, don't think it's any lesser quality just because it's called um, backing fabric. It's still 100% cotton. It'd be really beautiful for the dress that you all purchased over the weekend. So many of you got this, um, this dress pattern. Just by magic, this one. It's with really a Morris print, which looks gorgeous, doesn't it? But how amazing would it look in the paisley as well? And how affordable, those of you that are new to dressmaking, it can be quite expensive uh, when you're buying, you know, full um, metres and metres of fabric because maybe your, your fabric isn't wide enough, so you have to accommodate and buy more. This would be perfect, absolutely perfect. The, the pan for this one has sold out um, over the weekend, but if you did manage to get it, get some of these, get some of these lovely prints, brand new in today. Um, that, that is the last, oh yeah, what's going on? We're on a, ooh, oh no, that way. Ooh. Oh, it's making me feel a bit seasick. What's happened to the camera? Did Hannah knock it? It's probably Hannah, isn't it? We generally blame most things on Hannah. Even when you're not here, Hannah, me and Kat, we blame it on you. <laughs> Can we do something completely different? This one really stands out because it's, there's nothing else like it. I'm thinking for kids' rooms now. You know when I said about making a teepee or a den or a uh, beanbag cover, laundry baskets. Um, you could you could just theme a whole room with this. If you bought a meter, which is two units, and you spent you know less than thirty pounds, you could do lampshade covers. You could do cushions, reading cushions. You could do a laundry basket. You could do lightweight curtains, all sorts. Now, that isn't, you know, see-through. Can you see it's got an extra star? It's, it's a shadow. So you've got the red and the blue and then the grey. So that's attention to detail. It's not that it's see-through. Um, it's really, really lovely quality quilting weight cotton. But again, borders on quilts. You're not going to have to piece the border if it's halfway up. It, that's absolutely perfect. It is just going to all continuously run um, as one big border without having to piece it as you go. Twelve pounds, thank you. Twelve pounds, ninety-nine and a half meter. It's again exactly the same width as the paisley ones, so it's one hundred and eight inches wide. Thank you. Thank you for notifying me this time. Twelve pounds, ninety-nine. Extra wide, lovely fabric. I mean, that it washes really well. Um, it, it, it will uh, stitch beautifully or press beautifully. And you can purchase as much as you want now off the bolt. Thank you, Susan, for your message. Right, Susan's just said, morning, everybody. Loving the fabrics. It's so difficult to find extra large fabric at a reasonable price. Um, and when will the lovely Hannah be presenting again? Oh, sorry. <laughs> Sorry about me being on. Hannah, when are you going to be back on presenting? No, that's not, the, that's not the answer to the question. When are you going to be back? She said that I've got spots at the moment. So, Susan, no, not any time soon, she's saying. <gasps> um, but, yeah, we'll have to get her back on air soon. Why don't you come in on the, the gift show? 
Oh, maybe, um, maybe. well, before Christmas we'll get her on, definitely. Um, but you're right, Susan, the, and it isn't through any fault of theirs, but sh shops generally don't have as much space as we do. We have a huge warehouse. If you imagine the size of the bolts that the extra wide backing fabric comes on, um, it takes up a lot more space. So we are really, really lucky that we have the facilities that we do to stock all of these different fabrics. Um, there's less than 10 metres of the Star One, which sounds a lot, it's not. If you do want multiple units, now is the time to um, to, to stock up. Absolutely. Um, I'm not sure which ones we'll be able to get back again, you know, actually. There's nothing else quite like this. There's nothing else quite like it. Is it this one? Or this one? The dark one. This one. This one. Not with the circles, there was quite a few circles. Right, there's only one like this. There were other colourways, they've all sold out. This one is like fireworks, isn't it? <gasps> that is really nice. Have you seen some of the Dan Morris fabrics? This would look great with those. That would look really lovely with the Dan Morris prints. I think for, for some of the gents makes as well, if you're doing things like laptop covers, cases, satchel bags, Shirts again, dresses. This would be a nice one for um, fireworks, 5th of November, bonfire night, wouldn't it? It's like Catherine wheels. Uh, the Dad Morris collection I'll talk about is the one that looks like uh, batiks. They look like batiks. You know, these kind of prints, you could mix these in and use this still as the front of your quilt. There are different colourways to that as well. Um, there's purpley one. I think it's sold out now, but do you know which collection I mean? This would be really, really nice. Hi Martina, how are you? Martina, say good morning Vix. Half the stock has already gone on this one. Half the stock has already gone. Joan, don't worry, we're getting to the other fabric. Sorry that we're having a bit of um, uh, a chit chat today. We're indulging, aren't we? We're indulging on those brand new paisleys, but I will make sure that we get through everything in the next 20 minutes, don't you worry. Um, the beige leaf, this one I think goes with everything and this goes with my home decor. If you want it, right, it will sell out. Grab it now. If we've got, if we've got any William Morris fabrics in our stash, this one will go perfect with your William Morris. Absolutely perfect. Maybe you're backing your William Morris quilts with this. Have you pieced the top of them? Oh, this would be lovely. Or the cushions, we've got the, uh, you know, the tied cushion cover. We were talking about some of the William Morris prints. This would be really nice for the bow. Uh, the last quilt kit, the William Morris one, the one that was on pre-order, it's now gone. It has sold out. Um, but have a look on the website because we've got some fabrics that are on pre-order, which would go beautifully. Can I show you the website again? So this is pre-order. So you can see that apple green, a Granada one, that would look really nice. The rose hip blush would go perfectly. Um, this is in our gift selection on pre-order later, but that one, the apple red even, it would all go. If you bought that quilt the other day, if you do need any backing, perfect. This would be perfect. And it is, again, 108 inches wide. All of those, it'd go with every single one of those William Morris prints. Even just making even half a metre. You've got cushion backs and cushion fronts if you just buy half a metre of this and half a metre of that. Remember, this is £12.99 for 108 inch wide fabric. It's about to sell out. If you do want it, please do check out now. So, um, the green crisscross crossroads. See you at the crossroads. I remember when we first launched extra wide backing fabrics and it was with these. The price was wrong. The price is still wrong it's still wrong all of our extra wide backing fabrics are 12.99 this one is the most affordable of the hour it's still the same width it's still the same quality it's still 100 percent cotton um right so we're going to be talking a lot about christmas over the next month or two table runners uh, cushions christmas quilts gift bags reusable gift bags the size of this Christmas tree skirts there is so much that you're going to be able to make for Christmas this let me show you is half of it that's half of it of what you're getting for 8.99 I am 
not able to hold on, but look at all this fabric. You could do all of your Christmas bags with just one half metre. One half metre for 8 99 How amazing is that? And it's something that then, of course, you can reuse. It's a, we're thinking more about sustainability. This is absolutely perfect for that. A Christmas tree skirt. Um, how about little, uh, I'm thinking making dinosaurs, making crocodile toys, making extra large crocodiles. Can you imagine? Literally a to scale size crocodile with this fabric. That would be absolutely amazing. Uh, it's just brilliant, isn't it? And I am just thinking Christmas now. Christmas stockings, Christmas stacks. You could do some lovely applique over the top of it. It doesn't need to just be plain. You could do some applique or embellish with your, your stitching over the top of this. I love receiving bottles of wine, presents for Christmas. <laughs> Hannah said, imagine, you know, if you're doing lots of wine bottles for Christmas, you've got multiple wine bottles that you could do with this. And you don't even need to sew with them. Have you seen Debbie Shaw's tying technique where you just have the, bo uh, the bottles, two bottles, you wrap them up, you've wrapped them into a roll, put them together, it's in the Sew Eco book, do a tie and that's it. Voila, done. It's Japanese wrapping. It's brilliant. Oh, do they? Is that what they do in Lush with your bath bombs? Do it with uh, your fabric now, just £8.99. £8.99. Um, there's nothing else at these sort of pricing, by the way. Nothing else. If you're doing costumes for a school play, are you doing sets for um, a school play or community pantomimes? That's one thing in my new area. It seems to me like the sort of community that might have a community pantomime. I've had lovely neighbours come knock the door with cakes and all sorts this week. I mean, it's been, they're just so lovely. No, they don't know that I'm on the, on the TV yet. I'll have to tell them to watch because... Um, yeah, they're all so, so lovely. But I was thinking, oh, I bet there's going to be some sort of carol singing event or pantomime. I'm so excited. But how good would this be if you make um, Christmas themed sets? Morning, Ian. Ian's in. All the office staff are here bright and early this morning. Come say hello to us all. £8.99 for your lovely grass green, Christmas green. But it's all about price. I remember when we launched this, right back when we were in our little studio last year, and me and Hannah were saying, oh, this price is wrong, like it's been priced wrong. I think it was you that priced it, Hannah. She said, yeah, it was. It was. <laughs> we did a really crazy price. I can't believe that it's actually never been changed. I don't know how that has never been changed, but do make the most of it whilst you can. Okay. We're talking about Christmas. I have got a red fabric as well, if you want to do some Christmas makes. This one is lovely. It's like a raspberry, cranberry sort of red. That is nice. And it's got texture, hasn't it? Again, the quilt behind me would look really nice. As a contrast, it would look great with this. And it's got really lovely texture, don't you think? Uh, Hannah's now thinking about her wine bags that she's making lots of for Christmas. They're like wine grapes, she's saying, for, a wide, for a, her wine bags. Twelve ninety nine. Think about how many lovely luxury bags you're going to be able to make. Hannah wants to come onto the telly again. Everybody who's checking out on this, well done on multi-buy. I'm not surprised. I am not surprised. Remember, if you purchase multiple units, you'll only pay one PMP and it'll all come all joined up. Hannah's trotting over to me like a reindeer. Oh, don't fall over the sewing machines. <laughs> not the jukey, not the jukey. But you can see here, it's not your regular 44 wide. Two bottle, three bottles, four bottles. <laughs> and a gin, yes. <laughs> but brilliant for your wine bottle tote bags. And you wouldn't need to actually purchase multiple units, just half a metre is yeah. fine, isn't it? You, got loads. you still get loads. I'll do it further. Thank you. Thank you, Glamorous Assistant. <gasps> um, right, so this is the only red one that we have actually today. Remember, it will come joined up if you are purchasing um, multiple units. They will cut it off the bolt for you. Our warehouse team will cut it off the bolt to whatever size you want um, by the half metre. So we've got the same print, but in like a charcoal, oh, sorry, is it like a grey, grey? 
Right, let me show you. So we've got this one. And we've got it in grey. We have got it in grey. We've got it in cream. This is the cream. Oh, we were talking about the William Morris fabric. Has that leaf one gone? This is ZBUI 60. This one, if you missed it, would also go really, really well with William Morris. Got it. The website picture um, is quite vague. It's quite vague. I don't think it's got any information, but it is this one. It is this one. And I'm not quite sure if the picture's right, so go by what you can see on the screen. Yeah, that, that's correct. Oh, yeah, sorry, the picture on the web is wrong, but this is the one that you're getting. And it's, again, got lovely texture to it. It is 100% cotton. Sorry about the creases. <gasps> Speaking of which, I've got the new iron, the rose gold corner sign. It's just arrived today. I'm so excited. <laughs> I was talking about the uh, the crease on the fabric. But look, right, these are some of the William Morris prints that we've got on pre-order. They are in the gifting hour. They're on pre-order and they would all go so perfectly because it lets the William Morris sing, but it's not a solid. Uh, so it's absolutely perfect with every single one of these, isn't it? Which one do you want? They're all on pre-order. That one I love. That's the golden lily one, isn't it? That's a really popular one. Honeysuckle, sorry. That's a really popular print. Um, they all go really well with this one, though. Even if you're just getting half a metre, this will do so many backs of cushions. Lots of lovely linings. Oh, that one. I'm going this one and this one, please. You could do a border of this. Sorry, border with this. Obviously, use this as your main print and then use a border. And it will frame that gorgeous print. And you've still got a William Morris cushion, but you've backed it um, in beautiful fabric still. Remember, dressmakers, this will go such a long way. Because it's extra wide, it's going to be suitable for lots of your patterns. You're not going to have to buy um, metres and metres and metres of it to get the width. Um, so, £12.99. All of these are on pre-order. They're in our gifting hour. If you do want to get ahead of those. Now, we also have, I know I'm aware of time and you want to see them all, so let's do the grey. I'm not going to unfold it all the way. You can see here, it's obviously um, exactly the same width again as all the ones we've been showing you. Also, contrast to your designer fabric. On the front of the quilt, or the background, not just backing, if you want, um, instead of a solid white or a solid grey, or having it as sashing, it'll just add a bit more detail without taking away from your main prints. I don't like to call it a mixer, because it's lovely, isn't it? If you're doing like an applique snow scene, this would be perfect. They're like snowballs, or you could do, remember when we did our Hawaiian applique, where we did the um, snowflakes? This would be lovely to make snowflakes with, wouldn't it? This would be perfect for that. Absolutely perfect. And remember, you just get so much for your money. It's 108 inches wide, um, not just your 44. The value for money is amazing. Right, speaking of more neutral ones, um, I've got OLYH63 and TBYH54. These are more of your mixers on the website again the picture doesn't do them justice they look just like sort of blurry pictures whereas this is very similar to the shadow well it is it's the shadow it's the shadow but those of you that have uh, have got the shadow um this is now the extra wide version oh look it's that price again how on earth is this 8 99 You've got so much fabric. Bearing in mind, your normal width of fabric, you can pay, what, 7 99 a half metre. This is a lot of fabric for 8 99 isn't it? Like crazy good value. What does that make your price per fat quarter, if you think about it? Well, it's just ridiculous. Actually, technically, half of half metre is a fat quarter. These would be, can you imagine, ginormous fat quarters. Yeah, that's half of it. That's sorry, that's half of it. If you if even if I held that, that would be wider than your average um quoting weight fabric, 44 wide, whereas that's bigger. Uh, that is just half of what you're getting for 899. I physically can't hold it out. <laughs> it's so wide. What about for soft toy making? 
borders, cornerstones, mixers. If you're doing half square triangles and you just need to add extra fabric, these are ones that are essentials really. Stash builders, perfect for your stash. This is one at that price point I would be stocking up on because you're always going to be using the cream, aren't you? It's that sand colour. What about frames for embroidery? Um, your sashing, cornerstones, binding, loads of binding you'd be able to make with these. Brilliant. We've also got it in the grey, which is TBYH54. Any of these that are going into baskets, by the way, even if Hannah takes the graphics out, it doesn't mean you've missed out. doesn't mean you've missed out. We can see you're putting it in your basket. Problem is, is Hannah can't see how much you want. So if you want multiple units, just be aware. Check out as soon as you can, because it's... It's very, very, very busy. Half the stock went on pre-order on this one. This would be nice for your snowflakes as well. Get half a metre of this or a metre of this if you want to back the, uh, the quilt that's behind me. The memory quilt is coming up. It's already selling on pre-order as well. Half the stock of this one's already gone. Um, this will go with all your William Morris again. It will go with lots of your, your collection that you've already got. Nice for home decors as well. Just £8.99. So they're the two... Um, oh no, we have got shadow as well in navy. We've got shadow in navy as well. No, it was me that told you that you got it in grey and cream. I didn't spot that you've also got it. It's UMYH58. 10 metres of, oh sorry, of the navy, okay? 10 metres of the navy before we've even shown it. I love the fact that you all know exactly what you're doing with these. Everyone's getting ahead on pre-order uh, and going for it. That always looks like velvety, doesn't it, on screen? It's not. It's 100% cotton, but because of that sort of shadow effect, it is giving it really lovely texture. If you're going for the deep blues and the silvers for Christmas, this would be very, very opulent. I am thinking like covering... Um, cushions and stools and things like that that would look really nice this color is really in really really in for home furnishing you could embroider things on top of it couldn't you You could embroider stars we've got some really lovely metallic threads coming up later you could do some lovely quilting you could actually have that just as your applique black background do you know some of Delphine's work imagine doing like Jerry the giraffe on this background or the cow or the tree of life on here that would be amazing. Backing for your tree of life and the background. There's more of you have got it in your basket than we have available, so we are oversubscribed on that one. Do check out as soon as you can. Um, I've got white, is it this one? What's your code? Or this one? This one's the same. I've got black on black, I've got black with white detail and then I've also got a grey, three of the same print. This is so lovely. This would be great for dressmaking. See, I just love that on its own as a tote bag, like just this as a tote bag. Not the lining, I'd like this as the front. Um, it's hard to see on screen actually what the print is. Let me show you on the, the website. It's got such gorgeous detail. Imagine that with the deep purples, like a real deep amethyst purple. That would be beautiful. £12.99 a half metre. This is, again, that full width. I'm thinking the Adele Roland dress that we had over the weekend, this one. I am thinking a dress. That would be really, really nice in this fabric. Remember, it is extra wide, £12.99. Elliot, have you had your coffee this morning? He's only had one, that's it. Uh, just £12.99. Don't you worry, Elliot. <laughs> we have got the, gr the, the dark back. Oh, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. The grey with white's lovely as well. Sorry, my folding isn't very good. I suppose there's a lot of fabric to fold, isn't there? A lot of fabric to fold when it's extra wide. This one is going to be lovely for bedding. I'd really like a duvet set with this. That's just so fresh. Quite Laura Ashley-esque, isn't it? Quite, um, you know, the fancy range in Donnell. The lovely range in Next at Home. That's what it reminds me of. Oh! 
Oh, there you go. Sorry. That went very bright in here. All of a sudden, the lights went funny. £12.99, a half metre. 280 centimetres wide. Oh, Elliot is all over the shop today. Are you all right? He says, I'm back. I'm back. We're getting a coffee in a minute. Don't you worry. We're, we've got Alison coming on, so he'll, um, he'll be professional for Alison. What's wrong? It's, it's Tuesday today, Elliot. It's Tuesday the 5th of October and you're at Sewing Street, Elliot. <laughs> oh dear, He's, he works so hard, our Elliot. Um, just £12.99. Now we also have it with black and white. The black and white colours are lovely as well. Alice is eagerly awaiting the win. And she did say to me this morning that this is her favourite ever patchwork project. She's thoroughly enjoyed doing this. Honestly, you will have so much fun going through choosing 12 photographs as well. It must be so difficult. But uh, um, Hannah's parents have just moved house. I heard you saying to Alison that your parents spent majority of the time not packing, actually just looking through photographs. And my mom, it was exactly the same. I said to her about a photo um, of me, of when I was little, that looked like one of Maisie. And she says, oh, I need to find this photograph. So she went through and she said, I just spent hours and hours looking at, there's nothing better than having, you know, the physical photographs. So to have it in a quilt, oh, it's just love. It's just so special, so, so special. Right, this is your black and white for £12.99, a half metre, already going. I've never even seen that one before. These are all new to me. I've got swirls on black. I'm undetermined now because um, because we were um, chit-chatting this morning and, and, well, we were just getting excited and indulging on the Paisley prints, weren't we? This would be nice with the Dan Morris. Dan Morris or the Tim Holtz fabrics. This would look lovely. In fact, get a metre of this, two units. You'll have enough to be able to do the backing of your quilt that's coming up. Um, and you'll also have some left over, maybe to do some cushions. It's extra wide. Some of your Japanese inspired fabric would look nice. It almost looks like waves, doesn't it? And can you see almost like hearts in there as well? What can you see? Just £8.99, a half metre. It's extra wide. It's the same price again. What is going on? All of these are supposed to be twelve ninety nine. Every now and then, there is a sneaky little 8 99 that keeps dropping in, and they're the ones that are selling very, 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 very quickly. The green, which is called True Kisses, we've got it also in cream. These are beautiful for dressmaking. They make lovely tea dresses, really pretty dresses. I can see our, um, I'm thinking, either Adele or Kerry living in loveliness wearing a dress made out of this. It looks quite Riley Blake, doesn't it? The photo on the web again doesn't do it justice. Yeah, let's see what you're looking at. Oh, yeah. No, it's, it doesn't look like that. This is how gorgeous it is. This is how gorgeous it is. It's called True Kisses, and it is beautiful. I like the pinks and the blues as well coming through. They look so pretty. This could be the back and the front of your quilt. Just with solid colours, that is going to look absolutely beautiful. Ready for spring. And remember, you're getting loads, loads of fabric for £12.99. It comes in cream. Same print again in cream. Don't worry, Alison will get her whole hour. Don't you worry. We've got so much to talk about with Alison. £12.99. Oh, look at that. This is nice. I'm thinking more home furnishing. The last one was screaming dressmaking, but this one would make beautiful conservatory cushions. I'm thinking the tie cushion that we had for the early bird. Picking out one of the colours, even just a cream, just uh, an ivory or a white for the bow, for the tie cushion. This would be perfect. In fact, it was similar sort of vibe fabrics that Cara was using in her demo back um, in March, was it? Gosh, back in March. So, we've had no designer extra wide backing yet. We now have three Henry Glass fabrics. Now, you would expect them to be a high price point, right? They're still at 12 99 which is bonkers. This is Henry Glass designer extra wide backing. Right, I'm thinking William Morris Prince. Boom, boom, boom. If you've got any of these... 
if you've got any of the three sisters prints, your moders, this is your traditional colorway and you're getting the most crazy price. Everywhere else, have you noticed that designer fabric prices are going up? Bearing in mind, this, your regular width, would be 7 99 a half metre, agreed? Got to be. This is more than double the width of your regular quilting weight fabric. It's 12 99 a half metre, that's a lot of fabric for your money. I'm not just thinking quilt backs now, I'm thinking cushions, bags, dressmaking, home furnishing, uh, just a stash builder. It's a really nice scale print for the centre of EPP hexes. Normal width, Henry Glass, on our website. This is Sewing Street's website. Have a look at this. Normal width is $7.49. That's the right price. Really, really good price for designer fabric. This is more than double the amount of fabric. I need to open this up really quickly, look. So, it goes on and on and on and on. This will go lovely with the next hour memory quilt, actually. You have got so much here. Alison, would you come and hold this corner? Sorry, sorry we're running late, sorry we're running late. Look, how lovely would this look with memory quilts as well? It's beautiful, it's really, and it is designer fabric, 12 99 I can't believe we've done that. Thanks, Alison. Alison's um, not got a mic on yet. <laughs> Uh, right, so we've got this one, and then we've also got, in fact, are these the same ones or very similar? They're Henry Glass still, but um, same designer. No, I mean, Hannah, look, they're the same print. Yeah. Okay, so we've got one more. Sorry, they were both the same one. They were both the same. Uh, so we'll do this one. This is our last one. Oh, I like the fact that, can you see? You've got all these little dots. The attention to detail. They're all different colours. You've got green, you've got red, you've got orange, you've got blue. Hi, Donna. Donna, we've got Alison Marion coming up in a couple of minutes. We've got an amazing hour as well. Something completely different. Um, this is going to look really beautiful with all your memory quilts as well. This will look really, really nice. You could use this as your border, your background, your lining, so many options. Bit of a paisley style as well, isn't it? So, Alison has got coming up the most amazing memory quilt kit. Now, don't worry, you don't need to have all of Alison's family on yours. They're lovely, Alison. We love your family. But everybody can personalise this. And, oh, from a distance as well, that illusion of having that shadow effect and that depth just works so well. So very clever. So very clever. Now, because everybody's been asking, postcard hour is going to go on earlier than we expected. So we'll put it on pre-order soon. We'll put it um, on pre-order soon. It's coming up at 11 o'clock. But these are the fabric postcards. They're so lovely, aren't they? Do you know what? Too many people are asking. Let's do it now. Whilst you're checking out on the memory quilts, also check out on the postcard kits. Refresh your pre-order page. The postcard kits will appear there. It's already very, very busy. Lots of people asking about Alison's kits. Get your memory quilt kits. Absolutely get the postcard kits as well. And we will see you in just a few minutes. Don't go anywhere. Alison Marion is back right after this. <laughs> In need of a crafting fix, there are so many ways you can watch Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Sewing Street is live from 8am to 1pm every day on Freeview 72 and Sky 670. Alternatively, if you want to watch us on a tablet or on the move, you can tune in on our YouTube channel, the Sewing Street app, or the websites at www.sewingstreet.com and www.yarnlane.com. You can watch past shows on Sky 670 from 1pm every day, as well as our YouTube channel, the app, and our website. Yarn Lane is on from 12pm to 1pm. Visit our programme guide to find out when and what's on. So you never have to spend a minute without us. Hello, my name's Rebecca Harrison. Uh, my background is in theatre costume, so I've made uh, costumes for film, TV and theatre. 
Um, I began to sew when I was at school, in primary school, and I also uh, did a lot of sewing with my mum at home. Um, one of the first things that I ever made um, was this little mouse um, and I hand sewed her at primary school. I think I was eight or nine um, when I did her um, and I treasure her. She's, uh, she, she's I just love her. Her, her head's, her stuffing's gone in her head so she's a bit wobbly. Um, my favourite things to sew are corsets. Um, probably because of my uh, period background um, but I just love them. I've got one here. Um, I love the structure of them. Um, the shape the bones make, I, I just think they're beautiful um, and the fact that through the ages they've changed to uh, make women's shape different um, and I find that really fascinating. Um, my claim to fame is um, because I've obviously uh, doing costumes for film and theatre, I've been lucky enough to meet um, a lot of famous people. So um, I've met people like uh, Dame Judi Dench, uh, Kate Winslet, uh, Juliette Binoche, uh, lots, oh gosh, lots and lots of people, lots more than I can probably, I haven't got time to say them all. Um, but yeah, just, and, and all around the building where I used to work um, in London, you'd see lot, lots of people, Christopher Lee, Sir Richard Attenborough, um, yeah, just lo lots and lots of people. Um, so it was it was really lovely um, and uh, yeah I'm, I feel very privileged to do what I do I love my job and I'm very lucky that I get to do it every day um, and I really enjoy being on sewing street and uh, demonstrating um, how to make things and um, hopefully inspire you uh, to get to get sewing Have you heard about all of the different ways you can shop with Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? You can either shop on our websites sewingstreet.com and yarnlane.com. You can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. For Sewing Street call 0800 001 4433 and for Yarn Lane call 0800 4700 600. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street or Yarn Lane in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! Yes, it is. Sorry, me and Alison still having a chat. Um, I think I put the air conditioning on. Yes, is the answer. I think I did. Elliot's going to check. Welcome back, welcome back um, to an hour, which honestly, I we've got so much to talk about. This is such a personal hour for everybody. We want to make uh, this really inclusive for all of us. And it's something that we can all personalise. And whether it be a memory quilt, whether it be a special birthday quilt, whether it be um, a... You know, someone who's had a baby and, you know, the first year of all their photos or milestones, a first smile, first sitting up and each month. I know that I've got all of my, my little mum friends at the moment and now Maisie's six months old. They've all got these different quilts or different photographs of one month, two month, three months. And this would be perfect for that. There are so many different ways we're going to be able to use this quilt and the pattern is gorgeous now we're going to do elliot the quilt kit first which is the black and gray bundle so the one that you're seeing there you have alice and marion's kit we're going to talk through all of this don't worry about um the the transferring your photographs onto the the fabric because we're going to explain it all with alison and in the kit you are going to get the transfer paper Plus, you're going to get your instructions. The piecing itself is relatively simple. So those of you that have, have done a bit of sewing before, this is for an adventurous beginner. Absolutely go for it. There's nothing too tricky about the piecing of it, even though it looks quite complex with the illusion that you have the, uh, you know, the, the sort of three-dimensional feel to the photograph frames. All going to be demystified and explained with Alison. So in the kit, you do get your instructions and you get your photo transfer paper. 
uh, which we'll explain how to use. Uh, we'll talk about the, the technicalities with Alison because I'm a bit of a technophobe too, so don't worry, we'll go through it together. Not only do you get this, in this kit you get the blacks and greys, which I absolutely love because it has a, well, it works really perfectly with the black and white photos. If you're working with older photographs, a family tree kind of vibe, then this would be perfect. Hi, Pat. Pat's just said, Borada to my two favourite lovely ladies. I'm in awe of Alison. How does she come up with such great ideas, inspirational? We'll ask her how she came up with this idea, because I know this is something that's been a long time in the making, hasn't it, Alison? Um, so this is the grey kit, which is the one similarly to uh, what Alison's made up, but obviously you add your own photographs um, into your project. It's absolutely flying out, we knew it would. It's so, so popular. If you have got it in your basket, check out, check out, check out. So, we also have another kit available. You can get the instructions on their own today, but we do have it also with the pinks. Now, I think this has a completely different feel. The first one that Alison uh, showed to us with all the older photographs has that lovely memory feel, the sort of family tree. This would be lovely as a wedding gift, a first birthday gift, an anniversary, a 21st birthday, going off to university, um, family who live abroad. This would be absolutely perfect. I love it. Maybe somebody, you know, who works away a lot, someone who works, who's in the army or, um, or who works in the, the services. It's, it's so lovely to be able to, to have that memory card and something that isn't just photographs that you, you keep in a drawer that you can hang on the wall or I just absolutely love it. Have them around all the time to have different family members um, all the time. Lots of photographs I have got sit in the drawers. They, they, they don't get bought out enough. Or they sit on Facebook, they sit on the phone, they sit on the internet and they, they don't actually have physical photographs or wall hangings, which I just think is so lovely. This one would be brilliant for a gift for somebody, a wedding gift. The colourways are lovely, really lovely. So you have a metre of your white, half a metre of your, your grey, a metre of the star pink, and then you also get half a metre of that. This is a lovely fabric, by the way. I think this might be new. I think in a baby's first year quilt would be brilliant, really good. It'd be so difficult though, my camera roll is now full of mazy pictures. To narrow it down to 12, I think it would be really hard. In fact, what I'd probably do is multiply it and make bigger, and make bigger, absolutely. You could join them up, you could personalise it with names and dates, you could personalise it with um, all sorts of wedding dates, if we're doing it as a wedding quilt with with uh, beads and uh, all sorts of embroidery. It would be one of those that you could just keep going and going and going with, which is what we love about Alison's projects. Um, so that's the other kit. Now, we have the instructions on their own. They come with the photo paper. So not only do you get Alison's instructions, you also get in detail how to use the transfer paper, there's photographs as well, plus you get your memory quilt instruction kit. Now, the instructions on their own, we're more limited on. Please do check out now if I were you. Don't wait to the end of the demo. These will sell out. Um, oh, they are literally about to sell out. If you've got it in your basket, we're oversubscribed, so please do check out. Maybe, um, remember, you do get these in the kits that we've just shown in the, the pink and in the grey. If they're not the colourways for you, but you manage to get the instructions and the photo paper, we have got a purple bundle that we've put together. Just because I knew how busy it would be, we've asked for another bundle. Three metres of fabric, which is enough for the front of your quilt and your binding. You will need fabrics, obviously, to back your quilt. Which, I don't know if you've been watching, since 8 o'clock, we've given you lots of options of fabric to back it with. Um, not that you even need extra wide backing fabric, actually, with this. No, you don't. 44 wide's fine. So you get a whole metre of your lovely uh, sort of vanilla, mottle effect it isn't it isn't like that mottled by the way that was elliot that's not your eyes but it does have a lovely sort of texture to it that's a whole meter sorry to chuck you under the bus there elliot it wasn't you it was the cameras those robotic cameras technology these days eh um also this was another mottled effect which is that lovely plum color a whole meter of this <laughs> Can't get the staff, can we? Half a metre of your lavender with the flowers and then half a metre of this brand new mottled one as well. Love these new colours. 
Um, we'll go through any other bits and bobs that you might need with Alison as we go along. A tool that Alison um, specifically asked for us to get in was this size. We've always had the, the really big long Fiskars, um, I call it like a guillotine, it is your ruler and rotary cutter combo. Um, we will be using it in the demo, so we'll see it in action. But your rotary cutter sits in here, it's completely encaged, um, it's got a really lovely soft grip ergonomic handle on the top and you can cut all of your strips as well as having um, your ruler on here as well. $39.99. Carol, just want to let you know, all of the quilt kits have got the photo paper apart from the purple. The purple bundle is just the fabrics on its own. Just fabrics. So if anybody has got the instructions on their own, if you want a kit, then go for those. Um, the pink comes with your instructions and your photo paper. Which is the most popular out of Curiosity? Is it the greys? Love the greys. I think it's perfect for, for old photographs as well. That I find old photographs so special, so, so special because they're, they're obviously really rare. Nowadays, we have thousands of photos on our phone, but every single one of these photographs is so special. Um, obviously, we can put, you can put your family on there, um, uh, all your pets. Well, they are your family, aren't they, pets? But your favourite places doesn't necessarily need to be people, does it? Um, you can choose whatever pictures you want. You could do a holiday quilt with some of your favourite holiday photographs. Family tree. Do you know, when I was getting married, um, we, we were... Um, I've seen lots of lovely ideas, but of people uh, to do a memory sort of... Um, section at a wedding you often see it with photographs of, of of past loved ones and you could do like a beautiful quilt couldn't you of everybody uh, as a memory quilt they're so special they are so so special so Alison I mean where where was it that you got the inspiration for this because this is obviously incredibly personal to you oh, and I know it, you yeah. said that this is your favorite ever patchwork it project. is yeah the whole process from start to finish uh, choosing the photographs. I yeah. mean, I was there with my mum and dad. We went through all the old photographs, and so choosing that for this one. Becky was up on holiday because obviously she's down in Cornwall and I'm up in Staffordshire. And uh, Becky and her boyfriend were up, and we were going through all the old family oh, albums, it's such you know. Good fun. Because now we take for granted now that we've got the digital yeah. um, access with cameras and things like that, the fact that, okay, they're not all perfectly set photos. I mean, this one here, this is Becky with her dad, but, you know, it's quite dark in one corner, but it was the days when you took 20 photos on a film, sent it away and came back and Wait, maybe three or four were okay. Out, that's it, you know, yeah. so that's, I think that's half of the appeal. So obviously some of them yeah. are um, digital ones, the ones that are a little bit better. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, as I say, I think that's half the appeal. But... Um, Seven years ago, I went to Kentucky. My cousin lives in Kentucky, and okay. it was her birthday, and we surprised her for her birthday party. We turned up, and her husband is a twin, and his sister, twin sister, we went there for afternoon tea, and up on the lounge wall was this fantastic quilt that she'd made her mum. Now, Jane said to me when I said, Jane, um, I'm going to be on telly. Can I put the photograph of your quilt? Um, she said, yes, but it's not as nice as yours, and I... Oh, what it's rubbish lovely, is that? It? It's so lovely. <laughs> this and is so, so personal. personal isn't it? Yeah. Because with Jane's, what she's done is these are all A4 sheets. Well, they're not A4 in America, are they? Are they full scale? Yeah. But um, she's put lots of little photographs on, oh. and each one, so that when she passes it on to her family. She's actually got all the details of who's in the photograph. That's such a good idea because quite often you'll look at old photographs and I have no idea yeah. who's on there. So that would yeah. be so lovely yeah. to pass down. So, uh, Jane, it's beautiful. And that was my initial um, thought. I must do a photo quilt, a, a memories quilt, because I knew we had like my nan and granddad's photos yeah. and things like that. So is this the first one you've ever done? Yes. This is the first, oh, yeah, this has seven been years. seven years in, in the uh, planning, yes. Oh. Because I didn't know how I wanted to do it until I saw um, Jenny from the Missouri Star Quilt Company. Yeah. I watched one of her um, 
demonstrations for doing illusion quilts and it was this shadow box it, and perfect, I thought how it? perfect is that to yeah. have a picture frame that looks like it's actually hung on a wall yes it does uh, especially when you from see a the, the grey one from a distance yeah. look at that it gives it yeah. real dimension doesn't it three-dimensional yeah. illusion yeah. which I love so what an amazing idea she says a lovely idea I made a memory quilt when my mum was diagnosed with dementia so she could wrap her family around her yeah how yeah. special is that yeah it's lovely isn't it I'm going to get all emotional oh, no, now. We've already had, like, it's, we've it had tears. A, we have, it's so sentimental, and I think these will be so special to so many people. Yeah, I mean, I could talk about it all morning, couldn't I? But, um, yeah, I mean, it's all, it's both mine There's and Mike's your families. And dad. Yeah. yeah, my mum and dad. It's all um, mine and Mike's family. I mean, this particular photo was my nan's proudest thing with oh. all her children. Um, were in the services, but it took such a job to get everyone on leave together. Yeah. So it was so special. Gosh. I mean, this one's my dad. He died when she was two, so she never really knew him. But we've got no photographs of her mum, oh. which is so weird, isn't it, nowadays? But this old lady here is my dad's great gran. Oh, look at her. I mean, she well, we she probably didn't, didn't know, know what camera, what camera was. was back then. She probably sat there thinking, what on earth are they doing with that box? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, with her flat cap up yeah. in the north, you know, in Lancashire. So Oh, it's brilliant. And then there's Mike's, um, Mike's dad here on the submarine up in Malta when they were based at Malta. It, and there's Mike, he was nine, so that was the same time when he was at school in Malta. So it's just a lovely thing to be able to talk about. Oh, I love it. Is it a conversation yeah. sort of yeah. starter as well? Yeah. Um, if somebody was poorly, you know, to... To, you can't always necessarily go and see them or their yeah. way. It's such a lovely yeah. thing to have. And it's surprisingly it. simple, as yeah. you'll see in a second. But I am going to go through um, very quickly the, the transferring part. That's yes. the only thing I'm scared of. I want to do it. I know that it's, it's, yeah. it's going to be so special. But yeah. how on earth am I going to get the photographs onto yeah. fabric? Well, this this here, I've done this here. I've put it. I've joined white and cream for you to see the difference that it makes having a background, what different backgrounds do. Because that's why the, black, the monochrome black and grey has got the cream background, because mm -hmm. it looks more vintage. And the colour one, the more modern one, has got white because it, it crisps everything up. Okay. So you can see on this one here, look, that's it's you quite... That's designing. Yeah, <laughs> yes. I've brought that photo with me, look. That's the actual original photo. Right. And obviously oh, my dad nice. was in the Navy. And this is one that, a photo that my mum had done to say, a letter for daddy. Oh, there we are going again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, and this one, this is... Um, you can see that this is quite different to the one in the back. So yeah, there has been to some digital work yeah. done on it to make it a bigger size. That's my nan and granddad with my dad and my uncle just before the Second World War. Now, if you um, need a bit of help with this, I mean, there's, um, I was saying there's a printer shop by me that, um, uh, that would be really good, actually, because you would need to upload them to the computer, wouldn't you? You would, yes. For anybody who is really thinking, do you know what, I'm really going to struggle, you've put your email address on there and yep. you have said, email Alison and she will do her best to yeah, help. Yeah, Mike has said that he would be quite happy to prep everyone's photos for them because you need <laughs> you need four <laughs> you need four on an A4 sheet you've got three sheets so that makes your 12 photos so um, if people wanted to send their photos email us and then send up the photos and Mike will do it but on one the pack when you get one it. thing that's really really important is you need to mirror image it so if you're doing it at okay. home it is in the instructions in capitals in red mm -hmm. <laughs> and I'll explain why because this one to anybody looking at it, probably wouldn't think there's anything wrong. But it's actually the wrong way round, as you can see from the correct photo. Ah, okay. And only if you were looking close that you would see that my Auntie Anne, who was a wren, her cap badge is back to front. Right. HMS Collingwood going that way instead of that way. And right. also, any Marines would see that their cap badge is on the wrong side. It's little details like it's that. It's details like that. Now, this next one I did to show you exactly. This sh is really yeah. shows you why. Oh, of course. Any writing. Yes. Right. So yeah. do I need any specific ink in my printer? No, it's just an ordinary inkjet. Oh, okay. Yeah, Brilliant. just an ordinary inkjet. So, yeah, obviously that one is obvious that it's wrong. So you do have to mirror image. And you can do that when you print. When you're on your printer, when you go to print, it'll ask, you can go into your settings and it will tell you. 
Oh, and this is my next one, look. Oh yeah, I think a lot of people are going to love doing the, uh, the pets one. Alison, is such a, this is such a lovely idea. I feel very emotional looking at your quilt. Yeah. <laughs> oh, we're all really blurry eyes. Yeah, I've had tears this morning. It's just, I mean, you could go on forever, couldn't you? Yeah. Um, but I'll go through now and show you how to transfer the image. Brilliant. I have already done this one, but oh, So once you've printed it... Yeah, you print get your through. print, your... She says, oh, here it is. This is on your sheet of paper mm -hmm. and you cut it out without a border. You don't want a border on it and then you get your fabric. Now, if it's going to be something that's going to be washed a lot, a wall hanging, I wouldn't bother. But if you were using it as a quilt, because it is washable, uh, d the details of washing is on the um, paper details. If you're going to wash it, I would wash your fabric first. But obviously right. a wall hanging, I won't be washing it. Um, mm -hmm. So I've done it straight onto the fabric as it, as it comes. So what I'm going to do is I've got my piece of fabric. And you have your iron on its hot setting. Now in the instructions, it says to do this for 30 seconds. It doesn't, the most important thing is that it's actually um, adhered to the fabric so if you look at it and everything's already stuck down that's fine you don't have to carry on and do it for 30 seconds so it doesn't take long yeah but you do have to keep your iron moving okay so you would start off and you keep your iron moving up and down side to side you can see it's going already so I'm not going to carry on once I know it's not quite there but once I know that that's done that's down. I'm going to leave that. Mm -hmm. oh, and that's it. Ketty's just said, oh, I mean, that's simple, isn't it? Yeah. It's really simple. Yeah. Um, Sorry. Now you, ha now, you have to leave it. Yeah. <laughs> now you have to leave it for 10 minutes. So I've got one that I've done and I'll come back in a minute and I'll, I'll take that off and, and show you. So after 10 minutes, when it's cooled down completely, yeah. we'll you, take off, you, yeah, okay. you take off the oh, paper. Yeah, you take off the paper. Yeah. Oh, I do need that back again. You've got a piece of tissue because obviously you don't put your iron directly onto the picture. So in your kit, you'll have a piece of tissue. And what you're doing now is you're actually, because you've transferred your picture to the fabric yeah. and now you want to embed the picture into the fabric. So is so that an applique mat you're using or what's that that you've got over the top of it? Oh no, this is just the, oh, that's the, trace just paper the piece that comes of paper the that kit. comes with it. Okay. What you can use, yeah, because I have used this at home, is if you lose this and you want to do any more and you haven't got that, you can use the applique mat. Ah, okay. So that's what I used on a lot of them because I've been doing so many. So then you just go over the top and that will embed, about, about 10, 20 seconds, that will embed the inks into the fabric. And so then clever, isn't it? what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put this down on the top here to cool down. Hopefully that'll help it. Yeah, I can feel it cooling down. This one's not so important. You don't have to leave this one for so long. There's water come out of there. You do not, you don't have steam. You don't need to have steam. So there okay. we are. So, and then you just pull that off and then it's just a piece of fabric. How clever is that? <laughs> Love it. So then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to cut around the outside of the photo. I'll just put that out of yeah. the way a minute. Ooh. Half an inch all the way round. We'll change change this here. Becky's watching, says, morning or very strange seeing so many versions of my face looking back <laughs> at me this morning. <laughs> I'm just going to get a little, have we got a little thing here? There we go, that'll do. Uh, Elliot was Ooh. saying this morning how much you and your mum look alike, Becky. A lot of people say that. Oh, there we go. I've just got this little one for the for the minute because um, that rotary cutter that you said about the uh, the one yeah, there. Yeah, you've asked to get that fabulous, in. Fabulous, absolutely fabulous. I've got both of them. Oh, I really? use the long one for when I'm doing a lot of my kits because you can cut across half a width of fabric. Yeah, yeah. But that one is uh, brilliant. So I'm going to take around half an inch each around the photo. Oh, I will say that while I'm doing this, the um, the kits or the bundles that's with the um, patterns, okay. 
you've got with the grey you've got the shadow enough to do the shadow and the binding in the darker grey right but in the pink you've got enough of the dark pink to do the binding so the amounts are different but if you're buying fabric um, it's not joined together on here so okay. it's it's listed as um, frame shadow background and binding right so, okay but they've been combined in the kit Alison I've got a couple of questions for you yeah. first one um, the f I have missed what the photos are printed onto right Jan the the um, photo paper everything all comes in the the instruction kit the the pink and the gray kit um, you do get your instructions and you do get the um, photo paper that you iron onto your fabric, you, you, that you print out your photographs. I'm making it sound more complicated than it is. <laughs> Alice has just completely demystified it for us. Don't worry. You get your paper, you iron onto your fabric, Jan. You get it in the kit. Collector in Devon has asked a question as well. Morning, lovely ladies. Loving the quilt. Alison mentioned an inkjet printer. Will it work mm. with a laser printer too? I don't know. It is inkjet printer paper, so I wouldn't like to say really. Yeah, a lot of projects uh, mm. or products like this that I've seen are generally only inkjet yeah, printers. Yeah, I, I wouldn't like to aware. say really. I'm, I'm being honest with you, ones that I've yeah. had in the past, I've only seen ones with inkjet, so I wouldn't like to say, oh yeah, I'm sure it'll work, and it won't. So no. at, it might be worth having a bit of a look into it. Most printers that we have at home, in our home, you know, domestic home, are inkjet printers, yeah. so yes. Um, I don't want to tell you that it's, it's going to work on a laser one when I'm, I'm not entirely sure. Right, what I'm doing now is I'm putting the the border, the frame, around the picture, and I, we've cut half an inch, and then we're putting round our frame fabric with a quarter inch seam which is then going to leave us with a quarter inch white border and something that's handy for this is this little roll and press because in my sewing room my ironing board is over there <laughs> <laughs> this is handy and you're just going to go round it doesn't you don't have to mitre corners or anything like that oh, we're brilliant. just creating a frame so using a quarter inch seam allowance. Catherine Wright's watching. Hello Catherine. Oh she said that she thinks it's just the uh, ink jake printer as well. Ah. Uh, she said morning and I said loving the quilt. Oh quilt. thank you Catherine. Shouldn't be getting on with work but sitting watching you snuggling with the dog. Oh good. Ah. <laughs> so I'm just trimming off the lengths that I'm not needed and then that'll that will go back and we'll go around each side. I'm keeping my fingers crossed because obviously I used my quarter inch foot at home and sometimes they vary a little. Christine's just said, morning gorgeous Vicky and Alison Marion, love the idea so much, it looks amazing with the shadow. She says I've never made a quilt but made lots of cushions with family pets um, and what I call lockdown lovables, um, one of them each couple to cuddle ah. during lockdown when they couldn't be together so you don't need to necessarily do this as a quilt do you you can no. turn them into cushions yeah uh, well I made my auntie Anne this one here yeah a large photo and I made her a cushion out of that yeah yeah I've just lost the uh, fabric in the machine a minute <laughs> chew it up yeah the end. that's my fault for starting off the end it didn't like it at all so we'll take it off and start a little further along. Katie says, Alison, loving the quilt. I live by HMS Collingwood. Oh, gosh. All my family have been there. Oh, really? Well, that's the cap badge on Auntie Anne's hat. Oh. <laughs> Very service-orientated family we are. Now yeah, all the pictures in the Navy. I love it. Yeah. Saying how smart all your family are as well. The picture of you at your christening, your family just yeah. looks gorgeous, and your parents' wedding day. Well, that's that's the amazing. one that made me cry this morning because my christening there. That my brother, he died when I was a baby, so I never knew him. Oh. Um, you know, but it's just so lovely. Yeah. Right, and I'm just going to put the last one. Oh, a bit dry. Last one around. Uh, to finish the frame. Are you alright temperature wise by the way? Yes I'm fine now. Yeah, <laughs> it was very hot. <laughs> 
Instructions um, and paper on their own have completely sold out. The only way is getting the instructions is in the kit. The main graphic is for your pink, which you get um, all three meters of fabric, a meter of white, half a meter of gray, half a meter of your lovely pink, and then you get a whole meter of that darker uh, gray, that, uh, sorry, the darker pink that Alice has used as the frames, the stars, you get a meter of this one as well. 39.99, and you do get your instructions and your photo paper. Haven't mentioned, what an amazing price as well. I don't know. 39.99. Oh gosh, yes. Really good price for a quilt project. Like so good. And you only need a meter for the backing. It's not Brilliant. the backing isn't included, but you only need a meter. It doesn't have to be extra wide. No. No. There we go. So that's the frame. And then to make the shadow you start off and you cut out your one and a half inch squares and your strips. All of the strips are worked on one and a half. So um, I've put that it's um, on the instructions here, adventurous beginner, because there's no bias to deal with. You yeah. aren't cutting triangles that are on a bias or anything. You're all, um, all straight strips. So, you know, it's not too much of an issue. So now you can see on this one here, I'm going to put a piece Just of bring it down a bit, please, Alison. Thank you. A piece of the um, grey that's got the little square on the left-hand side of the photo, with the white bit at the top. The shadow effect is. I think this makes it as well, doesn't it? Having that um, three-dimensional effect. Yeah. Well, so it wasn't cool. until I saw that um, thing with Jenny mm -hmm. that I thought that. I, I wanted to do that effect anyway, that's why I was searching it out. And I thought, oh goodness, that would look so lovely with the photos. Just so you know, there's more of you, um, uh, there's more of the grey in baskets than we have availability. So if you do want the one that's behind Alison, please do check out now. Don't wait for the end of the demo because that will sell out. There's more of you that have got it in your basket. Um, would it work on the June Taylor printable fabric sheets? Morag, it's worth having a look through and seeing what, what you can get because um, I know that the individual um, paper with the instructions is now sold out. But if you do want the, the kits from Alison, the only availability now is in the, um, is in the fabric bundles. Here we go. So this one, I'm putting the little white square over on the right hand side at the bottom. And that's all it is to create in the shadow box. Oh, that sounded like a little clunky clunk. That's the uh, thread breaking. It's caught in the in the reel. Oh no! Uh, right, let me have a quick recap whilst Ooh, you're um, whilst you're doing that. So, um, in the pink bundle, which is your main graphic, you get a meter of white, which is going to be for your sort of background. Um, and then you've got your grey as well, which is going to be for your shadow, half a meter. You get your lovely pink, which is again for like the sashing part, and then the stars, a whole meter, which will be for the frames, the main frames. There you go, you can see there, 39.99. Oh, I bet it's so difficult picking just 12 photographs, it's, isn't it? It's awful because <laughs> there are so many, because you, well, even with like these ones of Becky. You know, there are so many. Well, you I love know, that you've one. got Maisie. I love and that you one. just think, what, this one? Where yes. a da a da I said, <laughs> I said on Facebook, because I put a picture of it, and uh, Becky um, put a heart emoji. I said, you might not have that heart there tomorrow. I've put the one with you where you're so fashion forward. Look at this picture, everyone. <laughs> no, not that one, not this that one, one, this one. Look at the shoes. <laughs> yeah, it's a dad's shoes. Becky, you look brilliant. Wait, <laughs> is this smile? She's so happy. She's so happy. Oh, that is funny. So, yeah. Hmm. And was that gone again now? Oh, no. Okay. So, that's the shadow box done. This, uh, uh, the Royal Impress won't make your iron completely redundant, will it? But it does. Oh, gosh, no. It it's does. Um, but it also helps because obviously you can't iron over the image. Yeah. What you need to do is if you're, I mean, in a minute, I will get it up and I'll press all this, but you have to use your tissue again. Okay. So you have to protect your picture. 
Um, so there, well that's the shadow box done. And then all we've got to do now is to just put on the background. Do, do, is there a particular way that you need to press your seams to get your points to match? No, because you're not actually matching, matching anything, anything because we've put um, this on totally random. Perfect. And you've got this here which doesn't go into anything. So no, no it, points to no, match. No, not at all. Brilliant. So there are details in the instructions. There's a little bit of maths involved if you want to go that route. Okay. Because we want to end up with 10 inch squares. Mm -hmm. It's worked on 10 inch, so they end up being nine and a half, but you, you piece from a 10 inch square. So you're going to add your pieces round the outside so that you've got your 10 inch square. If you don't want to do this, I've just thought while I'm here, you could applique it on. You could just add that, couldn't you, yeah. if you wanted to. Yeah. But if we're piecing, you need to work out from your, your piece of, um, your block, because yeah. all your photos are going to be different. Unless you do all of your photos the same size, which you might like to do, then you've got your sizing sorted out, no problem. Yeah. But um, for this one, I'm just going to use this as the measure to start off with. So this one, we've got... So that you've got the square one, this size one at home Yeah, as well. I'm just using it as a ruler yeah. at a minute. Yeah, I use this one for most of my piecing. Right, okay. Yeah, where the other one I use for kitting. So we've got this one here. It's eight and a half by... Oh, that's lucky. Eight and a half. There you go. <laughs> that's a pure fluke. <laughs> <laughs> so um, I need the same around each side. And I explain here what you do is you've got your eight and a half. So you actually need an inch and a half. Okay. And you need that both sides, so you divide that in half, so you need three quarters fabric, mm -hmm. and you've got to add your seam allowances. But on here, while I was doing all the prep yesterday, you did the maths for us. I wrote down, yes, for an eight and a half, because I'm leaving you a bit of leeway so okay. that once we've added the back background, we can then cut it down to an exact 10 inch. So for eight and a half, it's, uh, I need four pieces of one and a half. Right. So I'm going to cut this into four pieces of one and a half strips. And a helpful way of doing it is to cut across the width of your fabric and cut off 11 inch strips because you're never going, because you're cut, gonna cut down to 10, you're never gonna go above 11 inches so if you've started your 11 inch strip there you can just carry on cutting if you need an inch you need two inches you need to, you can carry across the width of your fabric grey and black has sold out um if you want the instructions and your photo paper the only way is getting it in the pink bundle now uh, this is a really handy size actually the fist scars ruler it's brilliant easy to store yeah yeah and what made you get both if you've got the larger one um, well, the larger one I got mainly for the cutting kits. the width of fabric yeah. and this one for piecing because, okay. I mean, I love them both, but if you're doing little bits, sometimes the length bit can be a bit, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. I was just intrigued, you know, when somebody loves a product. It's like when I like this jumper, so I've got it in a couple yeah. of colours. Yeah. It's like that, isn't it? You just yeah. think, actually, it's, it's good if you like a product and you know it works really well, actually, it's worth getting both yeah. sizes. So then I'm going to add, now if your photos are different sizes, I mean, this one is ending up being a square, which wasn't intentional, because you would do your two sides here, and then you would w work out the size you, that you need for there and there. <gasps> and great idea, she says, I bought the pink, my niece is getting married in April, I'm going to take photos on the day and make a call Fantastic. for a birthday in August. Yeah. Great idea. Oh, I went to a wedding last week and it was so lovely. Uh, they've had two weeks off now. And she texted me yesterday saying, it's my birthday back at work and I've got the holiday blues. I said, when are your photos out? So her photos come on the 14th. But that would be lovely then to do a, 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 yeah. a wedding yeah. quilt. Oh, it would be so lovely. I'm very grateful that Jane allowed me to show hers because... Is she watching then in Kentucky? I've told her that it will go on... Um, on YouTube. On yeah. YouTube. Hello, but yeah. we love your quilt. And my cousin Julie. Oh. Marty, the girls. <laughs> <laughs> It was so lovely. We were supposed to surprise Julie for her 50th birthday party, but uh, when we, we were, went down into Philadelphia to change flights, mm -hmm. <laughs> and I, I had a Philly steak sandwich, and I put on Facebook, 
when in Philly, you have to have a Philly steak oh, no. sandwich. And Julie went to her husband and she said, Marty, why is Alison in Philadelphia? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> but it was lovely, really lovely catching up. We were supposed to be going for my 60th yeah. last year again, but we didn't get there, obviously. So you're off to London instead, aren't yes, you, Yes, yeah, Liberty and then Ali Pally. Oh, brilliant. So looking forward to that. That's how I ended up getting engaged in Nashville. We were over really? there. <laughs> oh, Nashville with your country music love. Yeah. That is my dream to go yeah. there. There we go. So that's that one. Those two sides. How are we doing for time? That's not too bad. No, we're all good for time, Alison. Don't you worry about time. So really, it's a bit like a log cabin. You know, you're just going round the outside, making up the size. And these are the last two pieces. Obviously, if, if it wasn't square, these would be a different size. Your main graphic is now for the roll and press, which we love. We converted Alison with that yes, one. Yes, yeah, that was one of my first purchases. That and my snips. Oh, your Fiskars oh, snips. They yeah. come with you everywhere yeah, as well, do. don't they? <laughs> I am a Fiskars fan, I must admit. Well, I think that, that there's a reason why they are probably one of the biggest household brand names that have been, yeah. they've lost the test yeah. of time, their haven't they? Their products are brilliant. Yeah. yeah. So this is the last piece, and then that's the actual square finished. And then all we've got to do is just square it up to 10 inches. Oh, I'm so pleased you're all getting ahead and getting the origami bag and the postcards. The postcards, brand new project, and uh, the kits are gorgeous. I received a new home postcard from Alice <laughs> Marion in the post, and they are so lovely. They're really special. Uh, they're coming up at 11 o'clock. 11 o'clock. They're on pre-order now, though. We, we did say we'd do a big announcement. They are on pre-order. <laughs> it's funny, it really, the because when I first said about it, people said, you can't send fabric through the post. It'll have to go in an envelope. No, you can. You can just send yeah. it. Yeah. yeah. And it's lovely because it gets franked. <laughs> what was that, Hannah? Yeah. Hannah just says the most random things. Go on. She found a company that could send a potato. You could send someone a potato in the post. <laughs> they put the address. How? On what the potato. Address? It's called send a spud. <laughs> Well, that's interesting. Have you yeah. received the potato? I'll search them out. Yeah, <laughs> of course, we'll all be searching that later, <laughs> won't we? Right, now we need to make this 10 inches. So I'll use this as my ruler because we need our borders to be about the same size. I say about, um, as close as we can get. So um, we've got 10 inches here. So I'm going to measure how wide it is. Uh, let's go from there to there. So it's actually, oh, it's a 12 inch square. So we need it to be a 10 inch square. I'm just looking at this ruler because I've never actually used, oh no, it's not. I need a different ruler because this one, I'm losing some of the uh, numbers down here. Oh, okay. Oh, unless I can do it like that, look. We've got, oh no, it's 10 and three quarters that way. I can use this end because there's one there, look. Oh, perfect. Up to, to there. So to get it 10 inches, we need, we got from one there and to 10 there. Well, that's pretty straight. Whoops, that one. So, uh, so I'm gonna need to take off uh, about a quarter of an inch there quarter inch there so if I go up here yeah. so if I do that oh I can't do that with this because I need oh. to take a smaller amount <laughs> well we've got a plethora <laughs> of rulers you can choose from <laughs> oh Alison I haven't been able to talk to anybody else because they don't watch it but if you've been watching Strictly yes I oh have. I love it do you yes. I'm really into it this I year I love it I'm I tried so to get John to get me on oh John <laughs> <laughs> tried to get him to get me on Oh, yeah, you'd be brilliant. Are you good at dancing? <laughs> Do you like doing a... I used to belong to a jive club. Oh, brilliant. Mm. I do love a, a bit of rock and roll right. dancing. So I'm going to... No, uh, how amazing is Sarah Davis, though? She was brilliant, wasn't she, at the Waltz? eight. That's not going to be... So I need to take, yeah, a quarter of an inch, wasn't it? 
So we'll go this side and I'm going to line up my ruler with this here rather than with the fabric. So I'm going to take that there. I do use at home, I've got a big square square ruler. There might be one here, but... All so of ten. the bundles have sold out. Alice said mm. we need more. Oh, gosh. It's Sorry, while well, you're doing your maths. That's all right. <laughs> there is the so pur there pur go. purple fabric bundle, which is available. I'll go through it once Alison's done the maths. Just fabric. It's just the fabric if you manage to get the instructions on their own. Christine, have you sent some photographs? I'll ask Hannah to check the emails. Oh, is it of a quilt? I'll have a look. Right. There we are. That's that one. It's not quite in the middle, but we're nearly there. So we've got 10 inches there and 10 inches there. Well, that's not bad either. So that's good. I'll line up this here so that it makes it square. Yeah. I mean, you can, if you want to, try and get it exact with your with your measurements you cut out and the bits that you put on. But I think it's a lot easier to just make sure that you've got some spare that you can cut away. Oh, definitely. Well, to be honest, I think I'm going to applique these on. <laughs> cut a 10 inch, do I need to cut a 10 and a, a 10 inch square then? Yeah, and, and then add the uh, seam allowance. Yeah. yeah. There we are, 10 inches. There. So that's it finished. And then you've just got to assemble the actual quilt itself. Right, so you get, they're all the same, you do your... Um, four rows and then if you've yep. got sashing in between yeah and what you get what you do got that cut as well the two outside ones you put your sashing down both sides see then it's fun to arrange which ones you're going to put where well i have isn't got it? this because it helps to put your a piece of fabric down and then once you've put your photos on your fabric just lay them around and move them about a bit mm -hmm. this is just a photo of where i was going to put them because once you take them apart and you're assembling it you can then look and say oh yes i had that one there because there's some of them that have got quite dark pieces in them and you don't want two of those together do you no yeah. so um yeah that's a nice way of arranging everything shall i put this sashing on or do you want me to yeah at the time oh that's all right then yeah, so yeah the fine. outside ones you have sashing on both sides yeah we have nothing to round up everything's gone the, oh. <laughs> uh, the purple bundle which will look equally as beautiful by the way those of you that managed to get um the instructions on your photo paper. These are the four fabrics that we put together in a bundle. $29.99, just get your fabrics, remember. Um, a metre of your um, vanilla, a metre of the plum. Uh, the other mottled is half a metre and the floral is half a metre. So metre, metre, half metres. Three metres in total. Those mottled ones are absolutely lovely because they're, they're, it just gives it a bit more interest than having a plain colour, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah, yeah. Christine, Christine, we've got your pictures. This is Christine in Durham. She's put together a bit of um, a... Oh, a, look at that. Uh, a montage. Oh, that's lovely. Oh, brilliant. She says, oh, hi dog. all, here are some of the cushions I've made for my daughter and her boyfriend, her friends and my niece, um, plus one for my daughter's boyfriend and grandma with dogs on. Oh, oh these were such Aren't lovely gifts through lockdown. Especially, you know, we've all got family or different friends who potentially live quite far away we don't get to see all the time so this is such a lovely idea isn't it yeah you're right um oh christine at, these are brilliant she just put not as good as alice and marion though oh, oh they are at all they're lovely she says i really i think the shadow adds a 3d effect it does it does yeah. it gives it that illusion doesn't it it's perfect she says i might try and make one then that looks like a film strip oh, oh. that would be lovely if you had like um little squares in your sashings. Well, Alison, could I put them into 
um, rows, longer rows, if I want them across, maybe going over the back of a sofa or something? Oh, yes. If you wanted to do one for a sofa, you could do all your photos along like that and then just have a plain back that's yeah. going to go over the back because it would be a waste over the back, wouldn't yeah. it? Yeah. Yeah. So there, I've got the three for the bottom row. So okay. now I'm going to join these sashings here and uh, put it to the middle photo. Right, I don't know the answer to this, I don't think. Um, Alison's going to have to do it. Um, <laughs> Alison, you've got to answer this question. Are you going to be able to bring it back for people who have missed out? Oh, right. Um, I'd better have a word with Ian in the break, haven't Ian. I? Ian! <laughs> Ian's here. It's up to Ian. <laughs> hmm? Obviously, I'd like to because I think it's just such a lovely thing for people to do. And if you're giving it as a gift, you can see that it doesn't really take that long. You know, it, it doesn't take as long as if you're doing a pieced quilt. No, it doesn't. This is perfect for a gift, isn't it? Perfect for gifts. Remember, your graphics are for your purple bundle, which is fabric only, if you've got your instructions and the, uh, the printing paper. Right, now I would press this. I'm not actually going to press it because obviously then I would have to wait for this to cool down to take the paper off because you don't, you can't go over and press it or you have to put your pieces of paper over your um, photos to protect yeah. them. Yeah. Um, but that would now be added. I've already put the sashing across the bottom. That one goes across the bottom there. Is this going to Becky or are you keeping this? can't make up my mind at the moment. Uh, I bet it is. These, uh, when you've made them, especially it's if you're making so the people, lovely. it's very I mean, difficult to part with them, isn't it? Throwing everything <laughs> away. I mean, it's just so lovely. I mean, this was when she was at a festival. I think it was Reading Festival. You can see it was raining, the, t the tent <laughs> that she was in. Brilliant. Um, her surname is Mutton, so she's got lamb chop. She, they used to call her lamb chop. This was her emo period. <laughs> And that was her christening, that christening dress. You see, I'm talking about the photos again. The christening dress at the time oh my cost a whole week's wages, the fabric. Oh. It took me ages to cut out the fabric because I was so scared because it cost so much. Oh. And this is when she was carnival queen and oh. with AD, her boyfriend. And that's, uh, we were at a wedding, that's her with her dad. And this oh. is my dad's favourite photo. That, uh, oh, that is so This was cute. a Halloween party we had. And this is my mum's favourite photo. Mum and dad bought her that dress and had a little bell in the pocket. Oh, it is gorgeous. <laughs> what lovely photos, yeah. Becky. So, you know, it's uh, we've already Very said special. about that one. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that was when she was at height of her fashion days. Now, I'll, I'll just sew this on randomly to get it done now. But obviously, Would you match these points? I was going to say, all you need to do is to match up your sashings because I've used a different quarter inch foot and it looks like it's going to be a bit smaller than when I use my one at home. Plus, I've also not pressed it properly. So, um, yeah, you don't have to match up very much, but it helps to have these mm -hmm. parallel. But I'll just uh, do that now. And then Becky. that's the top done. Becky remembers. She says it was Reading 2010. Ah, that there you was. go. She said um, the middle bottom one was also at Reading. She says the hand sign, this one, Oh, yes. was for Weezer. Do you remember? I'm just a teenage dirtbag, oh. she says. Um, Mum, Grandma asked me what that was, and I said, I have no idea, but I love the photo. She says they were just about to come on stage. Ah. Really? <laughs> Hannah was at that Reading. Did you do the Weezer W as well? <laughs> she says, I saw Weezer at Reading. <laughs> Ten years ago, 11 years, 11 years ago. Oh. You probably saw Hannah there, Becky. Yeah. She was at the top of the cheerleader pyramid. I mean, uh. when we were going through the photos with Becky, I mean, she had, um, because she used to volunteer at Glastonbury as well, oh, there wow. were lovely photos of her with all her friends, at, you know, the other volunteers and things like that. Have you ever been to Glastonbury, Becky? No, um, I haven't. You like it's your festivals kind of as well, don't you? Yeah. Well, we go. I go to the uh, simple ones. I go to the ones where there's seating and stuff like oh, that. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> I've never tented. <laughs> no, I used to love going to festivals when I was young and camping and doing all that. And now, I'd love to do a festival with Maisie and when she was a little bit older. Yeah. But I'm thinking I have to find someone who's got a camper van that I can borrow. Yeah. Well, they do glamping now, yeah. don't they? So, 
You have heaters in the tents and things like yeah, that. Yeah, that's my kind of camp. They're more now. yurts. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Also at home, I would have sorted out my um, seam allowances, which way they were going to going to go. But there we are. That's that that Ooh. one added to the bottom. And then all you've got to do, shall I hold it up like that? Yes, please. All you've got to do is add Elliot. your your binding around the outside edge. Are we there? Oh, nice. Oh, fantastic. Oh, thank you ever so much. I mean, we're definitely going to need to bring this one back. Go and speak to Ian immediately. Lovely, because there's a lot it? of people that missed out. I'm ever so sorry if you missed it. Bring well pet, done if you're My pet one. <laughs> yeah, we can't wait to see the pet one. That's definitely going to be next. <laughs> Alison, thank you ever so much. You're back in an hour with your postcard. Yes. Oh, so can I just say that also in the instructions, there are instructions on how to make a, an invisible hanging channel for the back. Because I, I thought... Um, it would spoil it to have anything hang in it. So just to put an invisible channel at the back because you don't just add a piece of fabric. Good idea. You have to make it so that it falls away from the quilt. So that's all in the instructions. It is, yeah, I did that as well. Thank you. Uh, now, let me show you the postcards, the brand new kits from Alison. They're already selling. You can pop them in the post. See, I'd much prefer one of these in the post than a potato, Hannah. <laughs> She's showing me the, uh, the the potatoes that you could just write "Hey, gorgeous" on. These are a lot more beautiful, aren't they? You've got the uh, sewing-related ones, and you've also got the kits that Alison has put together. The most beautiful details, even handkerchiefs in the lovely little vintage, uh, pretty uh, the pretty kits. They're so lovely, aren't they? Both coming up in the 11 o'clock show they're on pre-order though so get ahead i think it's going to be like the memory quilt it's going to be another on and gone show stay where you are though we're coming back with lots of gift ideas including the final william morris fabrics by the half meter so stay tuned we're back don't go anywhere right after this Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street and Yarn Lane, as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. For Sewing Street, head on over to www.sewingstreet.com. Scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope, and you're done. It's exactly the same for Yarn Lane. Head on over to www.yarnlane.com. Scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, Click the envelope and that's it. You are now subscribed to both Sewing Streets and Yarn Lane's email newsletters. So you'll never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. If you're a Sewing Street or Yarn Lane customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one p p even if you check out multiple times in one day. Thanks for seeing me back. <laughs> My baby piece of kit with the sewing is the same with that. Hello, I'm Janice from Birmingham. I specialise in dress making. I used to run a children's shop and I love making children's clothes. My mother encouraged me to sew from an early age. When we were young, we did just making in school. My claim to fame was the sewing quarter, but I'm now making also jumpsuits for the ladies and men of all shapes and sizes and it seems to be going for the festivals around the country. See you on the show! In need of a crafting fix? There are so many ways you can watch Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Sewing Street is live from 8am to 1pm every day on Freeview 72 and Sky 670. Alternatively, if you want to watch us on a tablet or on the move, you can tune in on our YouTube channel, the Sewing Street app, or the websites at www.sewingstreet.com and www.yarnlane.com. You can watch past shows on Sky 670 from 1pm every day, as well as our YouTube channel, the app, and our website. Yarn Lane is on from 12pm to 1pm. Visit our programme guide to find out when and what's on. So you never have to spend a minute without us.
Have you heard about all of the different ways you can shop with Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? You can either shop on our website, sewingstreet.com and yarnlane.com. You can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. For Sewing Street, call 0800 001 4433. And for Yarn Lane, call 0800 4700 600. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street or Yarn Lane in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! Welcome back. I told you it was going to be a lovely day. We've got Alison Marion here again at 11 o'clock, so please do make sure you stay with us. Well done to everybody who shopped ahead on pre-order for those postcards. I really recommend you getting them this hour before we uh, start the demo with her. Also, just very quickly before I go on to the William Morris fabrics, um, Alison said she forgot to peel the um, paper off. So I just want to show you with the photo paper that you've got in your kit. Um, should we do the grand reveal? You literally peel it off. Oh, hang on. Let me peel from this corner because I could see that it was coming off. There you go. And there is the photo. You'd then put the uh, the gauze over the top and give it a, a give it a little press if you want. But how lovely is that? Remember, use dry iron and use you don't don't then put your your um, your photograph your your iron directly on it. I wonder who this is then. It's a different picture, isn't it? Oh, I love it. Hopefully we're going to get some more of those kits back. Uh, Alison is speaking to Ian and our buying team as we speak. So fingers crossed we'll be able to get some more back in the future. Right, should we do the William Morris fabrics? Because we were looking at them all morning. We had some beautiful backing fabrics at eight o'clock that would work really, really well. Now we're thinking gifts this hour. William Morris, you can't go wrong. It's absolutely timeless, isn't it? I'm thinking notebooks, little notions, things like uh, glasses case covers or tissue uh, covers, just small little toiletry bags. They are normally really expensive elsewhere. Small cushions, little tote bags. And for £7.49, you can make your own very affordably, very easily. So this one is again from the Granada com uh, collection. It's in the rose hip colourway and it is beautiful. I think you can recognise William Morris whenever you see uh, the, the William Morris collective collections elsewhere. You, you spot it straight away, don't you? It just has that really classic feel, but it's beautiful quality fabric as well to sew with. Really beautiful. I'm thinking even if you're doing simple wine uh, bag totes, uh, gift bag totes for, uh, for Christmas gifts, something that then people can reuse. So special. Seven pounds forty nine and a half meter. Let me open it out because this is different width to what we were talking about earlier on. So this is your forty four wide. It's still absolutely fine for dressmaking. In fact, we saw lovely Adele Roland over the weekend uh, doing a beautiful dress, which I think the pattern's now sold out. But it was using William Morris fabric. In fact, we have got that very fabric by the half meter today. This is your chance to buy as much as you wish. It will come cut off the bolt to you to whatever size you want by the half meter we sell in half meter increments so if you're purchasing one unit today this is how it will come if you're purchasing two units today you'll get another half meter joined up onto this uh, so a whole meter of fabric but you can purchase as much as you want if you are thinking of doing lots of gifts or cushions or um, things for your for your home this is gorgeous 7.49 a half meter we are going to try and get through as much as we possibly can my desk is full of gift ideas but i know how popular this collection has been there was a quilt kit this morning um which is now sold out it has sold out so if you do want to put together maybe you've got some lovely books or you've got a pattern in mind get half a meter of, of each of these you could put together your own quilt kit couldn't you i do love this leaf this very autumnal feel it is well and truly autumn, isn't it? Um, this one's close to selling out, by the way. HGUI 95 is your item code. Go for it now if you want it, especially if you want more than one unit. That is very close to selling out. 
And I don't know whether we're going to be able to get them back. This is the thing. We're always looking for different collections, um, different designers. So we will, of course, bring William Morris fabric back. I don't know if we will have this specific fabric, though. <coughs> Excuse me. Right. We've also got the same one that we had um, from the Ganada range, this first one, but in blue. So it's the rose hip, but this time in indigo. Oh, I love that, says Elia. I love that. Isn't it lovely? In fact, I'm thinking, you know the early bird tied cushion covers that we had, the Helen Newton pattern? This is just $6.99 today. So if you do just want to do some lovely um, William Morris cushions with the attention to detail of the tie, um, I think that's a great pattern. Oh, by the way, it's not $9.99 today. It should be. But today, for the first time on air, you've got 30% off. It's only for today, though. Only while stocks last. Only until midnight tonight can you get that at six ninety nine. So any of these William Morris cushions, or sorry, fabrics, keep them. Keep this cushion in mind. How much would you pay for a cushion, William Morris? I've seen forty five pounds, fifty pounds, sixty pounds in um, in high street stores. You know some of the big department stores. You get your pattern for six ninety nine. You get your half meter fabric for seven ninety nine. Such great value. Sorry, not even $7.99, $7.49. Really good value. Okay, now this one I think is my favourite, especially for autumn. This is GLUI15, Hannah. Isn't this amazing? Oh, I love that. It's um, such beautiful quality as well to sew with. It feels so soft. It's 100% cotton. That is gorgeous. Oh, I'm so pleased we've actually got stock available on this one. We've got quite a good amount of stock. So if you do want multiple units for dressmaking, this one would be perfect. A lot of quilt designs, um, uh, you know, that have got quite a big block um, with a, in the centre that you don't need to do too much sub-cutting. I definitely would keep this as, as quite a, a, an arty block as it is. You could even just use that as a wall hanging and embroider on top of it, couldn't you? Add more texture. So much that you could do with these. And um, yeah, the larger scale prints are stunning. Especially as we're going into autumn. I can't believe we're already 5th of October. October, it's scary, isn't it? Um, but this is perfect for those winter months. It's not Christmassy, it's wintry. Very, very beautiful. There's a lot of people got that in your basket. Even though I'm saying there's a great quantity, if you are after multiple units with larger projects, um, please do make sure you're checking out early. This is how wide it is, 44 wide. But can you see how many trees you get as well? You get a fair few repeats on there as well. If you are going to frame some or have for cushions or bags, you've got a few repeats on there. You could fussy cut as well, couldn't you? You could fussy cut Hannah. You could fussy cut the deers. This was Hannah's action earlier on for her reindeers. They are so beautiful. And I love the colours. You've got like a tealy green in there. You could actually team this. If you're going for a solid off our website, any of the uh, the Rose and Hubble solids, you could pick out greens. You could pick out blues. You could pick out teals. You could do any of the creams or ivory. You could put any of those um, sort of cream extra wide backing fabrics with it, couldn't you? In fact, this was the one that I opened out with that leaf um, extra wide backing. This one we do have more quantity of, so please do um, bear this in mind for larger projects. It's not very often that we can say that about William Morris prints, so please do uh, check out. Right, we also have, there's nothing else like that, that doesn't come in any other colourways. Uh, this one comes in two colourways, so you've got the teal blue i love that that is beautiful we also have this beautiful pink and cream as well let's go teal blue first this is really different it's called jasmine this is the jasmine plant it's so beautiful so so beautiful oh my word in my garden now anybody who's come around they keep telling me all the different things that i need to do in the garden it's really concerning me i've just been watching uh, monty john Friday night, Gardener's World is like got to be my, uh, my routine. I know. Gardener's World has got to be on my telly every week now because um, I've got 
lots of dahlias that need deheading apparently. When is it the best time to start turning my soil and deheading my dahlias, things like that? Is it about time now? Let me know at home. I know that I need to put tomato feed on my um, my sunflowers. Do I, but yeah, any tips, gardening tips, please let me know. Please let me know. I've got lots of pears. I've got a pear tree. No partridge, but a pears. Um, just seven pounds, 49 and a half metre. Again, this would be really beautiful for dressmaking. Little pyjamas. Little pyjamas for Christmas. <gasps> Imagine William Morris pyjamas. See, uh, there are lots of sort of high streets that started doing snippets of William Morris collections and they're really expensive. When you start to see any uh, clothes, we all spot them. In fact, Hannah, Kat and I, we've got like almost a WhatsApp group that's dedicated to things that we spot William Morris um, around on the high street. And it is just so iconic. We all recognise it. You don't need to be a quilter. You don't need to be a, a huge fan of, of, of quilting fabrics or fabrics in general to know William Morris prints and know William Morris. They are just classic, aren't they? £7.49, so that's for the teal, which we love. We do also have it with a cream and pink. Which is, again, the jasmine plant this time. Um, it's got that lovely shadow in the background as well, which I think you see a bit more in this, in this fabric, actually. Look at how pretty that flower is. I think of this one for, for little cushions uh, in a spare bedroom with, uh, I'd add lace and nice buttons with this like shell buttons. How about doing William Morris postcards? <gasps> Honestly, when you start seeing the kits that are coming up at 11 o'clock, I think it's going to become quite addictive that anyone's birthday, anybody moving house, anybody celebrating anything, you'll be sending fabric postcards all the time. They're lovely. Having a look on Pinterest at William Morris quilts, have a look at this. There's lots of ideas on there. It's a nice way of looking and how to display your beautiful. Obviously, this is lots of different people's work, lots of different collections. But it's a really good idea of having a look through, putting squares with sashing or borders round, diamond shapes, using your creative good rulers that you might already have. Um, there's lots of inspiration on there of how to make the most of these prints. Fussy cutting. Obviously, if you, you're more advanced, there's some really clever designs that you can do with fussy cutting. The things that you can aspire to make, but even simply cutting squares or diamonds or triangles, uh, framing squares, it looks so effective because it's, it's the fabric that's doing all the talking, isn't it? It's like with uh, Liberty or Kaif, certain designers, They've really thought about the different scales of print. Collections like this, they all work together. So don't worry about, oh, are they going to go? Don't worry about, um, don't worry about uh, different scales of print or colours. They're all going to work together. Love it. This actually was very, 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 very famous. This is one of May Morris's designs. Um, we have this in a few different of the. I'm sure we've had a few gifts in the past which are of this print. It was a wallpaper. It's a wallpaper that's in the V&A Museum. It's actually a Mae Morris design. Mae Morris was William Morris's daughter, who's part of the William Morris Collective. We love Mae Morris, don't we, Han? I made my friend a backpack from William Morris fabric. Her husband recognised that it was William Morris. She was very impressed, said Leslie. That's what I love, is that if you're <laughs> making gifts for friends, they know the fabric. It's not just, you know, us fabric hoarders that recognise that's a tulip pink, that's a cave facet. Um, we all know Liberty. We all know William Morris. This is why I put it in the gifting hour, because if you're making gifts for people, we all recognise William Morris. Now, this comes in two different colourways. It comes in green and red. Nice for Christmas. How about very classy Christmas? Very classy Christmas. Now, this is not grey. It's green. Is a green. Thanks, Leslie, for your message. Imagine doing a lovely backpack of William Morris. I'd spot it as well. If you had a William Morris backpack and you were out in the shops, I would spot it. I'd compliment you on it. Uh, Hannah's thinking nice little things in a house, like 
a little draft excluder, little cushion, things for your sewing room, little pin cushions, starting going back to classes and taking a fancy William Morris pencil case with you with all your marking tools. It's those little things that if you go to John Lewis or if you go to a National Trust house, you know when you get to the gift shop, you start paying a lot of money for those little notebooks or designer door stops, different things like that. Um, it, it means a lot more when you've made it as well, doesn't it? It means a lot more, especially if you're gifting it to people. Really special. £7.49 and it, it will go a long way, especially if you team it with some of the solids on the website. Just an ivory or cream with this one. Uh, now, the next one is red. I'm thinking Christmas. Very classy Christmas, isn't it, when you've got William Morris. Oh, I must say, the uh, neighbour on the end of the road apparently goes wild with Christmas lights outside their house to the point that they have a shoot which you put m people come from far and wide and put money in for charity. And it's... <laughs> Kieran, it literally makes him shudder. The thought of it is like, oh, he just hates Christmas lights. But they go, I love it. I can't wait to take Maisie with those big inflatables. And, oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. At least I'll get my Christmas fix because, yeah, I doubt Kieran would be putting any Christmas lights up in our outside our house. Maybe when Maisie's a bit bigger, he will. I'll force him to, but at least we can walk down the drive and see. <laughs> oh, love it. Right, £7.49. £7.49. In your apple red. Oh, I'm thinking... Christmas tote bags, Christmas tree skirt, a table runner for Christmas day. Oh, how lovely is that? I'm also seeing John Scott wearing a shirt. Mark Francis has got his new pattern out, men's shirts. How about a William Morris blouse for a lady as well? This would be lovely, really lovely. Elliot, do you want hot pants? No, I've got my pair. I'm, I've got my fix, my hot pat, the hot pant fix now. Oh, we can't wait to see them, can we? We all need a picture. <laughs> Maybe it will need a bit of editing. Maybe it will need a bit of help in post production. Oh, I love that. Can I jump to this one? Um, X M U I sixty five. I think this is my fat. I've never seen this one. Oh no, right, it's really limited. It's been on air twice. I've never even seen this and we're down to the last 10 metres already. That is how popular this fabric has been. Oh, it's lovely. This is your Granada in Bluebell. It's like a lovely um, cream background and a teal mottle pattern. That is nice. That looks like wallpaper, doesn't it? I wonder who designed this one. Oh, I know. Oh, if you look at William Morris wallpaper, I mean, you're being very conservative when you say £30 a roll there, Hannah. It's so expensive. It's more than that, definitely. Oh, Hannah's looking like secondhand. <laughs> the odd roll here and there. You might get um, an off-cut sample for that price. Oh, well, we've got, uh, we haven't decorated our downstairs loo yet and we're looking at putting like a fancy wallpaper. That would be amazing. Just half of it or just one, one put. Point. But you could do wall hangings, frame some of this, couldn't you? Cushions. Wallpaper is something that you might do once and then leave it for the next 10 years. Whereas cushions, you can interchange, change it up seasonally. G gifting as well. Perfect. Um, you don't gift a, a, a roll of William Morris wallpaper, do you? But having a, a cushion, <laughs> it makes more sense. Just 7.49, half metre. <laughs> well, Hannah does gift potatoes through the post, so we've seen weirder things, haven't we, than Hannah gifting wallpaper. She says she was looking at weird things to send to people. Why? Why were you looking at weird things to send to people? She says, I don't know. I I never even heard that either, but you, I hate glittery um, cards or glittery gift bags that just go everywhere. I love glitter. I'm all about the sparkle, but do you know, do you know what I mean? Apparently you can send a glitter bomb, so just an envelope full of glitter to annoy people. Um, so yeah. Hannah looked at that anonymously to send to a friend. 
Did you ever send it? Did you do it? No. She says, I thought that was too me. Um, an envelope of glitter that just says hello when you open it. Oh, no. Right, we have also got it in like a golden tone. This is very on trend. Um, these ochres and greys are the colours of the year. The print's exactly the same size, but this time in gold. Which one's your favourite? I love, I think this will go with a lot of people's interiors as well. A lot of people's <laughs> um, homes. Don't know why that made me chuckle. <laughs> Just laughing at myself there. Weird things to send to people. Now Anna's um, thinking of different things that she can send. Please can you just stick with, if you're sending me a housewarming gift, just, just, no, just Sir William Morris cushions would do. No, the wallpaper, no, that's weird. I'll have a William Morris cushion. <laughs> Gardening gloves isn't a bad shout, to be fair. What about a kneeling stool out of William Morris to do my, uh, to do my dahlias. Oh yes, please. I haven't got any scissors or shears. That's what I need, a little pair of scissors and some gardening gloves, don't I? Um, right, this is Bramble. It comes in two colourways. So this is the same print that uh, Adele made the dress from. Bear with and I'll, I'll go and get her for you. Oh no, right, it is about to sell out. It is about to sell out. I'll show you in the other colourway. So we've got it in the, the green, it's about to sell out. We have also got it in the colourway that Adele made it in. This dress here, the pattern's sold out, I'm afraid, but if you did get it, or if you've got a similar pattern. We've got lots of inspiration for you today, actually. We have got lots of inspiration. This colour is lovely in the teal. Oh, after all that, I'm presuming this one's out of stock. We haven't got the graphic, so I'm presuming it's gone. Uh, they're all the William Morris fabrics anyway, so uh, have fun shopping through. Have fun shopping through. Oh, by the way, this one, let me just mention, there is some, some still left of this one. £7.49. Isn't that lovely? Half a metre is just £7.49, but you can now purchase as much as you want off the bolt. There is seven metres, seven metres left. We started with loads of, uh, loads and loads of fabric. Now just seven metres if you want it. Okay, talking um, about gifts. So William Morris, we'll stick with William Morris. New home gift. Yes, please, Hannah. Let's do the Strawberry Thief. Strawberry Thief is probably the most iconic print that we recognise for, for William Morris. I'd be intrigued to know, Leslie, which fabric you made your friend's backpack out of that her husband recognised it. I wouldn't be surprised if it's this one, because we do all, all, all recognise this one, don't we? Strawberry Thief. And this is the tray, by the way. This is your nice cushioned tray. Whether you're using it to have your tea on your lap, watching Strictly Come Dancing, or Sewing Street, or because it's got this lip on the side, it's great to use for your crafting. So you can position everything out, whether it be your beads, whether it be Christmas card making, whether it be uh, doing some EPP, whether it be cutting out your, your, uh, your hexes, whether it be doing any cross stitch on your lap. It's just $27.99. It's a really, really lovely one. Maybe a little jigsaw puzzle, Sudoku. Or a word search. Are you good at crosswords? I'm awful. Awful at crosswords. I've never tried Sudoku. Um, my, <laughs> my friend, I've got a very sort of, how do I put it? I've got a, a very, why? I'm a, I'm a, I've got a lot of friends who are all very, very different in personalities. Lots of friends with different personalities. And I was on my Hindu and they took me away to Budapest on the plane. We're sitting on the plane. And my friend to the one side of me, she's trying to teach me how to do Sudoku. And the other one's like, what are you doing? She's on a Hindu. Get the, get the drinks in. Get the drinks in. And I'm trying to work out how to do Sudoku. So um, I'm, I, I still can't get it. I still don't understand it. Word searches I'm good at, crosswords not so good at, so do come awful. Hannah says, I think I'm doing really well, and then I pick it up and then think, mm, no, no, not right. None of the numbers will fit. Um, right, so $27.99 for your cushion tray. Uh, remember, if you've purchased something already throughout the day, it's only one P&P. &P. Um, now, this is Golden Lily. 
This is your golden lily. Again, your cushion pad. Golden lily is another very, very, very popular one, isn't it? Oh, today. Oh. He looked ever so tanned, didn't he, our John? Oh, it was sickening. I turned the telly on and I, I was just, oh, I was gutted when I saw how refreshed. And he was, he was on the ball as well, wasn't he? For all the show, I kept putting it on and he was just full of the, the jokes and the laughs. And I thought, oh, he's all refreshed, all refreshed. 27.99. Uh, for your golden lily, although I did, you say that the um, about how he wasn't very awake yesterday morning. I was audio noting him, and then he all of a sudden stopped, and then he audio noted me back. He says, "I've just knocked my coffee all over my diary because we were sorting out dates." He says, "I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to go and try and," and then he's he sent a picture of his um, diary out in the sun, trying to to dry it out, and a new fresh cup of coffee. So yeah. Sometimes these, these three-week holidays just don't do you any good, John. You shouldn't leave us for that long. Right, $27.99, that's the golden lily one, which are perfect for gift ideas for somebody, whether they're a crafter or not. But it's a nice to have a bit of a nod to one of our favourite designers. I've got a different type of tray here, which is actually a bamboo tray. Um, oh, sorry for the rustling. This is lovely. Do you know why I like this is a little tea tray? Cup of tea, couple of bickies. It's a matte finish. It's not a shiny finish. It's very, very classy. Because it's bamboo, it's a classy bamboo one. I think the picture on the website makes it look more like a tacky plastic one, and it's not. <laughs> if I'm being brutally honest with you, it is a lovely bamboo tray. Yeah, look, this is the picture. It's not the same one. It doesn't do it justice, does it? The, the, the bamboo tray is lovely. It's like a matte finish. I've seen, there's a few, um, what today? There's a few um, really lovely places, I've seen this National Trust places that do William Morris tea sets, like a teapot. You could do, um, you could do somebody like a hamper with some fancy teas, couldn't you? Tea bags or an afternoon tea, this would be lovely. Uh, in my new house as well, I always have my um, tea stuff on a, a tray in the corner of the, the kitchen. This would be really nice. Hannah's saying, right, will everyone not buy these, please? Because she's got to get a couple of these for Christmas for her mum. Good idea. They're so nice. Especially just the, the perfect size to be able to take um, your mug and a couple of bickies on a saucer. Just £8.99 for your tea tray. And it's bamboo, which, of course, we all love. We all love the old bamboo. Da, 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 the old bamboo. Uh, right, where are we going to? Glasses, cases. We've got strawberry thief. We've got golden lily. And we've also got seaweed. Oh, uh, this is a really plush glasses case, by the way. One. It's a nice hard cover. So the amount of glasses that um, I've bought, sunglasses that are in soft covers and they end up breaking because I sit on them or they get squashed in my bag. Whereas this is a nice hard cover. I keep knocking it just to show you. <laughs> it's a nice hard cover. It's also almost like a brushed cotton. It's really soft. It's really, really soft and silky. It also comes with a matching cleaning cloth. Um, not just a little rubbish cloth. It comes with your microfiber, lovely. Um, oh, I say microfiber. It's like an e-cloth. It's your cleaning cloth. £11.99. Do you know if you're buying a new pair of glasses, what sort of case does it come in? This is a real fancy one, isn't it? They normally come in boring ones, don't they? And if it isn't a, a, a dark colour case, you can never find it in your handbag, can you? Whereas that looks lovely. Nice gift for somebody. Whether it be reading glasses, maybe it be sewing glasses, maybe you just wear glasses for sewing. The, uh, the Red Strawberry Thief is this one as well. There it is, £11.99, your main graphic. T V C Y 68 and you do also get your um, cleaning cloth there as well. Um, the next one is your seaweed. Just £11.99. It's again the nice hard cover, soft cloth, matching cleaning cloth. I like that print as well. I've not seen that one. We've got to get these back in stock ready for Christmas. 
Right. There are other little bits and bobs, but we are aware of the time. We've got Alison coming on in 20 minutes. So there are um, the little manicure sets and also the uh, the magnet magnets on the website. So let's do... Um, where's my quilt as you go? Here it is. So June Taylor do the great uh, quilt as you go kits where you get the wadding that's already pre-printed with basically like sewing by numbers, you know, colouring in by numbers, but sewing with numbers. It's a really good way to use your scraps, especially smaller pieces. Uh, we've got some smaller pre-cut Christmas fabrics, actually, that would be great for this. But we're thinking if you've got any William Morris, we're talking about doing some handy um, gift bag totes. These are a set of three. So you have enough of your wadding to do three, and it's the lovely quality 80-20 wadding as well. So they'll be very plush wine bottle holders. They will, they'll protect your wine bottles. Doesn't need to just be wine, it could be like um, bath bottles, or it could be um, whiskey, gin. It could be Baileys. Oh, I love a Baileys at Christmas, do you? Now, it does give you instructions here in this pamphlet, um, and it will show you that these are actually your placement lines, not your sew lines, you still sew with your quarter of an inch. We've done lots of demos in the past on Quilt As You Go, so you can have a look on YouTube. But the June Taylor um, kits are always very, very popular. Right, there's less than 20 of those available. 14 99 and that's for three, remember. If I were you, I'd get them in now because June Taylor, American company, it's quite difficult for us to get a shipment in. Uh, I think, actually, we might struggle to get another shipment in before Christmas. So it's worth grabbing them now. That definitely happened last year with these. We had a lot of emails requesting them and we'd sold out. So whilst we are, um, whilst we have stock available, it is limited, I would um, make the most of it now. Right, they're quite handy, aren't they as well? I love, um, I love the handle on them, they're lovely. Okay. 10 inch charm pack. Yeah, we just mentioned the, the charm pack for Christmas. If you are doing Christmas wine bags, your smaller prints. This is your Merry and Bright from Moda. I love this fabric. The picture makes it look like it's a five inch. It's definitely a 10 inch. Elsewhere, call, they might call it a layer cake, a charm pack. This, um, it's not a five inch, it's a 10 inch. Uh, you might have heard it called a stacker elsewhere as well. Look, candy canes, little snowballs. You could just uh, piece the squares together, couldn't you? Put some session in between, maybe. 10 inch squares, I know Stuart Hillard was saying 10 inch squares are the most versatile pre-cuts. There's a lot of patterns in his books that call for it. Um, it a little cutting sheet as well of how to, to, to cut your, your layer cakes or your, your different squares. They are lovely though, aren't they? Really nice, perfect for your quilt as you go. And it's Moda, therefore it's great quality, really great quality. Some of them you don't necessarily need to use just for Christmas. Even if you just want a little bit of a nod to Christmas with your stash fabrics, you could use this over several projects, couldn't you? Maybe you've got some red fabrics, maybe you've got green. We've got a bundle coming up in a minute. Maybe you've got the green extra wide fabric earlier on. Um, then these are absolutely perfect just to give a little bit of a nod. Maybe fussy cut, a plique, some snowflakes. You could do a few Christmas projects. Well, loads of Christmas projects with this. Make the most of it, absolutely. Okay, if everybody who's got it in their basket checks out, then that means it's sold out. So please do check out as soon as you can. Okay, should we do the bundle? Oops, the complementing bundle. We have also got another Christmas bundle, which is flannel fabric. It's really beautiful. Um. <laughs> Good answer. £10.99 for a metre and a half of fabric. So the um, spots are your poplin weight, slightly lighter weight cottons. They're beautiful quality still. It doesn't matter. You can still use them for your quilting. Um, you've also got half a metre of red and you've got half a metre of white. £10.99. Oh, 
brilliant. Pat said, I've made gift boxes from the five inch charm packs of Mary and Bright. Oh, you could make massive gift boxes with the 10 inch then, couldn't you, Pat? These um, will just make your 10 inch squares go even further. Uh, but that's a lovely bundle to be able to do some Christmas sacks, some stockings, embellish with little pom poms. They are full half meters as well. They're half meter cuts. Nice for your white, uh, nice to have your white for your lining as well, isn't it? £10.99. Alison Marion has made malt loaf. She always brings in goodies for us. She's made lovely malt loaf. Just £10.99 for a metre and a half. We're excited to have it. Have you, had, have you tried a malt loaf? Have you had some tea loaf or malt loaf? or well, So, what's the difference between malt loaf and a um, tea loaf? Is malt loaf, yeah, malt loaf, does it have fruit in it? Is it got fruit in? No, it's not a tea cake, they're completely different things. Completely different things. Should we do the other merry and bright? Um, these are lovely. I'm good. Shall I, can I open the, I'm not gonna, oh, in fact, actually, look, you can see the fabrics on the back. Um, Riley Blake is such a beautiful, beautiful designer. They're always so whimsical. Look at the little Christmas gnomes. In fact, these Christmas gnomes covered in Christmas lights. There's a pretty one, the snowflakes, and you need to feel these. They're so soft, they're brushed, they're flannel fabric. So, you know, like super soft pajamas. That's what it reminds me of. Look, oh, nice to back, um, uh, well, you could use the front and back of a, a snuggle quilt, couldn't you? A snuggle cushion, a nice sack, Christmas sack. Debbie Harris, loving the mode of Christmas charm pack. Oh, <laughs> right, I've bought Dave one. Dave needed one, didn't he? She said, and the bundle. He needed the bundle as well. This is Debbie's way of ordering things, you see. Um, Dave also needed the, what was it that he bought? The cutting mat, the big cutting mat. Dave needed that. He also needed, um, I think it was the stripology. <laughs> <laughs> no, Dave doesn't, so no. <laughs> but he needed it. He just needs these things, doesn't he, Deb? 49.99 for all of your 10 inch charm packs. Oh, nice with your black and white snowflakes. That also comes in reds and in greens, look. There's a lot here, a lot of fabric, all with this lovely fluffy finish. I like that it's all pink to the edges because I think you would get a lot of fluff off this, but actually because it's been pinked, it doesn't matter if you, uh, you use this now or use this next year or the year after. Just have it in your stash. Nice for gift boxes. Really nice for gift bags, ever so soft. Forty nine ninety nine. You could do um, a Christmas cushion for like a big oversized one for any pets. Oh, have you seen little Leo? Cat's dog. Oh, cat's got a dog. Well, she's picking him up in um, in November. Her family dog, the miniature Schnauzer. He doesn't know how lucky he is. You're right, Deb. He doesn't. He doesn't know how lucky he is with um with you getting him all these treats. Okay, right, that's your Riley Blake, the only other Christmas fabrics we have. We do have the Tiny Treaters, which is your Halloween. You are thinking about Halloween. I'm thinking about Halloween because this is the first year that I actually live in a house that I'll probably have trick-or-treaters. I want to put, I want to be like Susie Duncan and do a display every, every season. She does like a window display, I'd love to, yeah, I know, but I think you could recycle them each year. Hannah was like, it's a lot of prep, isn't it? But actually, once you've done one year, you just then recycle them all, don't you? So if you want to do, oh, look at this. You know me, love a word search. Zombie, skeleton, it's done for you. Freak. All of your stars, skeletons. Look at the skeletons doing yoga. <laughs> I love that there's animals dressed up as Frankenstein. There's animals dressed up as little, like, look, that's like a beaver. 
dressed up as a skeleton. This is so cute, isn't it? I've never seen this one. 49.99. This is so cute. Are you all right, Elliot? Oh, look at this one. See, that one doesn't look like Halloween, does it? Oh, of course, trick-or-treaters, it's the treats. It's the treats. Not only the treats, you've got the treats in this as well. I've never seen that one. Brand new into me. It's another Riley Blake, so really cute. Uh, make the most of that before Halloween. You've still got time to make some bits, haven't you? Alice Caroline. Okay, we've got the Flower Power Cushion, which actually comes with, look, Strawberry Thief. We were talking about it earlier on. Some iconic designs in here. So when I went to Festival of, of Quilts, I'm going to say potentially one of the busiest, if not the busiest stall when Kat and I went, was the Alice Caroline stall. We, we did get to speak to um, um, Anna. Anna, that's her name, Anna. She came in on the 19th and she demoed this cushion. It was a launch of this cushion and it's so beautiful. You get all of your lovely, are these Tana Lawn fabrics? <gasps> oh, how special, all Liberty prints. Absolutely stunning fabrics. Um, you get all of your instructions, you get your cushion front and back as well. Um, your instructions and you get templates in there. If you do want to watch the show back from when Anna was here, it was the 19th of last month. 19th of September if you want to watch that back but they're lovely kits to gift as well whether you're sewing it yourself or whether you're you're making it up for somebody or gifting it as it is here I love that it's got the William Morris print but also Liberty of course we were talking about how world-renowned uh, William Morris is I think Liberty is as famous if not even more famous actually we all recognize Liberty don't we, we all recognize those lovely prints $24.99. Oh, I love it with the bees as well. How cute is that? <laughs> Excuse me. $24.99 for your full kit to make your cushion front, back and binding. Love that. We've got some other kits from Alice Caroline. I've got an over the rainbow. I've got a whistle star cushion. Wiltshire star cushion, sorry. This is Wiltshire star. And again, <gasps> look at all of these tiny lawns that you get. The image that you can see on the website, it makes the large one, um, the small one as well, but yours will be in the pink colourway. So you can see there, that's rainbow, so this one will be pink, but you can make the same two, but in the pinks as opposed to the rainbows. You do get your cushion back as well. This is complete beginner, uh, easy to do as a beginner. Those of you that have never done any patchwork, great place to start. And how amazing is that to be able to do as a beginner a cushion that features genuine Liberty fabric. It's a really good chance to get all of these different prints in your stash, even if you're thinking of a different project in mine. And nice ditzy prints, smaller cuts. It's not very often, you know, I asked Alison to ask actually, because I think, it's about a metre. You can't go to Liberty and say, oh, can I just have a little bit of this, a little bit of that, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Do you remember when you used to be able to go to the post office or to the sweet shop and you'll say, I'll have three of those, four of those, and you just can't do that now, can you? Or maybe you can, I just don't do that now. Like a full little pick a mix. Um, that's what these are, luxury pick a mix that you've got all of these, lov these lovely Liberty prints. I do remember my mum giving me like 20p and I used to pick 20 sweets out to have and there was a queue behind you and you're like, um, I'll have one of them, one of them, one of them. 34.99. Um, it's gorgeous. So the quilt, the over the rainbow quilt we've got a photograph of. Now I've got, where's number one? Where's one, one, one? How have I misplaced that? So this is the quilt in general so you can see there over 10 blocks well 10 kits I should say one of 10 so we're going to be doing it over the case of over the uh, the space of three shows um, so block one I haven't got here for some reason which I did have earlier didn't I I don't know how that's got mixed up on the uh, on the way so you get all of your fabrics to do this lovely Dresden plate 
you can buy it on its own so you can do it as a cushion you could do it as a center of a, a bag or a wall hanging but i tell you what as a quilt that is going to be an heirloom quilt it will become i'm i'm absolutely sure that will be passed down through generations of family anna is next in on 7th of november and she'll be doing the next row of that quilt they are the same techniques for all of them. They're just all of these different Liberty prints. I mean, if you were to make the whole quilt, how many Liberty prints are you going to have on there? In fact, you're going to be owning over a hundred Liberty prints on there. It is a really special quilt. <gasps> wow. So that's your first block. They're the fabrics you're going to get. I know a lot of people just got that uh, block doing the rainbow idea. That's absolutely fine. If you want to do it as cushion covers, you want to do it as a wall hanging, you want to do it as the front of a bag. Lots of great ideas. Back of a denim jacket, maybe. Oh, it's stunning, absolutely stunning. Achievable for everybody. Um, it's skill level two out of four here. So we've got a bit of sewing experience, it'll help. But with Anna's help over the shows, you'll be able to watch back, of course, um, and see the technique. And by block nine, you'll absolutely have mastered it. There is some lovely hand sewing in it as well, which I think is really special. It's quite nice this time of year, especially when the winter nights are drawing in, to sit, do a bit of hand stitching, especially when you're working with such beautiful prints. So this is block two, um, which is for your over the rainbow quilt. There it is. They're all named after the border print of the blocks. So that one is the uh, Tatum pink that's going around the edge. Oh, that would look beautiful in a boudoir. I can't call it a bedroom because it, when you've got a cushion like that in there, it instantly becomes a boudoir, doesn't it? So you can see at the top, a central block of the quilt. Um, that's the one you're getting. Uh, the 2nd of November is the next instalment, which will feature Anna from Alice Caroline, who will talk you through how to do it. So beautiful. Classic, classic, classic design. Oh, Linda, we're sending our love. Bought the Alice Caroline cushion. Uh, fabric so amazing and beautiful, but broken my collarbones, I can't sew. Content with just looking at it for now. We're sending lots of love and speedy recovery so then you can finish your projects. But yeah, you're right. It is so beautiful just to even look at, isn't it? Oh, thanks for your message. Block three is this one. Look at all these colors. Some of them are just, I mean, really iconic. And I love that Alice Caroline has worked with new colourways to give them that new sort of lease of life as well. I think this one screams spring. They all are lovely. But look at your ditzy prints. See, even if you didn't want to, um, even if you didn't want to do a full quilt, you could pick four couldn't you? Four blocks, four kits and do like a lap quilt. You could just pick four of them. Maybe if you're not as confident in your quilting, maybe if you want to hand quilt it, uh, you know it might take you a while, so you could pick four. Also, four would still be beautiful, an heirloom christening gift or a, a new baby or a first birthday, you know, something really, really special, especially in Liberty. That would be amazing to have as a wall hanging on a nursery wall, actually, wouldn't it? It's really special. And something that can be, of course, um, not just for a, a, a child. This is something that we'd all enjoy. So it's not something that you're going to have to replace. It's not babyish at all. So pretty. Those colours are so springy, aren't they? Uh, right, so they're the blocks. Don't forget, Anna will be back to launch the next row on the 2nd of November, which will be the middle row, I presume. Brilliant. Oh, we love Luna Lapin. Luna Lapin, uh, talking about not just for children, these aren't just for children. Uh, you get to make Luna, but you can also do Luna's friends and all of the clothes. And there's lovely little stories along the way. I think that we always feel like we know Luna and now getting to know her friends as well. The outfits are brilliant. So Luna Lapping comes home, there's stories along the way. If you are making um, for children, obviously just be careful with things like your buttons. And I do think that these are more grown up toys that maybe just sit on the top shelf. Luna. 
and the wash day disaster. Oh no, what happened? But imagine doing little Liberty dresses. Imagine doing William Morris dresses. Luna and the windmill war, the ram, how to make all of the outfits, little cord trousers. And of course, you can then mix and match little backpacks. So many accessories to go with. And of course, you don't need to just have the ox wearing that outfit. You can mix and match them all. Hugh, there's Hugh. Lovely jacket. There's great descriptions. Those of you that haven't done any dressmaking before, I think toys and, and children's dressmaking is a really good place to start. One, because they don't, they don't moan about the fitting. <laughs> um, you don't need to worry about darks and things like that, but you're learning all lots of terminology and techniques. Um, for, and, and it doesn't use up much of your fabrics, does it, either? It doesn't eat into much of your stash. But it does show you the construction of all the toys as well as their clothes. £12.99. There's all of your um, templates, which look like they're to scale, which is useful, isn't it? You don't need to upscale them at all. Fab, right, £12.99. Um, anything else? Are we going to... Oh, oh, yes, anything else? We will try and move into the 12 o'clock hour if we get a chance. We've got Alice and Eagley waiting in the wings again. Yesterday, there was a prize draw, and the winner is Helen. Helen Gins, you are the winner of all of that fabric and the famous Sewing Street tote bag. It is on its way to you. Well done, well done, well done, well done. How did Helen win that? Was it just shopping? Brilliant, shop to win. That's nice, well done. Um, right, don't go anywhere because Alison is coming up with the postcards. I'm so thrilled that we've got them. Also, the origami bag is back. It's already selling on pre-order, so have a look through over the break. Alison's going to be joining me in just a couple of minutes. See you after this. Are you a fan of Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans and Yarn Lane TV Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. It's that simple. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your makes, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing and yarn community. See you there! Have you heard about all of the different ways you can shop with Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? You can either shop on our websites sewingstreet.com and yarnlane.com. You can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. For Sewing Street call 0800 001 4433 and for Yarn Lane call 0800 4700 600. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street or Yarn Lane in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! Hi there! My name's Alison Marion and I'm thrilled to be joining the Sewing Street family. I live in Staffordshire where I run a couple of sewing groups and I have a passion for vintage sewing machines and also applique. I've stitched in some form for as long as I can remember but I absolutely love teaching and helping people stretch their skills and hopefully demystifying some of the techniques that can be quite daunting for beginners. So I'm looking forward to meeting the team and getting into the studio. See you soon. Miss the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favorite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favorite demos over and over again. We also have lots of great content exclusive to our YouTube pages, such as product demonstrations, troubleshooting videos, and so much more. 
Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street and Yarn Lane, as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. For Sewing Street, head on over to www.sewingstreet.com. Scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope, and you're done. It's exactly the same for Yarn Lane. Head on over to www.yarnlane.com. Scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, Click the envelope and that's it. You are now subscribed to both Sewing Streets and Yarn Lane's email newsletters. So you'll never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Do you know, my favourite days are when Alice and Marion is here. We haven't, we have, I haven't had a show with her for so, so long. And it's not just because she bakes us the best <laughs> treats as well. Um, I've just had to have some now because otherwise it will be all gone by the time I come off air at uh, one o'clock. Uh, there's like a queue going into the kitchen at the moment for Alison's tea loaf. It's delicious, delicious. Thank you. Hannah said, I saved you some. I put it in the kitchen. I hid it for you. Thank you. Um, okay. Are we ready for another sellout show? Those of you that want these postcard kits, please, I urge you, don't say I didn't warn you. You must check out now. The memory quilts were so popular and I know that these postcard kits are going to be as well. Now, it's so lovely receiving a postcard, a card, a, a birthday gift, anything. Uh, a potato, if, you, if, you, <laughs> if you've received a potato through post off Hannah. It's a lovely sentiment, isn't it? But I think that these are even even more special than a potato or a, a, a bag of glitter that Hannah sends people in the post. <laughs> um, right, let me show you these. So, they are so beautiful. The, the, the attention to detail as always with Alice Marion kits are stunning. She's put together all the nice little details, but you can make them so individual. And of course, you can just write on them, send them in the post. Uh, we did say to Alison earlier, can you just put fabric in the post like this then? And yeah, you can. So you put your stamp on, you can write with a normal biro onto your message and send it in the post. And it's beautiful, absolutely beautiful. I'm just gonna show you some of these um, and, and we'll go through the kits of the different fabrics and different um, little bits of bobs that Alison's put in for us. But they are so pretty. Absolutely gorgeous. These are like your vintage, really, uh, uh, well, this is one set, one set. And you can make three from the kit. So you can make three postcards. But then we also have, how cool are these? Sewing ones. So we also have sewing related postcards. Um, they all have fabrics that have got sewing notions on. And there's little bits of tape measure, there's buttons. You get a wooden button. Um, that will be assorted, so everybody will get a, a different wooden button potentially. But everything else, you're seeing what you see today, you'll get in the kit. So, the sewing kit, the sewing themed kit, this has got enough to make three. Am I right, yeah. Alison? And yeah. can we go through it with you as well? Because, I mean, you are so particular yeah. about everything that you put in. So, where did this idea start? Have you been making fabric postcards for a long time? I started doing them during lockdown because oh. I saw it. Um, somebody that I was, now was it a blog or something that I looked at online? And there was a quilting group yeah. in America that had started up during lockdown sending each other. Oh, postcards, right, yeah, you know, yeah. so they must have been fantastic because they were sending them so it would be a bit of one-upmanship, wouldn't it? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, and I thought, oh, what a lovely idea. And I sent a few and I had such lovely um, messages back, you yeah. know, because like we said about the photos earlier, the digital age does take away some of the personal sort of yeah. stuff, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. So, yeah, it's just nice to know that somebody's Spent that done time. something. Yeah, I mean, and they are not 
difficult. Uh, you can see that there's, they're not difficult to do, but it's just that someone's made the effort. Absolutely, honestly, I felt so I felt so lucky when I received mine. Alison sent me a lovely one for me moving home with all bees on. Oh, it's so beautiful, <laughs> so beautiful. And, and like you said, they're, they're something that they don't take too much time to do, but for birthdays, for uh, moving house, yeah. for any occasion, yeah, just, just to, to say, say hello. hello. Yeah, yeah, that's right. So what do we get in the kit then? Well, you get the... Um, the heavyweight interfacing, okay. which is a fusible one, so you get that, so you've got enough in there to do three because you've got the front and the back of each of them. Yeah. Um, in the sewing one, you get the longer piece of fabric, which you can put on, I've got a couple here, you can put on, if you want, you can put that on the back and mm -hmm. you can write on fabric. But I've done both and it works both ways, but you can also fuse this to the back of whatever you've decorated and you can just write on, on the interfacing. Right, okay. The stamp stays on both of them. I mean, on my first oh, one, good. my first ones I tried and one of those there, I actually sewed on a piece of um, like little PU because I thought, oh, I wonder if could. the stamp stays on. Yeah. Um, and I sent that one through the post and that, di yeah, that did work. But then I sent another couple through with the um, fabric and with the interfacing. Yeah. And the stamp stays on those as well. So it's up to you how you want to do it, either with or without the fabric on. I love that it's tried and tested then. Yes. Yeah. You've literally put this through the post. I have, yeah. It's been stamped and everything. I wouldn't like to come here and tell someone to do something that didn't work. Oh, that's so good. Just wondering whether the fabric postcards worth making sent through the post. We will see. And it did, it did arrive to okay, you then. Yes. Yeah, brilliant. Um, and I've got one here that I did as well. This one's got just the interfacing. Um, I mean, that's just saying hi, but it was to myself. But this, I, it doesn't have to be themed. It can just be, you know, your little scraps Good of idea. fabric. Um, because there are sets without the bits and pieces in. So oh, well, we love your kits with these bits yeah. and pieces. <laughs> like We're going to have a look kits through the with sewing bits. one. Yeah. So there's the button fabric. You've got the same in each of them. The button fabric, a little bit of um, bonder web. You don't need a lot of bonder web because you can sew stuff down. You've got other sewing related um, pieces of fabric. I've tried to make sure that in here you get at least one dress or mannequin. Oh, so brilliant. there's a piece of fabric with bobbins and then there's a different colourway with the mannequins and the clothing and that to match with it. And then we've just got some little bits of pieces. One of them I've done little hexes. Oh yes, I um, did spot that. Here we go. You know, they're just little bits that blend together and you yeah. can put, uh, you could put like a little flower behind it or something like that. Yeah, you can make it your own. You yeah. can put whatever you want on it, can't you? And I, um, one of them I put a sewing machine on, so I yeah, thought, well, we rather than put a, tran a, tran a template in, I had this fabric and you can either draw around that or use the pieces mm -hmm. and use Bonder Web to put them on. This is a poly cotton, so it's it's not cotton, but everything else is cotton. Um, bits of ribbon and little bits of rickrack and some buttons. Each of them's got a sewing related button. Um, what's this one got? Oh, this has actually got a sewing machine. One we looked at earlier. I think the one you've got has got a tape measure. Yeah. There's the uh, thimble yeah. on that one. A couple of little heart buttons. And there's also a piece of hemming web. This, oh, lovely. And this is, this is lovely for putting on ribbon because it's permanent. It's it not stays. like bonder web. You don't have to sew it down afterwards. Right. So if you just want to put a bit of ribbon on and not have to sew it, you can use the, um, the hemming web. Uh, we've got a lovely message come in. Um, this is for our Maureen. Maure in World War One, the soldiers in France used to send fabric home, uh, homemade postcards to their loved ones. I didn't know that. How lovely is that? That is so lovely. Yeah. Oh, I'm so yeah. pleased that we're oh, bringing that back. Oh, thank you for that. Yeah, that's lovely. Uh, the one, the buttons that I've got in here, you've got the tape measure, just so, just uh, as we say, they're, they're at random, but they're all sewing related. So this one's got a tape measure and it's got a lovely heart as well. But they're all, the, the attention to detail that Alison puts into uh, the projects and into the kits are gorgeous. But I think then once you've, once you've got the instructions and you've got the kit and you've made your sewing ones, then yes, it's a good idea to, you know how to do it, yeah. um, to, to start looking in your stash. You could do Christmas postcards, you could theme them however you want, yeah. couldn't you? Yeah. In fact, yeah, Sue just put the postcards would be lovely for making vintage Christmas cards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. absolutely gorgeous. 
Now, we do also have the vintage kit. So what do we get in there? Is everything similar? It, it's to, similar, yeah. yes, it's similar. But um, you've got your uh, interfacing and you, ha you haven't got as much of this. I've only put in this cream um, for half of it. I keep saying erm today, I can hear myself. <laughs> uh. So, yeah. so that if you want to, you can put it on the back. You don't have to because with this one you get a piece that you can put over the top that can go over the top and then I'm going to do that one and then decorate over the top of it. Oh lovely. So that's that one but oh, there's also a handkerchief. Beautiful. That's going to be, um, there's little bits of fabric and. Will everyone get a handkerchief oh, then? This is lovely, I found this, look these lovely, this is crocheted. Oh Isn't it gorgeous. gorgeous. Yeah it's crocheted. Um, yeah, so like there's different kinds of hankies. I can't guarantee which uh, which ones you'll get. But everyone will get a hanky. Yeah. Love it. And that can go over on one corner. There is one made with a hanky there, so that yes, goes over the corner. One. So there's enough of those to do two. Oh. So beautiful. there's not quite as much cream with that. You can either put it on the back, or if you want to do another one. Uh, but there is enough of your interfacing everything to be able to do three. Three. Yeah. Three of your postcards. Yeah. Brilliant. So this is your vintage theme, which is £15.99. Such good value. All the bits and bobs in there, ready to go. And, of course, if you've got any questions, get them in today. Now, which one's in the lead at the moment, Hannah? Vintage. Ah. Vintage in the lead at the moment. They are so pretty. So, so pretty. Okay, now... As we said, Sue's just said, what about Christmas um, postcards? We are thinking of lots of different ways of, of, of using this idea. If you just want the interlining, if you just want the interlining and the base fabric, then you've also put together a base kit for everybody. Because you presume, yep. obviously lots of people have got little stash. Little scraps, yeah. Yeah. And they make, take such tiny little scraps. I mean, I've put in, this was lovely. Look, this little heart. Um, cotton it's just lovely yeah. <laughs> and you know that just across the center well yeah maybe you've got little bits of lace and yeah. different bits of yeah. um, buttons and all sorts we that all you want to do keep tiny little bits don't we so this is a lovely way of using it up it'd be nice to do I'm thinking like uh, wedding day bits and bobs yeah. so if you've if, yeah, yeah if you collected bits from weddings you can make wedding postcards um, these would be lovely so you can make three again with this Alison yeah yeah so you have your uh, fusible interlining and then you also have your base fabric so include your instructions your base fabric and your interlining for just 11.99 now over half of this kit has also gone so if you do want um if you do want just the interlining and your base fabric please don't wait for the end of the hour to get that because that will have sold out now before we come over to demo the postcard um just very very quickly can i recap the origami bag before just the kits, so you can get going with um, with purchasing these as well. So I've got the one with the red. It comes with your official sewing street exclusive instructions. Um, we will talk about this towards the end of the show, but we have done full demo on this before, haven't yes, we, Alison? Yes. This is a different way of doing it. It's an alternative oh. way of doing it. Oh, brilliant! Yeah. Because it is just a square, isn't it? For anybody who's not yeah. a bag maker, it's just folded. It's just folded. Yeah, a folded it's a square. square. Yeah. So you have your instructions. You also get a metre and a half of black, which is your main body, and then you've also got your accent fabric, which is this one. I love that with the metallic gold. Beautiful, isn't it? Is that it? batik? Yeah. <gasps> oh, it's a batik. I love it. Half a metre. Now, we will be looking at this in more detail, but I just wanted to let you know this one is available. Brand new bundles, £22.99. Um, I also have the black and gold. $22.99 your instructions and two meters of fabric so a meter and a half of your black and half a meter of your gold batik with those metallic hair drops so beautiful um, do make the most of those as we're going through with the postcards a lot to try and fit in before 12 o'clock so uh, yeah the instructions are also available individually on their own if you've got fabric in your stash, you'll need a metre and a half of fabric to complete the bag. Just £9.99 for Alison's instructions, step-by-step -step guide with photographs, with images, with lots of text. Um, very, very clear indeed. All for just £9.99. Now we're going to start with the postcard kit. So which one are you working with, the vintage? The vintage. I thought I would do replicate the, um, the one with the uh, canvas. Oh, lovely. This is 
this is a canvas. And I've got black on my machine, so you can actually see how little sewing there is. Um, you don't have to zigzag. I've zigzagged the outside edge because you put two pieces together. You don't have to do that if you don't want to. If you've got some bias binding or if you want to make some bias binding, that is an alternative way of finishing it. I mean, this is another thing where scraps come in. If you've got some scraps, you could make yourself some bias binding. You could just encase the outside edges with binding. Yeah. And but you make I, meters I, and meters and meters of binding, don't okay. you, Alison? Yeah, she loves <laughs> making binding. It's favourite thing to do. That's fatal, buying the machine that does it. <laughs> I know, I know. Uh, your main graphic is for your vintage, and then the side is for the sewing, just so you know. Right, so as we said earlier, the uh, interfacing, this is extra heavyweight interfacing, and it is fusible. So ah. whether you're putting on the cream, the handkerchief, or this, this lovely canvas, all you do is lay it down on top and then you just bond it down. Oh, I did ask, by the way, and I'll, I'll, next time I come in, I'm in on the 22nd of October, I'll be bringing some more of the kits for the, oh, the photographs. Quilt. Yeah. I suppose you've so. got to cut all the, the bits of bulbs to put them all together, <laughs> haven't you? Yeah. So, yeah. There we go. So that... That's just going to hold that in place, and then we'll cut off the outside edges. Such a great idea, isn't it? Such a brilliant idea. Well, I would like to say it was an original idea from me, <laughs> but obviously it's not. <laughs> what a lovely thing, though, for you know the men that were away yeah. at war. Yeah. So we just cut that down. The piece is six by four, but it's up to you how big you want to make it. You could make it bigger, you could make it a little smaller. I wouldn't have too small, obviously, if it's going to go through the post. And I think half the attraction is having the frank mm -hmm. actually on the back. Because yeah. you could, if you've got something that's um, really thick, if you want to put a particularly thick button, I have checked that all of these buttons are thin enough when they're on to go through as a standard letter. Brilliant. Um, because obviously, if it's too thick, it'll then go up to a large letter. And yeah, it's quite costly, quite then, costly, isn't it? costly then, yeah. So, um, yeah, everything in there will go through. So, we've got that bonded on the back, and then we don't put this second one on until we finish decorating. Mm -hmm. And as you'll see, when I do this with black thread, if you're using a black thread, it's best to just glue a print stick or something like that. You don't want to waste your nice suit. A sew line pen, a piece of paper to the back because the black thread will show through. Even if you've got the cream bonded to this before you put it on, it You'll will show it. through. Okay. So um, the one that I've done, there is one with black stitching. Is it that one? Yeah. yeah. I put um, a piece of paper, glued a piece of paper, and then glued it back towards it so that it doesn't show doesn't through. show through. Fab. So you've got your background there, and uh, we're going to have. We'll have this piece here. And then I want to put this one in, and I don't want to waste bonder web because it's not absolutely necessary. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sew this down. So if I need that, I'm going to. Are you just put placing this over. it and just having a go? Is yeah, that, you know? that's it. Yeah. So it's it's all a bit hit and miss, but I think that's half of the attraction. So I've got the right side down, and I'm going to sew here, and then once that's sewn, I'll be taking it back over. So if I just do that, as I said, I would normally do it with a, a blending thread, but just so that it shows up. Does it sew through the interlining okay? Yeah, no problem yeah. at all, yeah. Oops, what have I got? So there we go, and then that one will come across there. There is availability of the 570A, and the 570A has got an alphabet, so you could always embroider, you could do your monogramming on your machine. It's 599. If you can afford to spend that bit more, one thing that you always ask, uh, Alison, is does it have a thread cutter? Yes. To use the machine. Yes. How useful is a thread cutter? It's the best. <laughs> <laughs> it really is. Not to have to pick up your, uh, your snips, although I love my snips. <laughs> Yeah. So not to have to pick them up 
and just press a button, it's brilliant. So I've just sewn that down so that it holds its, it holds in place and then I'm going to get my little piece of rickrack. Obviously it's up to you how you place everything that's in the kit. Oh absolutely, yeah. That's, that's the whole fun of it actually, yeah. isn't it? So now I'll cover that over. Normally that wouldn't be showing because it would be in a matching thread. I'll push that over there. So we'll cut that off so that it's straight. And then I'll press it. The only thing, because these are all, all cotton other than, there's a little bit of pink. Got it, there one, that one. Obviously this little bit of pink here. I'm not going to put that on because it, with the grey th uh, black thread, It'll look too heavy, but this is a nylon lace, so you don't want to press that one, but everything else is cotton, so it's all fine. Oh, nice. So that's there, and then this one here I'll put along the side. You can see how little you need of everything. That's, that's what I love about um, the, the base kits, actually, is that you can just have a good rummage, find a load of lovely little buttons off yeah. of your favourite fabrics, some of your liberties. They are lovely. Yes, because just putting a little bit of um, accent fabric across a corner works well. Yeah. Like you say, I mean, they would like make lovely sort of uh, wedding invitations and things like that, oh, wouldn't wow. they? Yeah. It would, perfect. So there's that one. And then I won't actually do this because we've got the bag to do as well. But mm -hmm. then all I did was I put the three buttons along there. I sewed those on. The only thing I will say that with the big buttons and the sewing one, yeah. it, I haven't sewn that one. I've glued it. Yeah, well, I suppose... Because it's not a lot of thread to keep it on if it's going through a franking machine mm -hmm. with the post office. So I did glue that down. I used one of the um, like Yoohoo glues, like the handbag glue. Right, okay. To make sure that that was that down. That stays in place. And something else. Can you else? stitch through then with a, a needle? For those ones, would you be able to stitch through this interlining with your hand sewing needle? Oh, easy. Yes, yeah. It's not a problem to sew through at all. Um, but one thing I would say, don't put anything, any buttons or anything that's too thick up in the left-hand corner. No, because that's where you stamp. Or left-hand top, be. because you're, when you turn it over, your stamp's going to be in there. And that's where it's going to be franked. So keep anything that's thick down towards the bottom. So all you do then to, um, once you've finished your front, yeah. you just turn it over. Now I've got um, this piece here that I can show you. There you can see, oh it doesn't show up that much on screen, but you can see the black stitching. Right. So that's why you would put a piece of paper inside, yeah. just so that you didn't see that. Unless you didn't mind, that is. Mm -hmm. You might not mind. But I'm going to do this one because this one I'm just going to fuse down. There you are, it shows up a lot on that one. Yeah. We spotted Alison's ring, by the way, a little bee ring. That's I love that. <laughs> it's How sweet, fun isn't is it? This? It's lovely. Oh, a little yeah. sewing bee. <laughs> I love oh. that so much. That's yeah. so cute. <laughs> that was one of those little novelty things I saw and thought, oh, I've got to have that. <laughs> so now I'm going to just put that onto the back. This takes a little longer to do because obviously the heat's got to go through, especially if you've got fabric on as well takes a little while but you only need to hold it in place because you are then going to sew around the outside edge to hold everything right, together yeah, yeah. okay it's done right so and you've done a zigzag yeah across here but like you said you could do um your binding as well at this yeah. point 
yeah, you can do bias binding. So um, I'm assuming that I will need this a little wider. So I'll do it three and a half, I think, and we'll have a look and see. Let me just go around, down around the outside edge. There we go. And you can sew off the edge and that holds in all the little threads. And we'll hold it all together. Right, so your needle is going on and just slightly just off. Just slightly off, okay. yeah. So there we go. I mean, it can be closer. It can be almost satin stitch. This is a little bit closer, but not a lot. And this is nice because it's variegated thread. Oh, think, cute. Yes, yeah, we've got you've some got variegated some threads. I used variegated thread in the bag as well. So um, I love it. The variegated threads. Yeah. Um, are these slightly heavier weight or not? I just wondered this what yellow is, means. Yeah, this one is. I don't know. I, this one that I was given was on a bigger roll. So right, okay. Yeah, this is more like a, an actual top, real top, top stitching. stitching one. Yeah, I think this one is, you know, as well. Yeah. And you've got all of these lovely variegated colours. That was like fruit pastel. That's a lovely Not selection, fruit pastels, isn't it? Fruit salads. Yeah. Fruit salads. Oh, nice. And then you've also got like your classic top stitching yellow. You've got white, red, pink, purple, but all those variegated are really, really fun for this project. All right, I'll just finish going around down the outside edge. And it's a bit strange really, because this one came back and it's got like little marks here where it's gone through the machines and everything. And I just think that's part of it. Absolutely. It's, it's lovely. You know, we're having all the franking and everything on it. And if you've got any postcards from, you know, loved ones that you've had, and, and they tend to get a bit battered, and uh, don't they, in the, uh, when you've got them in a drawer yeah. or you've got things, or you've got uh, spill, spillages on them, whereas these will really last as well. So if you are sending, love letters, love postcards <laughs> to your loved ones. It's nice to then keep them and look after them and they, you could even have them up on the wall. You could have them as, as artwork as well. There we go. So that's it. So then all you need to do is to put your marks on the back. Remember, if you do want to do it for a spe specific occasion, maybe a birthday or... Um, Alison's put together a base kit for you. How about, I'm thinking, combining your two projects and doing um, doing a photograph. Photograph on them, yeah. Photograph It'd be lovely, wouldn't it? Really nice. Again, of a wedding, that'd yeah. be lovely. There we go. 11 99 for your base kit, and that's enough to make three postcards with your interlining and your base fabric, plus your instructions in there for just 11 99 That's so good, isn't it? Because your instructions normally are £10. So for an extra couple of pounds, you've also got your interlining and you've got your fabric. It's brilliant. So hang on, what pen are you using? So all right I'm now? using on this one is a fine liner, a Sharpie fine liner. Oh, okay. One of them has got sewn. I've sewn it on one of those ones that you've got. You can also sew it. You would obviously do that before you put the two together. Yeah. I don't know where I'm missing one. I seem to have misplaced one somewhere, but these ones are, um, you've written on them. Yeah, one of them's got, uh, it, and it's actually sewn, because these are only straight stitches anyway, and then um, because I, I didn't uh, put it in the instructions, because not everybody has um, an embroidery machine. No. So yeah, that's why I've done this one. So then you've got your, your center down there, but you can use an ordinary biro. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, don't I've use used a friction pen. No, <laughs> I've used a a gel pen. The gel pen you have to leave to actually dry, but these dry straight away. And obviously a biro you don't have any problem with. And then just put where your address goes, and you stamp up here, and you message in there. I love it. It's such <laughs> a real clever, simple, and it just works. And like you said, when you receive it, it's so special that someone's taken the time to not only send a postcard to say they love you or thinking of you, but also to know that they've made it yeah. just even more special. Oh, I will say though, because um, I posted, I don't think it was on the Sewing Street website, I think it was a um, Facebook page, I think it was another one. I made for our, I know, was it his birthday or anniversary? Our anniversary, I think, I made Mike a fabric card and okay. I put it on and I said, what do you think? Yes or no fabric cards? And some people saying, 
oh no, I wouldn't want to throw it away. It's fine to throw them away if you want them. You don't have to fill your house with someone else's stuff. <laughs> oh, I love them. I love them. I love them. I love them. I would. I am a bit of a hoarder for keeping cards. I am as well. But then, you know, if Every someone's occasion. not really into it, we no. don't mind. No, no. <laughs> um, Fiona just said, can I use an overlocker to do the edge? Yes, no problem. Brilliant. It's, it's really, really easy stuff to sew with. It's only an interfacing. Mm -hmm. But it's the extra heavyweight. And I think you were just using the June Tanner because Christine just said, I think I'm going to treat myself to the June Taylor ironing cutting mat. It's, it's so perfect for ironing transfer paper yeah. um, because you need a hard surface. Yeah. So, yeah, brilliant. Next hour, we've got both sizes coming up, Christine, in the, uh, in the 12 o'clock show. Right, Alison, we'll just recap and then yep. we'll let you That's get ready fine. for the I'll origami. I'll get all the other stuff out. Okay, so the kit with the sewing machines first, which I love because let's face it, we've all got scraps and bits and bobs in our stash, but how many of us have got this much sewing related um, fabrics? Oh, there's my other ones. I think I put them in the box. So oh. look, you can see with that sewn down, you can see the postcard stitching. Um, so in this one, you get your wooden button. That's the only thing that's sorted. Um, so this one's got um, heart buttons. I've also got a spool button. I've got my my webbing. It's a lovely project, isn't it? Really lovely to do with, with children, I'm thinking, as well. You've got a bit of underweb. You've got your sewing-related fabrics. You've got some rick rack. You've got some ribbons. We've got this lovely uh, lacy fabric as well. Lots of little colours if you want to do some hexes on there like Alison has on this one. I mean, these are just a few ideas, but you can, of course, use the fabrics and the kits however you want. You can fussy cut these balls. And let's face it, you're not going to use every single one of those on the postcard, are you? You could have them then for your stash. It's enough to be able to do three postcards and plenty there to have a good play around with, plus your base fabric and your interlining, also your instructions, all for £15.99, such a good price. As always, brilliant value for money and so much love and detail got into them. Uh, so, that's your sewing related. We also have your lovely vintage. Uh, can I remind you, I know I sound like a broken record, but please check out your baskets because if everybody checks out, it's completely sold out with people missing out. That's the issue at the moment. Uh, now, the vintage. Right, I'm going to just tell you, there's nine remaining. If you want the vintage, there's nine. And there's, oh my word, there's over 30 of you have got it in your basket. Please do check out now if you want it. These are your lovely vintage. Now, these are just, again, three ideas of what you could make with what's in your kits. Uh, you've got your interlining, your, you've got your base fabrics, and then you've got lots of goodies to be able to uh, create that beautiful vintage feel. Now, I know I've got lots of different bits and bobs in my stash, but I don't have anything like this. These are lovely, aren't they? <gasps> Rick Rack's really pretty blue edging. How gorgeous. Uh, Alison was saying this is crocheted. It's so, uh, oh, I just love everything, every single one of them. Uh, you've got your fabrics, you've got handkerchief. You'll all get handkerchief in this one. You've got your base fabric <laughs> for when you cry with how beautiful your <laughs> postcards are, obviously. Oh, it's just so lovely. Um, you've then also got your bond to web and you've got your fusible interlining as well for $15.99. All $15.99. And your instructions, don't forget. And your instructions. Oh, and your little goodie bag. As always, we love with Alison. You get a little treat bag um, with your buttons in as well. Okay, so. That's your vintage option. There are less than 10 of them. There are less than 10. It's about to sell out. I'll update you. Finally, if you've got any bits and bobs that you want to do. Oh, look. You're sewing street demo the 5th of October. You've even dated on the front of them. I do that on all my kits so people can find the demo. Oh, you are good. You are. <laughs> oh, honestly, attention to detail. Love that. Kit of making your own bits and bobs. If you've got uh, a stash, if you've got ribbons and buttons, have fun making your own postcards. Enough to be able to do three with your oh yeah the motor scrap bundles yes if you've got your interlining you've got your interlining sorry and you've got your base fabric all cut ready to go you've also got your instructions that's the from the mind of a producer earlier isn't it he's just had a thought of the scrap bundles that he had in his show the other day in his producing show have we got any left we're looking now we'll look now we'll look now elliot's saying yes we do he's checking the stock do you know the code off the top of your head, Elliot? As a producer, you normally would know the code <laughs> off the top of your head. 
When are you producing next? Oh, he says, hopefully never. That's it. I'm done, done, done. Did you enjoy it, though? He said, no, it was too scary. It was too scary. Too many buttons to press. Um, 11 99 for your base kit. Uh, they're lovely, aren't they? Really lovely. I'm so excited to see all of yours on the on the fan page. Send in your pictures. I know, Margaret. I'm going to second that. She's just put Sewing Street. You are so lucky to have such a talented lady. <laughs> Fab demo, Alison. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> second that. Stop we crying again now. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a handkerchief. <laughs> yes. Handkerchief. Uh, oh, thank you ever so much, Alison. Right, let's do... Uh, oh yes, by the way, the Moda scrap bag, I mentioned it. If you want it, we have got some available. Um, they're all Moda fabrics, they're assorted, different shapes, different sizes. There you go, it's 14 99 and it's 227 grams of Moda fabric. I think that we've got one here in the studio somewhere, haven't we? We'll see if we can, um, we can find it. But I just thought, as I mentioned, it's only fair that I say, if you want it, it is there for 14 pounds, 99 pence. And it could be, they're assorted by Moda. I mean, this one's got loads of, um, well, they look like two and a half inch strips, but some of them are wider, some of them are a bit narrower, some of them are full width, some of them are shorter. So you are going to get a whole selection of motor fabrics. Here's another lucky dip. It's done off weight. It's not done off how many. That one looks like um, all this. Oh, no, I was going to say they all look the same collection, but actually you've got lots of different motor collections yeah, here. Lovely. Have you ever had a motor scrap No, bag I haven't, but I'm looking at that green one and there's... Several of them have got um, selvages on, and I love doing work with selvages. Well, Rebecca Weed's making a skirt, I think, isn't she? Oh, the selvages? gosh, yeah. What, what sort of things Fabulous. do you make then, or can you do oh, with I've, I've done a bag, and I'm, it's surprising how many it takes yeah. to make your piece of fabric. Of course. But, um, it's yeah, good that you've got I'm, I'm still, still collecting selvages for the next project. <laughs> and often, Moda Especially ones... Especially posh selvages. <laughs> well, you have quotes on a lot of the Moda ones. Yeah. This one says, no matter how long the winter, spring is sure to follow. Oh, wow. They'd be really nice for your postcards. Yeah, they would. They'd be perfect. I love that. Love it, love it, love it. Um, right, if you do want them, please do check out. Look, this one with the little bees. Oh, look at that. Oh, gorgeous. Fourteen ninety nine if you want and it. And they'd also be lovely for the... Um, because you could have a different coloured frame. Each one could be different colour, couldn't yeah. it, if you had a scrap bag? Good idea. Good yeah. idea. Grab those. They are available. I can't believe I'm actually saying that they're available. They, they come in and they disappear on that same day normally. So and make the most of those. Right, should we do a, a bit of origami today? A bit of folding. I love origami. I was watching this YouTube video the other day. Now I'm in my new house and obviously I'm not allowed I'm not allowed to do too much with it it's all Kira's doing so I decided to do some origami on the loo roll have you seen how you can do like, <laughs> you can make bows and things like so I was watching these videos yeah that's that's my that's my job that's my job everybody please we comment on that when you come around to visit um so yes so this is your origami origami shoulder tote bag if you're not a bag waker, don't worry. We're going to demystify it all for you. It is simply a square and it's a folding technique to get this amazing bag. And it's a nice size bag, isn't it, mm. Alison? Yeah, easily takes A4 folders. Oh, brilliant. Mm. There you go. Easily takes A4 folders. So you've got a metre and a half of black and you've got half a metre of batik as your accent fabric. So you need a metre and a half of fabric to complete the bag. It's gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Uh, can you remember... The date offhand when yeah, you did it's this. not on there. There's, I, I thought when I said that this was a long time ago and I, I didn't produce the original ones. <laughs> uh, Hannah's going to let us know in a minute. Yeah. She's going to have a look through. She says it's their new bundle, so it's difficult to uh, it's fine, but she's looking through. If not, I will find it. And yeah, um, this is your batik fabric, a meter and a half of your black as well. Love these, twenty two ninety nine, and that includes your instructions. Everything you need to know. Everything you need to know. No templates? Don't need templates? Don't need them, no. Brilliant, this no. is so exciting. <laughs> uh, you then also have the gold colourway. Um, the gold colourway comes with a metre and a half of black and it also has half a metre of gold with this lovely metallic gold. And it's not um, scratchy, they're not going to come off. You can still press no, this, lovely. can't you? Yes, yeah. It's lovely. Yeah. Uh, and Alison has actually uh, used different coloured variegated threads through it because you've got this black 
background, which I think is practical, isn't it? It is practical, let's face it. But you could always embellish with your, your variegated threads if you like, or even metallic threads. Go for it. $22.99. Now, if you do have lots of fabric in your stash, maybe adding in your accent fabric as William Morris, maybe. Mm, we were lovely. talking about those in the last hour. Your instructions are also available on their own for £9.99. All written by Alison Marion. Step-by-step -step photographs as well as instructions. Um, you have also got your placement. or Is this a, a cutting, cutting guide? Yeah. Your cutting guide there as well. Plus your bagging out method on the back. 22, sorry, not 22, 99, 9.99 for the instructions on their own. Fab. Right. Oh, hang on. Let's have a read of your messages. I have the scrap bag with the salvage on. Um, I wasn't sure what to make. Michelle, there you go. You've got some ideas now then. You add them to your postcards. Good idea. <laughs> right, so, big square. How on earth is this going to turn into a bag? Yeah, well, um, I've, I've got to this stage How because we this, is, this, a, stage, this is a different method to the original one. Right. So what I've done is I've added the new method to the older instructions so you've still got the original instructions so right. you can choose which way you want to do it um, so I'm going to do the bagging out method but you start off you have two squares a large one and a smaller one and then you add I've I've left it on the front top here because you can see that I've added all the way round yeah the accent fabric and then I've layered wadding is that a polyester? Yeah, Easter? just an ordinary polyester wadding. Yeah. But I have 505'd it, okay. or June Taylor, or anything, any basting spray. If you don't do that, you need, because you're going to bag it out, you need to have this um, fixed to your fabric. So you can tack it. If you haven't got any 505, you can tack it, or you can pin it. But your pins will have to be on the right side, because obviously you're going to turn it through. So you right. can't put your pins so that you see them on the no, wadding sense, because yeah. you're going to turn it through. So all I've done is I've put the um, board around. It's all in the instructions. Put the board around. I've put the two right sides together. It doesn't matter with this because there isn't a right side and a wrong side. But if you had a right side mm -hmm. and a wrong side, it would be right sides together. And then you've got your wadding on the top. And then you sew all the way around the outside of the square, leaving about six inches to turn That's through. Right. So you've done that. Um, one other thing, there, it's all in the instructions. You make up your little loops for your button, your button loops. Mm -hmm. You're going to just, you don't, it doesn't need to be on the bias, obviously. You've got your little piece that you cut out. You press it in half, then you press the two in again. And then you press that and just sew up both sides. And you'll see that I've put those on the inside before I've put this on the corner, the, you'll see them when I turn them through, they're actually inside. So the loop goes towards the inside of the square. And then once you've turned, you're gonna turn it all the way through and the, it is quite a lot of bulk to pull through. So make sure you give yourself so a So make sure, gap. yeah, don't leave three or four inches. And the easiest way to do it is to get all of your corners through the hole first. Well, so is that, that going to be in the base of your bag on the inside? Uh, Where no, will that no, hole it, it's be? at the front. Oh, right, okay. It doesn't matter. No, it right. doesn't matter. You'll see in a second. So we're going to pull that through. So I've got all the corners now, and all I've got to do now is just pull the the fabric down. But as I say, don't leave yourself too little space to do this. There we go, and we'll start pushing it through now. Do you do like a little reverse of back stitch at yes, the end? Yes, you, need, you yeah. need to because you're turning it through. You need to protect the uh, this line of stitching. I do like these fabrics. It's They're gorgeous, nice. isn't it? I was thinking, you said about the metallic thread. Wouldn't right. it be lovely with the Christmas fabric mm -hmm. and it quilted? Because I've quilted it from one side to the other here in in the variegated mm -hmm. thread and on the handle because you've got a nice um wide handle that's actually got wadding in it as well oh, lovely. so it's a nice and gentle on your shoulder so that uh, that would be lovely you could do more so that the metallic thread showed up yeah and it'd be lovely with the christmas fabric round wouldn't it oh wow i mean i've got one of these and i keep all my um 
registers in it for my U3A group and things like that. Is this that. how you so know if it's an A4 folder? Yeah. 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 Right, there we go, nearly through. That's it. And I'll just... Are you back to your Staffordshire Stitchers groups? Are you doing? 13th of... Oh, yes, that one we started a while back, but we've had to have a temporary home because uh, Tesco's haven't got their community room open yet. Right. Um, but my U3A group at, at Cheadle, that's, uh, that's going to be starting on the 13th. So oh, that's goodness. looking forward to that. It kind of feels a bit more normal now. <laughs> oh. So there we are. There's the loops that I said about. That's there. And then, what's U three A? The University of the Third Age. So okay. it's, shall I say, for older people? No, it's for people basically that are uh, not working anymore. Yeah, you Learning know, new skills. Yeah, yeah, and we we're all volunteer group leaders. Right. Um, so it costs a pound to come to the group, and we do general sewing and things like it. They're not lessons. Um, they're more social groups, yeah. but I mean, I do little projects and things as well. Most of the things that I've done here, we've done as a group. Oh, brilliant. You know, yeah. So, yeah, it's lovely. They do all sorts of things. They do photography and computer literacy and singing. Oh, they do singing. fantastic. Oh, I'm desperate to join this rock choir in Kenilworth. Yeah. Um, there's, what, 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 Hannah? Hannah's literally just lit up in the gallery. Yeah. What, you want to come? Oh, she says, let me, t remi I will remind you to tell me about the choir. There's an art choir at the lecture. There's what? There's a complaints choir. They collect people's complaints about everyday life oh. and they sing them. Oh. <laughs> she says it's hilarious. Oh, that sounds like, that oh, um, there's a lady, I can't remember her name, Dilly something. She, she's so funny. We went to see her. I can't think what she's called now. Michael, if you're listening. <laughs> <laughs> um, and she sort of sings things like that. Oh, brilliant. Sings comments, yeah. you know. Yeah, it's so funny. So at this point, I'm now pressing this because I'm, I'm not going to quilt it. I'm just going to show you the folding technique. Yeah. Um, so at this point, at this point you, would, you quilt. would quilt your centre panel. You don't go out into here. Mm -hmm. So you would quilt the centre and then you sew all the way around the centre panel to hold everything in place. I'm just doing this to make it a bit easier for me to turn it all. This is a nice transition, actually, from anybody who does quilting oh, it's and, water. and wants to make a bag. But a lot of us get a bit scared of thinking in 3D with bag making. Yeah. So this is brilliant. I mean, this here, you would now slip stitch that closed. Wow. I'm, go I'm going to pin it, but you would slip stitch it so that it's not seen. So that's your, uh, you can, if you want to, you can go all the way around. Once you're finished, you can go all the way around the outside edge. I didn't do it with this one, but with the other one, the grey one that's actually on the instructions, I did in go all the way round and Brilliant. stitch it with the machine. That's it, that's going to hold it in place a bit better. Do not know that they've just found out in the gallery that they went to the same university the same year and they graduated at the same at the same <laughs> ceremony. How did you, did you not know this? Did you not know each other then? No, obviously not. No. Well, uh, there was somebody has just messaged me on Facebook to say that they lived in Malta at the same time as Michael. Oh, brilliant! So. Um, yeah, and she went to school as well, so that would be interesting. I, I will reply. I haven't replied. <gasps> That's but interesting. Yeah. yeah. Right, so now what you're going to do is you're going to fold it in half, corner to corner, with your loops at the top. So you've got a triangle now. And then you take a measurement here and divide it by three. Mm -hmm. I have already done that so that I'm ready to go. So this was 45, so yours is going to be around that, about 45, depending on, um, you use a quarter inch seam allowance, but you know, different, yeah. different machines do different. So I'm just making sure that that's flat inside, so that because now I'm just going to get a marker and I'm going to mark up here on both sides. I'm only using that just to 
a straight edge. A straight edge, yeah. And June says chalk. it's Dilly Keen. That's it. Yes. Fascinating Ada. That's it. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so funny. Right, so I'm going to mark that down there. And again on that side. Oh, well, look at that. Perfect. That's, that's, yeah. <laughs> there it is. I will put in a couple of pins so that it doesn't travel. Ah, now which <laughs> which line was which? I've got, oh, two, I've got back. two lines. <laughs> yeah, let's use that one. <laughs> right, so now I'll just sew sew down these lines. Brilliant. Now, have you, you haven't got a walking foot on there, have you? No. No? Is it all no, right? No, that's going fine. Through? That's a this lot is of layers. A, yeah, but it's only just going backwards and forwards. It's not too much of a problem. It's, uh, it's not as if, um, you know, if you've got a quilt, you're going to see where you start and stop. Yeah. This, it doesn't really matter too much because you're going down to the bottom and you're only going to see the front anyway. So, okay. yeah, I, w I wouldn't worry too much. I've still got it on zigzag. You don't want that. <laughs> So I go back to straight stitches. I thought, oh, that's a funny. Right. That's it. Oh, something I will do. I will make my stitch a little bit longer. I'll go to a three because of the layers. I'm used to having my thing on my wrist. I'm oh, yeah. I'll don't pe please pierce don't my wrist. Yourself, no. <laughs> Let's move this out of the way. There we go. I'm stuck on something. Let's see. No, I'm going to have to. Oh no! We're sort this somewhere. out. Let's take my take my foot off. Something's Don't happened. You worry. Something's happened underneath. Oh no! It's got stuck. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to have to. You might have to trim with snip scissors. it off. Yeah. Might need to snip it. See, things like this happen even to the <laughs> pros. Like, it's good to know though, because sometimes if things happen to me at home and you don't know what. That's it. What quite has happened? Seems to be not playing ball today. Keeps dragging down the fabrics, doesn't it? Uh, the kit that Alison's working with, by the way, is this one. You get a meter and a half of black. Don't know what that was. Um, and you also get half a meter of your batik fabric, as well as your instructions for twenty two ninety nine. Oh my goodness! There is either a pin or a needle. It's oh my gosh! In the workings of the machine. It's not what? one. Of, not one of mine. Where does that come from? I don't know, but perhaps we did not to Hannah. continue with that. Yeah, maybe we're best to change the machine, potentially. Yeah. Well, well shall, shall I pin it and turn it and show you with it pinned? Okay. Yeah, we'll definitely get them to look at that. That's crazy. I have no idea how Goodness. there is a needle in there. No. Um, right, so. Right, let's pin it. Your, um, your main graphic, as I say, is for the red colourway. There is also oh, the I gold. Um, and the instructions are available on their own at the moment, but they're very limited. In fact, they might have even sold out £9.99. Sorry about this, Alison. Oh, that's all right. It's just someone's lost a pin somewhere, so I've been sewing with that in the machine all morning. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> right, so if I pin this, I can show you the uh, folding method quite easily, just with it pinned. You can hear that lovely, um, lovely crisp batik, can't yes. you? Yes. Which one's the brown, Elliot? I'm guessing gold is the brown. No, hang on. Just on its own. What's Elliot doing? Producer Elliot now. <laughs> No, your main graphic will be for the, which one, Elliot? Let's go the gold bundle. There you go. Right, okay. So this is sewn. <laughs> yeah, let's all imagine really hard <laughs> that you've stitched both of these. I'll take this out, both of these. take that off. Right, and what you're going to do is you're going to take the point down here where you've sewn to, hold that in your fingers. You be careful with all those and pins. Turn that through, okay, like that, and the same on this side. 
This is so clever, isn't it? And pull that through. There we go. And it's a big envelope, send you big postcards. It is. It? And then you just slip stitch on the outside. You don't have to do it on the inside. Just slip stitch on the outside there. I don't know whether you can see it on that one. That holds that into place. And then on, th on the other side as well, hold that in. Then these two fold down. Oh, that looks pretty. There we go. So that folds down right, that side. Right, this is blowing on my eyes. And that <laughs> goes that side. And there you have pockets on the outside. You've got your pocket inside. If you want to, because you do have spare fabric, if you wanted to, you could sew yourself a pocket on the inside. Another little pocket. There, so you'd have a pocket in there. Nice. Oh, my word. But that, that goes amazing. down there, and then you've got the buttons. Which you've covered. Which I've covered. Petite. And it says on the back that um, it's best to either use a, a thin interfacing to cover the buttons or use two pieces of fabric. I did it last night and it had to be interfacing. The, the fabric, it might be all right on a, a quilting cotton yeah. because it's not as shiny, but it was slipping all over the place. Okay. So really a bit of interfacing. But to be honest, I think they'd be all right without it. I don't know. Oh no, thanks for trialing yeah. that for us. The uh, so self-coloured buttons. Yeah. So that just gets put on there and that's, and they're like that. I love that colourway. I do really it like that It is gorgeous, isn't it? Sorry, should I turn it that way? Look. How clever. How and that's clever it. Is that? and it's from really a square. It's yeah, lovely, really isn't it? quick. Thank so you so much, there. Alison. And then obviously you put your handle on. Your handle yeah. has got the wadding in, but all the instructions are pretty clear on that. Brilliant. Yeah. Thank you ever so much. Thank <laughs> you ever so much. Um, when are you next here? 20 seconds. And you said you're going to bring more of the yes, memory quilt. Yes, yes. I'll bring some more of the, the um, papers and things, the papers and the instructions. I don't know what they'll do, whether they'll bundle it again or not. But. Brilliant. Oh, that'll be so lovely. Oh, thank you so much for and today. I might, oh, I might bring my dog one. Uh, oh, yes. Please <laughs> bring and get that one as well. <laughs> we've got to extend in all your photographs of your memory quilts for then. Also, can we end with the photograph that we've been sent in from <gasps> Anne? Oh, that's Beautiful. Anna said, these are cards received by my family during the war. Some people might like to see them. Oh my word, thank Stunning. you so much for sending me. She says, yeah. great show by the way, love the fabric cards. It made, it, um, I've made quite a few of these over the years. Aren't oh, they brilliant. beautiful? That's thank yeah, thank you, Anne. Oh, they are gorgeous. gorgeous. Yeah. And I love the fact that you can keep them for years and years and years and years and yeah. years and years and years. Yeah. It's just brilliant. Or, you can throw them away if you want. Yes. Alice is not going to be offended if, if, if uh, any we of We don't mind, honest. I keep my cards from Alison. Alison's will be kept, so it's gorgeous. Um, we'll see you, uh, see you at the end of the month, then, yes, see you soon. Yes. Right, so let's do a quick roundup of the kits. So the postcard kits, not going to put the graphics through, but just so you know, the vintage kits, um, there's two of them left. Two of the vintage kits left. If you want them, check it out. The sewing one, we have a slightly better availability, but still very limited. Remember, you get your fabric, your interlining. There's more of you have got it in baskets than we have availability, but there is still opportunities to get that. And you can make three of your sewing themed postcards. It comes with all of your assorted fabrics, some buttons, lace, ribbons, uh, your instructions, everything that you need, all kitted by Alice and Marion, ready to go. £15.99, and that's to make three of those lovely fabric postcards. They are gorgeous, aren't they? And it's great that you can actually, you can put them in the post, you can send them to loved ones, just to say, just to say hello, I miss you, love you, whatever you want to say, whatever your message is. Sewing related postcode, they're brilliant. Um, <laughs> £15.99 for your kit. Now, if you do want the base kit, we do have availability so those of you that have got scraps in your stash if you've got the motor scrap bags um if you've got any bits and bobs lace buttons ribbons we're just about to sell out of this you get your interlining your fabric and your instructions. Now we thought it would be nice, well Elliot thought it would be nice with the motor scrap bags, so we have found them. There's some lovely quotes on the salvages, on lots of the salvages, I can't guarantee that they'll all have quotes on, but these are just two bundles, they've been bundled by Modi you see, and it's done by weight, not by the amount of strips you're getting. But look, 
Some of these have got really lovely quotes on, different prints. Some of them are two and a half inch full strips of fabric. Some of them are shorter. You're getting a whole range of Moda quilting cotton. They'll all be quilting cottons for $14.99. That's another bundle. That's one. This is another scrap bag that you might receive. Everybody's will be at random. Everybody's will be different. But think about how much you pay for a designer design roll. Um, I know that this isn't necessarily a design roll, but when you're looking at assorted designer fabrics, you can pay sort of £40, can't you? £45, even more in fact, actually up to £60. £14.99 for a lot of fabric there. Brilliant. Um, the origami bag, we've got two kits. The kit that Alison was just working with, which is your reds, uh, these ones, you get a metre and a half of your black, you get half a metre of your reds and you get your instructions. Oh no, if everybody checks out, then we'll have, oh, well, about eight of you who'll be missing out. That's presuming everyone's only having one kit and that's not presuming, uh, uh, that's not talking about anybody who's on the phone line right now. So if you are on the line, please do make sure you secure those as soon as you can. We've got the gold. It's called brown on the website, but it's um, definitely this gold. It's lovely. Metre and a half of black. Autumnal hues. With your half a metre of your beautiful batiks. Jot down today's date or, of course, watch back on YouTube. We did do an um, uh, even longer demonstration on this first time round. It's back by popular demand. 22 99 How simple is that? So effective. So effective. 22 99 for the kit. Instructions on their own and 9 99 available on the website. Um, is there anything else I need to mention? There's waddings, there's uh, the self-covered buttons, any threads, the variegated threads, all of them are all on the website. Okay, we're coming back in a couple of minutes with tools. We've actually got some brand new tools. So stay with us, don't go anywhere. We're back right after this. Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street and Yarn Lane gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or www.yarnlane.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Are you a fan of Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans and Yarn Lane TV Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. It's that simple. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your makes, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing and yarn community. See you there. Hello everyone, I'm Delphine Brooks. I've been part of the Sewing Street family now for over a year and it's been the most incredible journey so far. Some of you may already know that I like all things sewing, anything from quilting to toy making, needle felting, and of course applique, which is my favorite. The best thing about being part of the show is being able to share with you my imagination and bringing you new ideas and new designs and patterns and seeing how you interpret those designs and make your own work and then sharing your images of those is the most rewarding part for me. I'm currently working on lots of new ideas and exciting projects that I cannot wait to bring to the show and share with you all. But in the meantime, take care everyone and happy sewing. Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street and Yarn Lane gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or www.yarnlane.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. We know that shopping online can be a confusing and sometimes daunting task, and sometimes all you want to do is talk to a human being. Well, our family-run customer service team are on call 24-7. 
They're full of friendly, warm-hearted individuals, all trained to make your shopping experience as easy and as enjoyable as possible. And not only will they take your order, they will also help and guide you on your shopping journey so you never miss out. Miss the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. We also have lots of great content exclusive to our YouTube pages, such as product demonstrations, troubleshooting videos and so much more. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street and Yarn Lane gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or www.yarnlane.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Hello, welcome back, welcome back. It's always lovely having Alison here, isn't it? It is. She's going to be back um, later on in the month. Um, tomorrow, by the way, can I just say, tomorrow, I've got two days of amazing guests. Alison Marion yesterday today, and Delphine Brooks tomorrow. Delphine's with me, and we've got the Highland Cow. I can't believe I'm actually able to say it. We've got the Highland Cow back. It's going to be amazing coming up. I haven't, I've not seen the Highland Cow since last year and every time I mention it I get so told off because we haven't been able to bring it back we finally got it back it's gonna be so good um, right this hour we were talking about this um, with uh, Alison she asked specifically for this to be bought in it's a brand new tool in today and those of you that have seen the longer one this is now the, the square version and it's like with our creative grid rulers, we talk a lot about the, the, the longer ones, but actually sometimes the smaller rulers are, are great to have as one, they're less cumbersome, two, they're easy to, to store, three, they're gonna be great for some of your pre-cut fabrics as well. Fiskars, without a doubt, is one of the most reputable, reputable uh, brands, obviously, in not just the sewing world, but in, in in the cutting world <laughs> um whether it be <laughs> whether it be with gardening as i know all about gardening now whether it be about any kind of you know uh, saws and things fiscal's very 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 famous everyone knows that their face they are uh, of course a um, uh, family favorite what's the word not family favorite <laughs> they're like a household name basically um we all know them for their orange handles don't we <laughs> You know, in the cutting world, they're a family favourite. Sorry. Right. So, what I love about this is that it's two in one. Now, I am, <laughs> I am, I am uh, notoriously, I, I, I really don't like two in ones normally. I think I had a bad experience once with a washer dryer. And then since then, I'm like, no, separate thing, please, separate. But actually, when you talk about Fiskars, you know that you're getting a quality ruler and a quality cutter so this is your 45 millimeter rotary blade which is completely concealed so if anybody who is on a bit nervous about using a rotary cutter then i can't recommend these enough because they're concealed if you're struggling with uh maybe if you've got dexterity issues and you're struggling with the cutting action then this is perfect because you can just apply pressure to the blade it is really nerve-wracking when you first start um to go straight away into uh cutting with freehand with a, a ruler and a rotary cutter whereas this 
One, it's all concealed, so it's safe. Two, you know it's going to be accurate because it's all on this runner, like a guillotine, it's going to cut really straight. And two, because it's attached to a ruler, you're even more accurate. Uh, it is even more accurate. If you do do lots of kits, like Alice and Marion, for example, if you do lots of cutting, or you have a little club, or you're cutting uh, for a big quilt that's got lots of squares or lots of half square triangles that you need to cut, uh, then this is absolutely perfect. Now, when you're cutting through multiple layers, I, to be honest, if I'm using a ruler and a rotary cutter, I will uh, not go more than sort of two or three layers. But with this, you can cut through multiple layers because you can almost get your sort of body weight on top of that rotary cutter um, to cut. And it does just slide along. It's got a stopper on the end and a stopper on the end here. So when we always say never cut back, um, with a rotary cutter, this one has an exception as you've got the stopper there. Now you apply pressure, if I turn it this way, if you apply pressure, then it will engage the blade. Now you don't need to source a special blade. These are your standard 45 millimeter rotary blades. And actually, if you can get the quick blade changer, the Fiskars tool quick blade changer, then this works in conjunction with that. It's all magnetic, so you don't even need to go near um, with your hands any of the blades. Now, that's the, the cutter. It works on this runner, so you get a really accurate straight edge. But what I love about the ruler as well is that, can you see, it's not only in black, it's also got the white edge. So depending on what fabrics are behind it, you're always going to see those markings really clearly. If you're a lefty or a right-hander, doesn't matter, because look, both ways, you can spin it, Use it as a lefty, use it if you're a right-hander as well, and you've still got all of the measurements right in front of you there. Now, if I spin it round, you can see you also have your 30 degree, your 40 degree, 45 degree, and your 60 degree angle, which of course are really, um, really handy uh, sort of angles to know here. Um, and you've also got them on the other side as well. Uh, Every single one of these is in little uh, inch squares, but you also have quarter of an inch markings, eighth of an inch marking on there as well. So very accurate markings throughout the whole of the, um, is this for me? <laughs> A lot of the different markings across the ruler. Sorry, sorry, Hannah's talking to me as well as I'm talking, because we've had a lovely message come in, which we're gonna read after the show. Thank you. Who's that from Annette? Thanks, Annette. We did get your message. <laughs> Hannah's half reading it to me now. She says, I'm not supposed to be looking at that during the show, Annette, so I'm going to uh, message, I'll, I'll tell Vic after the show. Thank you. But what I love, what I love is that you've not only now got the option of having the larger, longer ruler, and if you've got the bigger one, don't discount getting the smaller one. Alice and Marion actually has both. And she asked us to get this smaller one in because she says it's really, really useful having the 30 by 30. Because it's not a specialized blade, it's a normal 45 mil blade, you could buy a packet of spare blades, label one up for paper, if you do card making, if you want to use it for paper, maybe label one for your fabrics, maybe one for your PUs or leathers. Um, you could label it all up. You don't need to buy specific uh, blades to replace. You can use it for multiple crafts then, can't you? As long as you're using a different 45 millimeter blade for them, you can absolutely make the most of it. Lots of us do multiple crafts, don't we? So this is going to be coming handy for lots of different crafts, like your paper crafting as well. Half of the brand new stock today has gone. Alice and Marion asked us to get this one in specifically for her show. Uh, she can't recommend this enough. Fantastic. So that's the smaller one. It's still a big boy, isn't it? It's still a big ruler anyway. But this, whoo! This one. <laughs> this one is your 24 sorry we're laughing because I, I would just repeat what Hannah says and sometimes I should filter it out so when I call that ruler a big boy I should probably yeah that's more Hannah's lingo than mine uh, 64.99 Hannah says the word baby after the after a lot of sentences and I think John Scott repeated that yesterday 
I don't know what he said, but at the end of it, he said baby, and it sounded a bit, a bit, a bit odd. <laughs> Um, so this is again your two in one cutting and measuring this is your six inches wide by 24 inches long <laughs> I know normally I I find it really easy to filter out what's going on in my ear and I'm struggling today I think it's because we're in that fifth hour aren't we we always say by the fifth hour I think we've lost a bit of um, not concentration I'm still concentrating but it's harder to concentrate isn't it after five after four hours <laughs> Um, once again, this ruler does have all of your angles on. It's got plenty of measurements in inches, quarter of an inch, eighth of an inch markings, as well as, as some of those key angles that we use as quilters. So those of you that are doing lots of cutting, which let's face it, we all do. This is cutting and measuring all in one go, not having to move your ruler or worry about your, move, uh, your ruler moving out of position whilst you're cutting, it's all attached to your rotary cutter. £64.99 and it does give you a really lovely accurate edge. Of course, who are you going to trust? Trust Fiskars. Quality since 1649. What other brands? Oh. Thank you. What other brands have lasted that test of time? What were you? What were you just looking at then? Hannah's making powerpoints. Hannah's making powerpoint presentations. She is making powerpoints for the show, by the way. It is for the show. She's not just sitting on Instagram, <laughs> baby. <laughs> 64.99 right so they're the two Fiskars um, st straight rotary cutters this one is your circle cutter I find circles so difficult to cut to cut the curve um, and to get it with the rotary blade as well oh is amazing now just to make it clear the photo looks like you get just the ruler but you do get the cutter as well so this comes with the uh, how do I put it? It's kind of ergonomic. It moves round as you're as you're cutting. It's brilliant, absolutely brilliant. And you can cut right from. Um, let me see what size. Uh, right from two inch to twelve inch circles. So obviously you put the fold of the fabric at the bottom, uh, and then you place your rotary cutter into this groove here they're all labeled so this one you can see i don't know whether you can see on screen but it does say two three four five six seven or up to 12 inch it's got a line here and a dashed line there which is fold fabric line so you line it up here there is that crosshair in the center to make sure you've got your central point lined up you press down just like with your your uh, rotary cutter and ruler combos press down and glide it round. You don't need to change angle at all. The blade will spin round as it goes. It's very clever, very, very clever. And I find if you're using scissors for a circle, you never quite get that smooth edge like you do with this. Just 32, 90, sorry, 31 at 99. Very, very useful indeed. If you do like to, uh, to cut circles, then this is very handy. It has got the little non-slip stickers on there as well. Hi Jill. What's Jill saying? Jill saying, I have the square one. It's wonderful. I use it all the time. It's the first time we've had it on the show, Jill. Oh, I'm so pleased that we've got these in. Uh, and it, it is down to people like you who message in and, and, and let our buying team know what you find really useful. Alison did the same and said, look, I find this really useful. Uh, the fiscal circle cutter, what blade would you suggest using, please? Right, so they come with a blade. It's a smaller blade. Um, Right, I don't think we sell the replacement blades for these, but they are easily replaceable, so you can find them on the Fiskars website. If you search replacement blade for the circle cutter. Um, it depends on what you're using it with. I would say it lasts a while, but I would use it for the same thing. It depends what you're cutting, doesn't it? Uh, but you will be able to go through, again, multiple layers on this, which is just brilliant to cut circles quickly and, and accurately uh, to make sure that you're getting consistent size circles and accurately cut circles it's brilliant no longer will you have to be looking through the cupboards for the, a bowl that's exactly um, eight inches diameter <laughs> how often do you find that and they slip and slide they never got that smooth edge to, to place down and I just don't find it's very safe whereas with this you've got that safety as well obviously use it with obviously use all of these with your cutting mat as well 
Um, hi Vicky, I've got the roti rotary cutter combo, suffering with tremor, so it's good to use. Absolutely brilliant. Anybody who uh, who struggles with you know keeping it still, holding it, the great thing is is it has got that ergonomic handle that you can use your sort of weight from your shoulder and your elbow without having to to worry about uh, shaking out of uh, out of the um, position. So all three of these are fantastic. You end up wasting fabric or not being quite as accurate as you want to be. Plus, we always talk about when you're working with rotary blades, safety element being um, really key as they are very, very sharp, very sharp. But also you get fantastic accurate results. So they're your Fiskars rotary cutter combos. Please, can we do the Jude Taylor cutting mats? Thank you. Let's go for the big one. Now, whenever we've had these in, they have sold out. I mentioned earlier on with a quilt as you go, it's not very often that we, it takes a while to get these back in stock because we ship them from America. And obviously with everything going on in the world at the moment, it's even harder to get things in. So if you want them this side of Christmas, I can't suggest enough purchase today, 49.99. Now this isn't just any old combo. This is a quality pressing mat. It's cushioned, you can pin into it. It's pre-shrunk, so your measurements are accurate. I would never normally trust uh, a, a, a measurement on a, an ironing mat, but with June Taylor, the way that this has been developed, this has been printed and, and shrunk, pre-shrunk, that it's not going to be warping out of control if you're using uh, steam on it. If you want to make sure that you've got your block squared up. I know that John Scott actually said you could use it for blocking with your knitting and crochet as well, which is great, isn't it? So this is all your pressing mat, which you can, of course, pin into. It's a great size. This is the larger of the two. And then on the reverse, you've got your cutting mat. Now, normally we'd say, look, go for a self-healing cutting mat. Uh, they'll last a lot longer. They have developed their own invention really with uh, June Taylor cutting mats that you don't even need to have a self healing mat uh, because it doesn't dent into it at all. It's absolutely brilliant. So these are really high quality mats. You'll see them on the show every single day. We get requests for them every day and it's not very often that I can tell you they're in stock. It's 49 99 which if you feel it sounds quite a considered purchase, remember you are getting two of the most important tools in your sewing room in one. We always need a cutting mat. If you're using a rotary cutter, you have to use a cutting mat. Uh, again, it's got all of the key angles that we use as quilters. It's a great size, so if you're cutting larger blocks, um, it, it's great to store because it's slim. I don't have a designated, a designated sewing room. So if I'm working in the dining room or in a bedroom, do you know what though? I've got my eye on the front room, which is currently the office, and it's going to be my craft slash music room. Um, it will be. Craft slash singing and piano room. Um, but this is ideal still, because I won't have the space still to be able to put up uh, necessarily a huge mat and a huge ironing board and my iron all there. It's nice to be able to have this nifty, uh, slim mat that I can slip under the bed, under the sofa, store it away nice and easily, and I know that it's going to be giving me the accurate results every time. That's the 12 by 18. Now, previous life, those of us that remember the days of sewing quarter, myself and John Scott were part of um, sewing quarter a few years back, and one mat that was that we used to have that was in and out was the square. Lots of our blocks that we work with, of course, are either 10 inch square or potentially smaller. If you're working with charm packs, 10 inch squares. If you're working with five inch charm packs, you don't need to have a huge ironing board. You don't need to have a huge station and a big domestic ironing board. Your mini iron and this, maybe if you're starting to go back to workshops, going to classes, trying to lug around big uh, mats and all sorts is very difficult. I've tried to do it before and it's impossible. So this is so good to be able to slip into the side of your folder, your, your, your sewing machine's folder, have it next to you all the time whilst you're 
whilst you're working. So you've got your sewing machine set up here, you've got your pressing mat, your cutting mat, and once again, remember the quality of the cutting mat. No need to have a self-healing mat with this one because it is especially developed that it will not create any dents no matter how much you're using it. Ours are well used and um, I think somebody's loved the bond web on ours, but you'll see these day in, day out on the uh, on the show. They're, they're always incredibly popular because we, we don't have, well, we do have quite a lot of space here, but we tend to fill it. And obviously with the cameras, we want to make sure that you get to see everything clearly. So it is nice to be able to set up your sewing station like we do here. This is your 11 inch one. And um, it's the first time that I've had this on the show or the second time I've had this on the show. And it's now very limited. It's only been in for a week or so. And it's now incredibly limited. So if you do want it, if you want to try it out as well, $34.99 is a brilliant price if you were just looking at a cutting mat or if you were just looking at a quality pressing mat. So yes, fantastic value for money on both of those. Enjoy, because I don't know whether we're going to be able to get them in back for Christmas. <gasps> okay. Now, stripologies. Um, where's my stripology squared? So, very briefly, is the mini and the big one sold out? Yep, mini and the big at the moment is out of stock. The squared is fantastic because not only can you cut um, your strips, uh, you can sub cut them into squares, into rectangles, into triangles, into hexes, whatever you want to cut. It isn't just for strips. But then the great thing about the squared is, can you see, you've also got all of your squares here perfect for squaring up your blocks. Uh, blocks from four and a half inches right up to 12 and a half inches. So in white, as you can see there, your half inch uh, squares. The corner, you can see your black squares, which are your full inch, seven, eight, nine, 10, up to 12 inch squares. The great thing about stripology, like we were talking about with the Fiskars cutters, is that you're getting that accuracy. You know that as soon as you've got your rotary cutter in that groove, you've got your non-slip grip, it's not gonna be sliding all over the place. You can still, easily move your fabric uh, you move your roller uh, ruler over the fabric but as soon as you've then pressed it down it'll engage those non-slip grips and you can of course cut very accurately and very precisely what i love about the squared is that they've added some new markings so the one to the side of the zero line here is a perfect quarter of an inch so if you get some quite particular uh sizes for example you've got a pattern that calls for three and a quarter inch um, uh, uh, strips, you can just butt your fabric across to that next line and cut very easily and very accurately. When I first saw them, I thought, oh my word, this looked really complicated. They look quite mathematic, but actually it's the opposite. It will eliminate a lot of the maths. It will eliminate having to move your ruler or move your fabric uh, so many times. And this is a really nice size. It's kind of in between the XL and the Mini, if you want to try it out. It's probably one of the most used rulers um, you'll have in your workroom. Creative Grid have got amazing rulers, which we're going to talk through a few of um, this hour. But this one, along with the XL and the Mini, um, we have people say they use for every single project. So, yes, can't recommend them enough. I know Alison Marion loves it. Wendy Orlando loves hers. We've got most of our designers, Emma Bradford, we refer to them all the time. Every every demo really oh i was watching john the other day and there was a lady messaging saying right you keep using this word and i don't know what it means what is stripology and i think it's a bit of a bad reflection really that we just talk about it as uh, as though everybody knows because we use it all the time it's always here um but actually i understand that it could be quite a daunting looking ruler soon as you get your head around it and there is plenty of demonstrations on youtube there's a qr reader there that will show you lots of great demos um, and there is a lot you can do with it so there is a reason why we mention it all the time if you're watching for the first time i'm so so sorry because we do sometimes just talk all this jargon and presume that you know this other sewing language when I first started sewing, I felt like everybody was talking a different language. So I really am um, sorry for anybody who I, I do, if I do brush over anything. I wish we could go into this in more detail. It's always worth asking though. No question is a silly question. That's why we love being so interactive. Message in if you don't understand anything. Message in. Okay. So 
Talking of stripology rulers, it's from a company called Creative Grids. Now, Creative Grids are designed and made by quilters, so they know exactly what you and I need. Now, we've got the wedding ring um, rulers. So, the wedding ring templates, again, are from Creative Grids. We found some images on Pinterest to show you what you can make using these rulers. It's a free resource. I urge everybody to go and have a look to get some ideas of what they can use. The wedding ring um, quilt is, uh, or block, is a very traditional block, but trying to do this without the rulers, I think would be really complicated because look, you've got curves, um, you've got lots of shapes in there. It looks so effective, but actually with your ruler, um, it will really break it down and make it a lot easier. You can see you've got your non-slip grip, it's frosted with your seam allowance. You've got your, your little holes there as well. Oh, sorry, you've got a one, two, three, it comes with four rulers. They're overlapping a bit, but you can see the four rulers that are included in the kit. There you go, you can see there. So that's how it's laid out. Ours are all a bit, um, they're all bunched up a bit, overlapping each other. So it does have instructions in here. Don't get rid of that, because that's your instructions. But it also has a QR reader, a QR code as well, there you go. It's on the main ruler, in fact. So even if you do lose this, don't worry, because you can just scan the QR reader on your phone. It will direct you straight to a YouTube tutorial of showing you, demonstrating how you do it. So not only have you got the written instructions, you also have a video. If you don't have a ruler, it's doable, but it makes it so much easier. There's a lot of working out, because obviously, look, there's so many different angles in here. Also, cutting curves isn't easy. So to have the template, you've got the grips, not just any templates, you've got the grips. You don't need to find things the right size to draw around to make your own templates. And also, they're larger, they're normally larger gifts, is that people do uh, give them as wedding gifts. That's why they're called the wedding ring set. You don't want have to keep having to cut these out and then work out that they don't fit together. So you know that it's all going to work. 37.49, and you will reuse them. Not only can you use these for the wedding ring um, classic block, You've also got some great shapes here. How about this one for petals on flowers? They're going to be useful for lots of different projects. If you do type into YouTube, into um, Pinterest, there's lots of different ways, colour placements, how different they look. Um, look at the star one at the bottom there. That's the same ruler, same ruler, same block, just different colour placements, play around with different fabrics. This is why they're called creative grids, is they really uh, want you to get creative. There's so many different styles of blocks that you can do. Pinterest, I love looking on Pinterest. I think it's a great way of looking outside the box of what you could do with them, not just the obvious. As I said, this is why they're called creative grids. 37.49. We have got a few others. Um, the I think one of the most versatile is the triangle. Now, when we first started at Sewing Street, um, I actually took this home to have a bit of a play around with it because I, I'm not claiming to be an, uh, an experienced quilter at all. And even I found this so easy to use and so effective. There is loads that you can do. Look at that. Using a triangle ruler, can you believe that you can do all of these different projects? That S one, is a good way of using border prints as well, isn't it? Love that, the stripe. They look so good. If you don't know what to do with border prints, that's a brilliant one to do. Um, the Magic Lantern Block is one that's on YouTube as well with the QR reader. Uh, that's a brilliant, um, a really brilliant block to do and really easy to do. Just You can just use them as triangles. Notice as well, it's attention to detail like this that you notice it's made by a quilter. Can you see it's missing its tip? That's not broken, don't worry. It's just that that is uh, taking your dog ears off, basically. That's taking your dog ears off. This pamphlet is your instructions, don't lose that. Cat always says to laminate them. She loves saying laminate them. She loves laminating. She came to help me move house and she was like, do you need me to bring my label maker? It's like, no, we're all right for the label maker. She loves laminating and label making and all that sort of stuff. Um, but this is obviously a block that you could do quite simply with your triangles. You could do borders, but that's just two examples 
of how to use a ruler. Have a look on Pinterest again and see. Rachel Cross, um, Rachel Cross actually, uh, who, who I want to say invented, who, who, who developed this ruler, her family are, are the owners of Creative Grid. It's, it's, that's what I love about it, it's the family that are quilters. Um, I think they're based in, are they based in Leicestershire? Um, the Fox is the logo of the, the place where they're, they're from, the county. Is it Leicestershire? It, it must be, Foxes, Leicestershire. Like the football team, the Foxes. Um, just £20.99. Please don't just see this as a triangle rule out. There is so much that you can do. Yeah, it, it is brilliant. That's one of my favourite creative grids. We also have the log cabin trim tools. We've got the Dresden. So let's have a look at the log cabin trim tool. Now we've done lots of demos on this before. It's a really traditional block and this can do um, right up to a 12 inch, well, you can either do a six inch finish block or a 12 inch finish block. So for your tw six inch, you use this section. For your 12 inch, you use the whole ruler. Now you start off obviously with your center square with, with, your, uh, with your log cabin. It actually has your instructions on the ruler itself. So it tells you here to cut strips at a certain side. Your center square needs to be three and a half inches. You've got your placement for your, your center square and then it also tells you exactly where to trim. If you want to do log cabin, you can also do half log cabin. You can also do coarse house steps with this ruler. These are all blocks that you can, of course, do without the ruler, let's be honest. But if you want the accuracy, the, preci the precision and the, uh, the ease, the ease of doing it, it kind of does it for you. It's really good to be able to do it for you. Now, this isn't necessarily done with the ruler, but these are ideas of fabric placements and things that a log cabin block makes. So you can see on the left hand side, Again, for Pinterest, you can, um, you can have a look for yourself. They're not necessarily done with a ruler, but if you love the log cabin block, there is a lot you can do with it. And changing the position of your block can create all of these different amazing examples. Trust me, this isn't a ruler that you're gonna just use once. Oh, no way. All of them. I've got lots of different ideas. That's why they're called creative grids. It isn't just a ruler you'll use once. Um, how much is this one, sorry? No, my bad, sorry, I forgot to mention. 24.99, brilliant, 24.99, and it is one of the most classic blocks that you could do. So that's amazing. We've also got Dresden, another very, very classic block. It comes with two rulers. It, only, it comes with your blade and it also comes with your circle. So you have your blade, which is the shape here. Um, it's an 18 degree Dresden plate ruler. Got the demo on YouTube again. Have a watch back on our shows. We've done them before. You can turn the edges under and do it like the Alice Caroline block with the, the smooth circular edges. You can have them pointed if you wish. It's another one that you can applique. You could just use the blades can you see this picture here? If you just want to use the blades, you could do rows of blades like that, alternating to create a quilt like that. You can do them in the corner, quarter. Oh, this is Delphine's, isn't it? Delphine used it for the skirts, the Sunday stroll. Look, this is again on Pinterest. Have a look, just looked up Dresden. You could do something like this. They've done like umbrellas. Not necessarily use the ruler, but there's lots of ideas that you can use your Dresden rulers for without having to, to cut your own templates and find the right ones and know that they're all gonna go together again. These are all things that, yes, you can do without a template, but they are made by quilters to make your life easier. Um, now, it says on the graphics, saving a pound. Yeah, you are, you're saving a pound, I don't know why. There you go, take advantage, saving a pound. 19 pounds 99 for your Dresden plate ruler. And then finally, we've got the Lone Star. The Lone Star, you can see, look, creates, well, it's there's so much again that you can do with a Lone Star ruler. 
Well, initially, look, you've got three there on the ruler, but have a look elsewhere. Have a look on Pinterest again because there is a lot that you're going to be able to do with this. I do love this one as well. That isn't one that I'd necessarily think of um, doing with a Lone Star ruler. Obviously, this is the sort of traditional block, but there's different, there is different um, ways of using it. It looks like it's knitted, doesn't it? So cool. Uh, it looks like there's lots of different markings and details and, and um, words and all sorts on there. But don't worry, that's all to help you. It will make sense once you read the instructions. $24.99, your instructions are included in the ruler as well. There are great books out there that Creative Grids have, um, have produced as well. There's lots of resources. resources. I would, I would hope for you to think, oh, I'm only going to be able to do one block with this and then stop. Because they are an investment, $24.99. Um, it isn't something that you're going to just want to use once. It is one that you will use again and again and again. And especially with classic block like this. Different fabrics, different colours. It's going to look completely different. If you look after these, they last the test of time, just store them flat or they do come with a, a little hanging hole there so you can hang them like we do on um, on the ruler, on the uh, shelves behind us or on the ruler racks. If you've got the space to stand them upright, you can see what you've got. These are brilliant. Now we've got the smaller one and the larger one. Okay, hold off buying anything for a second. Let me show you this. I don't normally do this. We've got the smaller one. Don't buy it just yet. This is 10.99, it's great. Maybe if you've got smaller rulers, maybe if um, you're short on space, they're solid wood, they're really lovely and sturdy, they've got little pads to protect your table. You can keep your rulers in your slots, but don't buy it just yet. Wouldn't normally do this, but you'll see why. The bigger one, the bigger one is double the size, double the wood, double the wood, one pound extra, one pound extra. <laughs> and it's also got an extra slot. It's also got an extra slot. So if you are looking at storing your larger rulers, if you are looking at storing these bigger ones, then I'd go with the big one. A lot for your money. <laughs> your Beechwood ruler rack with five slots for 11 99 This is why I say definitely, definitely get the big one. Great value for money. Um, it's not very often that we have it in stock though, so we always say uh, have, you, we have to go for the smaller one. But uh, whilst this is in stock, grab it. It's lovely, really lovely quality. Talking about back in stock, you heard Alice and Marion talking about this earlier on with the, um, I was going to say oregano, but that's the thing you put on your pizza, isn't it? Origami. Uh, the origami. The origami bag, she used the 505 spray to baste it. It is a temporary adhesive. It's great for basting your, your quilts. We were talking about finishing off maybe unfinished projects earlier on with your backing fabrics. We had extra white backing fabrics. If you are finishing some projects, if you're completing some projects, definitely get yourself some 505. Um, I know lots of our guest designers who come in and they always stock up on 505 when they're here. It's really, really useful. Um, you obviously just spray onto the wadding, place your fabric on. You still need to sew. It is a temporary hold, but it's not going to gum up your needle when you're quilting. It's just $7.99 for the can. Back in stock. Oh, it's going to sell out again. Going to sell out again. 80 20 wadding, my favourite. It's cut to order, it's cut off the bolt. You will need your 505 with it, obviously, if you're basting, because it's not fusible. Um, this is what a majority of our guests use on their choice of quilts. 80-20 is lovely, it's really soft, it's 80% cotton, it's 20% polyester, so it's still great that you can put it in the wash and it will dry nice and quickly with that polyester content. And the way that it's bonded as well, the polyester obviously really helps. It isn't just, I mean, wait till you see this for 6 99 It's not just your normal width, it's not like your regular quilting width fabric. You're getting loads for 6 99 I'm not thinking quilts with this necessarily. I'm thinking cushions. 
I'm thinking house bits and bobs, gift ideas. I'm thinking tote bags, wine bag, bottle covers. Oh, a toaster cover. That's new. Oh, are you one of these people that don't like the toasters on show in your kitchen? You don't have a toaster. So what do you need a toaster cover for then? <laughs> to trick people that she's got a coaster. Honestly, we've learned a lot about Hannah McCabe this morning. Not only does she send people like horrible mail in the post, potatoes and bags of glitter, she also tries to trick her boyfriend into thinking that she's got a toaster. Oh dear. It's a good job you all live um, so close together or you're all friends in the road because Steph has to go across to make the toast in the, uh, the neighbour's house. £6.99 extra wide. Think of all your Kerry Living in Loveliness projects that you're going to be able to do with this as well. Um, if you do want multiple units, it's your chance to be cut off the, the bolt to whatever size you want. Just £6.99. Another one back in stock. We sell this in the thousands, thousands of units sell of this. Uh, it doesn't necessarily look very interesting, but it's important, isn't it? It's important in your projects. Nice for bag making as well. Really nice for bag making, but don't forget to grab your 505 before it sells out. Okay, that's your 8020 cotton wadding. Uh, okay, I've got new marking tool. I've got a sew line glue pen and I've got sew line glue pen refills. Let's do the pens. So the glue pen on its own, I feel like we have all of Solan's stock of this. Whenever we get it in, um, it's always out of stock everywhere. We've got a really good quantity back in stock, especially for Christmas. The winter night's drawing in. Anybody doing EPP, get yourself a, a second pen, a third pen. How many of the glue line, the glue Solan pens have you got, Hannah? One in a pencil case, one in a lounge, one in a handbag. They are good to have multiple, actually. It's, 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 it's not something that you just need for EPP. It would be really good to temporary sort of base your zips in place before you stitch them. Don't try and use a Pritt stick or any other craft glues because we've tried it. In the height of lockdown, we really struggled to get these in stock. Hannah was really addicted to EPP. She tried it with a Pritt stick. It doesn't work. It isn't a bit the same. This is a specially developed glue, which is designed to work with fabric. It's, it's sticky enough that it holds the fabric in place, but it's not too sticky that it's going to um, gum up your needle. It's not going to leave any marks. It drives completely clear. It's developed especially for the job. You do get a refill in there as well, but if you want extra refills, boop, 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 boop. Uh, these refills, by the way, um, are like gold dust. Hannah buys them in bulk. £7.99. I think Kat paid something like £10 or something for two of them on a, a, a website that we all know, the, the, the Long River. Um, now, even though you've got yellow, blue and pink, it doesn't matter. They all dry completely clear. But I suppose it's nice to see the colour to know that you've got enough glue on there. Um, it's, it, but it is good that it dries clear, whether you're hand sewing with them or you're machine sewing. I know Kerry loves these. She uses them a lot with inserting zips into bags. Alison Marion, she uses hers all the time. Uh, Jenny Jackson for EPP or lots of quilting. If you just want to hold something temporarily in place. In fact, these are good for your postcards. Holding your rick rack down before you stitch it. Holding your ribbons down before you stitch it. Anything you don't want to bond a web. Just get with your Solan glue pen. Refills are always very popular. They're $7.99 for a pack of six. Easy to refill as well. All you do is um, twist the top of your pen, lift it off, pop the next refill in and twist it down. It's literally like that. You, um, the little pot, the little pot, you can then keep needles in. There you go, the little pot. There's a video on our YouTube page, in fact, actually, that I made, I did, that's on the, uh, I with the hand, the hand model behind it. Look at these famous hands. These were the uh, the models on the YouTube video. <laughs> They're not models' hands. Hannah grabbed my hand this morning and went, oh, mother's hands. These are the hands of a mother. I was like, are you all right this morning, Anne? She was like, I don't know why I said that. I know that was weird. And I was like, yeah, that was weird. 
she's weird though. I've seen her for a long time and I forgot that. <laughs> Right, brand new marking tool. We all have different personal preference on marking tools. Some people like a water erasable. Some people like a friction pen. Some people like chalk. Some people like air. This is an air erasable pen. Um, don't write your birthday cards with it because Hannah did that with Laura's birthday card. She had it on the um, on the window ledge and she thought, who's written in that card? I can't remember. And looked and it was it was blank. Unless you want to reuse your cards, there you go. Four pounds ninety nine. But it is handy that you don't need to worry about washing it or scrubbing it to be able to get or pressing it. Um, if you if you are working with a fabric that you can't press for example instead of using a friction pen why not use the air erasable it is uh, a sew line product as well it says it will disappear within two to ten days for most fabric so it's not going to instantly disappear you don't have to race to the sewing machine to do your stitching if you've marked out some bits and bobs imagine you were like oh no not again it's beat me but don't get me wrong on um, certain days you've got air conditioning on and things like that it can um, erase a, a little bit quicker than other times. That's why it says between two and ten days. It's worth trying out different market tools. Find out which ones you like. Everyone likes different uh, marking tools for different projects as well, or different fabrics. Just always give it a bit of a test that you're happy with how it erases before. So we've got a design roll here. Oh, this is a good one. This is a full rainbow. Now, if we've got all of our tools now, we might want some fabric to cut up with our new Fiskars rulers, with our stripologies. Um, look at this rainbow of fabric. Um, now, they're all two and a half inch full width strips of fabric, so 44 inches wide. And look, they're not all solid. You've got some that have got uh, different patterns on as well. So you've got circles, you've got stripes on there. These would make a beautiful, beautiful bargello all around the world quilt. You could just simply stitch them together, couldn't you? Um, £39.99. And you've got the full rainbow. So look at how they seamlessly go from the reds into the pinks, into the purples, the greens into your lovely blues. Full rainbow of colour for £39.99. That's a really good price for a design roll. Especially ones that, are the, I mean, the choice of colour in there. I like the fact that you've got the the different prints, the smaller prints. So if you are doing, you know, stripology work, if you are making smaller subcuts, you're always going to still have little elements on there. They're beautiful. Thirty nine ninety nine. Hannah's not here for the rest of the week. What are you doing for the rest of the week? Are oh, you here Friday? Oh, uni. She's at uni this week. You've got lots of reading to do as well when you get home today, haven't you? but you enjoy it, so it's fine. She says, I don't understand it all, but I enjoy it. Oh, I have to Google lots of, lots of the time, don't you worry. You should ask, you know, like when we say, ask about the different language that we use in the sewing world. You need to ask your teacher, because that's a whole new language that Hannah's learning at the moment. So yeah, you need to ask, or Google. Yeah, just Google. Um, just $39.99. Now we do also have the log cabin trim tool which would be perfect for this. We did um, show it to you uh, earlier on but if you are doing log cabins in rainbow fabric how gorgeous would this be for your log cabin? <gasps> you could do courthouse steps like this in um, rainbow fabrics and use a white as it is there and if the way, the way you position those blocks then once you put them all together they create such cool sort of almost like wavy lines then. You could do like a wiggly, wiggly line. This isn't the curvy um, log cabin, but can you see what I mean? If you were to put them all in a row, it would give that illusion of curves without actually having to do any curves. $24.99, the blues, you've got tans and creams and stuff, that, all beautiful colours. For $24.99, um, you get your log cabin trim tool. You can do six inch finished blocks or 12 inch blocks with this one. Just thought they'd work quite well. Love them, love them, love them. Um, can I remind you about the motor scrap bags, by the way? 
The Moda scrap bags, I have got them. You'll have to come over with me. But the Moda scrap bags are available at the moment. You've not yet missed out. You can thank Elliot for this because we're not supposed to be redoing these. We're not. He says, you're welcome in advance. $14.99 and look at all these Moda fabrics. Oh, April, what was it that you messaged about? I've just seen it. Uh, I've seen, just seen your message. Uh, she just put, these are great. I've got two of them. What have you got two of, April? Uh, Sue said, I've got the circle cutter. It's so useful. I make reusable makeup remover pads. Um, I doubt I'd, be, uh, I'd do it without it. Yeah, exactly. Sometimes when you're cutting circles, you think, oh, it's too much of a faff. But with that, it's brilliant. Claire, yes. Is this the last hour? It always does it to me. She says, it's been a long morning, Vix. Yeah. <laughs> I know. It's been a, it was a, an eventful evening as well. I was up till too late last night. I'm getting an early night tonight ready for tomorrow. Early night. No guests, please. <laughs> no, you can't come round, Elliot. No guests tonight, please. No, you are welcome. Next week, I'm off all week. I'm off for ages next week, so come and visit me then. Um, right, so this is just one example. It's a complete lucky dip. It's not done by the amount of strips. It's done by weight. So this one is 227 grams. Put together by uh, Moda. Put together by Moda. Some of them got salvages on as well, which is lovely, isn't it, to be able to see the different quotations that Moda puts if you did miss Alison's postcard, um, these would be lovely for that. These would be wonderful. If you got the bumper pack, that starter pack, go for it. Elliot's practicing to present. He's coming on air, I think, by the looks of things. He's, yeah, he's coming on to do some presenting in his gold hot pants. Alison Marion made them for him for his 30th. Um, they don't quite fit him yet, but... They will. <laughs> right, fourteen ninety nine. I just wanted to let you know that there were still motor scrap bags available. What else did you want me to mention today, Hannah? Yes, tomorrow's show got Delphine. Highland cow. Highland cow. I can't actually believe it's back. We're going to do it at nine. No, it's not. It's at 11. If it makes it to 11. <gasps> Get them on pre-order at half seven tomorrow morning. Um, I've got a little call with me tomorrow producing. Um, nine o'clock is a cave. It's going to be a good day. Cave cotton candy pinwheels quilt. <gasps> Gadgets at eight. I love a gadget. Are you, not, I don't like the word gadget though, because that implies that it's not useful. It's, it's a bit of a novelty, whereas everything at eight o'clock is going to be really good. Well, have you been watching James? Have you watched James Bond yet? Oh my word, Hannah. Go and watch the James Bond film whilst you're off until Friday. You can go and see the new one. It's meant to be really good. It's just three hours long, so take a blanket. Um, we've got Fabulous Fabrics at 10, The Highland Cow, and also um, Daisy the Cow as well, Dairy Cow, coming up at 11. And then we've got Yarn Lane with Chloe Birch. Uh, so do make sure you stay with us all day tomorrow if you can. Thanks for your company today. It's been so lovely to see Alison as well. Don't forget to have a look back through the website, anything you might have missed. Uh, if it's available, check out throughout the web and you'll only pay one p and uh, Enjoy the rest of your week then, Hannah. We'll see you on Friday. See you Friday. Uh, we'll see you bright and early tomorrow morning at 8 o'clock. See you then. Bye.